Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And I'm in the middle. <laughs> and this is Kyle in the middle. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we switched things up a little bit. Mel's going to be on the far side. I, I just can't play beside her, so uh, we fight too much. So, yeah. We made Kyle the meat of the sandwich today. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's the, he's, he's the referee, even though we're playing a cooperative game. Uh... <laughs> Darius says, which heroes are going to die? Uh, sorry, dice today. <laughs> uh, we're not going to die. Yeah, yeah. Or we're not going to lose. We may die. <laughs> we're not going to lose. Yeah, we're not going to lose. We're fine. Don't we, don't we advance anyway? Isn't that no, no. We have to repeat it. That's the oh. thing. We, we, we got to be super careful. Uh, yeah, Janet was telling us before, it's like, yeah, you will just, like, fail and replay them, and but they let you keep your rewards, so it, like, makes it a little easier oh, the next okay. time. Right. But, yeah, there is, um, there is the scenario sheet, uh, which is, is only technically eight scenarios, but they put, for some reason on the save sheet, up to 20 sessions, <laughs> so you could fail and have to repeat yeah, boss yeah. fights and portal crawls a few times. <laughs> Uh, but they, I guess they think you can do it in 20. But yeah, if you're good and you just keep beating it and you're just lucky and like smart and get it done and draw the right enemies for the right people and stuff, I guess, and manage your heals better and things, uh, you could beat it in eight sessions or eight por or four portal crawls and four boss fights. But we will see. We will see. Uh, Mattitude is asking, are you playing the entire campaign not... I, 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 don't, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Full disclosure, we were sent this by Roxley Games. Thank you for them sending us over Season 1 Rerolled and Adventures. Uh, we want to try. I want to try with Kyle and Mel because they played Dice Throne before. Marvel Dice Throne, Dice Throne Season 1. I want to try this campaign with them today because we recently played It's Fresh in Her Head. We played regular Dice Throne. I wanted to see how the cooperative version worked. I wanted Kyle's input. I wanted Mel's input. I want to see how it goes. Because uh, we've never played it before, but we've played many, 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 many dungeon crawlers, cooperative games, adventure games, loot gathering games, all these kind of things. We've we've been around the block many times on these type of games, and a lot of people are recommending when this came out was that we'd probably like this a lot. So I want to try it. I want to see what a portal crawl looks like and see it actually happen. Obviously, I I read the rules. I know what is going to happen ish, but obviously, you don't know a game's really that good until you like play it yourself, whether it's for you or not. Um, so today you're going to watch us literally play it for the first time, going through the adventure mode, portal crawl. I don't know how long that will take us. I have no idea. And if we could get to a boss fight later in the stream, or if we have to do that next week, in next week's episode, we could play the boss fight. But at, at minimum, I've set the bar just to do those two things, to try it. Then we will save it up, whatever, and we could continue... But there are other campaigns that I want to play with Kyle and Mel on that weekly stream probably soon and start those or start that oh, start another one. Um, so we probably couldn't get through this whole thing, especially if it ends up taking like, you know, 12, 14 sessions. Like if if we can only get through a portal crawl in a night and only get through one boss fight in a night, you know, in two separate streams, that's going to take a long time. So what I'm thinking, I do want to play through a whole campaign personally, just by looking at what's going on here. 
And I think I might do that either solo or with Mel at some point in the future. But today, I'm just telling myself we're not going to play more than the portal crawl and a boss fight to try it out at first. Will we come back to it later and continue it? I don't know. Will we come back to it and finish that whole campaign? Maybe. Uh, or will I start a complete campaign and play it solo or two player? That's probably more likely, but I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're just trying it out. We're just trying it out. So that's the plan for now. But yes, I do want to play it through a whole campaign. I'm pretty sure that will happen in some form. Uh, but this is probably not it, just so you know. Just to be upfront, fully open, that, that's the plan so far. I'm trying to set the bar low. I want to promise too much and then it doesn't work. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Mike says, my family's playing Dice Throne right now. Mike, why are you not playing with them? Why are we competing? You should, like, why? Yeah. This is our Dice Throne night, Mike. <laughs> this, this is not your Dice well, Throne night. It's our Clearly night. we won. He, we got his attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing chatting if you're supposed to be taking your turn to Dice Throne? Pay attention. <laughs> Uh, Roman says, hi all, good luck. The campaign is really fun. I hope you like it. I think I will. I know. I was, is, show, yeah. I was showing Mel and I was explaining that to her, like, Mel, we're playing it right now because I want to try it. I didn't want to wait and delay this months from now and get into some other campaign. And then I just, but we could try it and dabble right now and just see what it's about. Uh, so when, so people stop asking, when are you playing Dice Throne? When are you playing Dice Throne Adventures? Whatever. Um, and yeah, so... Here we are. And I figured it's good to play it m m more recently when we just played regular Dice Throne. We just played Marvel Dice Throne recently, so it's still fresh in our head. We just played it. Then to quickly play Dice Throne Adventures near it in the schedule rather than play it like three months from now. Um, so that's also the plan there too. So, um, But right now, this is all we're going to do for it. But again, I do. I have full plans to play through a full campaign. Uh, but probably not right now. Um, Attitude says, I do own all the Dice Throne stuff. I do want the campaign soon. I do want to do the campaign soon myself and then do the legacy part after playing the normal campaign. Uh, I don't know much about what's going on in the legacy stuff, but no spoilers. I, I mean, I, I almost spoiled myself today. I was like opening it. I wasn't even paying attention, talking to the chat. And like one of the things says like, do not open. I'm just taking the plastic off it, putting it in the tray. And then I couldn't find it after. And they're like, Rob, you already opened it and you put it in the thing. I'm like, oh. Oh no, I opened one of the spoiler do not open things. So I put it in like a little baggie back there in the tray um, to not look at it. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of cards uh, that are all in plastic. So they're like, do not open this deck until you're done the campaign, I guess, or something. Oh, you have no spoilers? You haven't done it yet? Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's cool. Uh, Mike says, Nice is only here for a short time. So Dice Throne is what they chose to play really fast. That's awesome. Nice, nice, awesome. nice, nice. Uh, yeah, Brian, I'm blaming you. Yep, you fully distracted me. It's all your fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, it's me. It's on me for not being able to pay attention to what I'm doing, and I get distracted, as you guys know. <laughs> hey, Jack. Oh, man. All right, let's get to it. Ish. Uh, oh, just... Just Hi. Us. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Mel's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? How did that happen? It's okay. I thought I checked. Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. <laughs> so we're just on a, a. I have a floor that I push a button and we just roll. <laughs> like a little, a little like conve a conveyor, a conveyor belt. belt. Yeah, yeah. I just roll this over. <laughs> weird. That That's so weird. Oh, we should have left it like that for a little bit until yeah. someone said something. Yeah, yeah. Where'd Mel go? <laughs> uh, so Dice Run Adventures came out in 2020. Uh, we won't talk about 2020, that's a year that doesn't exist. Um, and it's supposedly best with one to two players. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. Mm, yeah. Well, so I guess I was already... Was this like... is awkward for Mel. <laughs> All right. There we go. It's, I didn't realize it's only best one to two, so I fixed that. Uh, it's gonna be two player today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jeez, man, you gotta stop. <laughs> yeah, whoa! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing this as I move it. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, so it's ninety to one hundred twenty minutes, which I'm assuming is a single session, not including the boss session. Uh, age eight plus. Community says ten plus. Hmm. Had some bad experiences with some eight year olds, I guess. Uh, two point four five complexity. So not that crazy, except for the whole system regarding loot. Uh, convoluted, messy, not streamlined. I don't know why it's so crazy. I want to see it happen in the game, but reading, I'll just get this out of the way. When I'm like reading the whole how to get loot, 
how you store loot, how you at the end of the scenario can buy it or sell it or have a shop phase and based on the portal crawl or the boss battle is different. Like after playing Massive Darkness 2, the loot the loot system just made sense. Jackpot Jack man. Me in. Woo! Thank you for gifting five members. Thank you so much. Uh, Zeme, Nick, Baz, Martin, and Elgrin. Uh, thanks for uh, welcome to becoming members of Rob's Gaming Table. Thank you so much. That's so kind of thank you, you Jack Man. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's gonna pop. It's gonna pop off. I know. <laughs> it's so cool, but it's like <laughs> it's weird though that it doesn't pop like jackpot man gifted because that just, those didn't that exist with went. this alert thing oh. i have so I, I gotta now wait now that there's a new thing i gotta wait for those who make like alerts to find like alert packs and all this kind of stuff to oh, add to, to the screen like, that, yeah. yeah like now i have to go look that up and figure that out thank you so so much thank you so much <laughs> that's awesome uh now i gotta add more names to the credits <laughs> i'm just kidding no that's a good problem good problem thank you so much There it is. There awesome. it is. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's good. You get a die. <laughs> See, you get a die. Everyone gets a die. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome. I know those dice are filling up in the chat lately. Yeah, yeah. It's not so special anymore. Everyone seems to have one. It's like, no, it's awesome. Yeah, no, I'm just joking. Awesome. Yeah, it's like, that's it. No more. All right. I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, this is uh, from Roxley Games. This is basically Dice Throne, which you've seen us play on the channel or you should know about because you need to know regular Dice Throne. Uh, how to play competitive Dice Throne, I guess I should say. Whether it's Marvel, whether it's Dice Throne Season 1, Season 2, Season 1 Rerolled. You have to know how to play that game. You have to have heroes from those games. This is an expansion that requires you to have at least one hero to play with if you're playing solo. Or even just one of those two packs. Uh, the, those two packs of heroes that you can buy, the little versus packs. You just could buy one of those and you'll have two heroes you could play with uh, cooperatively with another player. Um, you don't need to have the whole battle chest of eight heroes or all 16 heroes from the seasons plus the eight, eight Marvel heroes and all that stuff. You don't need all that stuff to play Dice Throne Adventures, but it doesn't work without at least one hero. And you have to know Dice Throne rules because it doesn't teach you those rules in this rule book. This is definitely an expansion, not a standalone expansion, a full expansion, and it totally changes how the game works. There's still a lot of regular Dice Throne stuff that happens. The flow of Dice Throne is still here. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff on top of that with movement, exploration, tiles, cooperatively battling minions and bosses, and now it's a cooperative game. So that's what this does here. So we'll show that off, um, and that's what we're going to do today. Let's figure it out and try not to die. We won't uh, die. Well, um, so we won't point. lose. Let's say that. We can die. Uh, Michael says, hey, y'all, have a good stream and hope you enjoy the game. Thank you. Thank you. Um... It may be unavoidable at points, but if you can avoid it. Oh, oh sorry. Hold on, hold on. A quick tip for my experience with the game. Thank you. I was, Michael, I was going to ask for tips. I was 100% going to ask for tips. Uh, I, I, yes, awesome. Okay. A quick tip from my experience with the game, he says, if you play a character that stacks positive status effects, do your best to avoid exploring tiles. Oh, because oh, it like punishes maybe, you for that? Maybe, or maybe you lose them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like punish yeah. you, like lose them, get hurt more for having them. Okay. And Michael says, it may be unavoidable at points, but if you can't avoid it, there are enough tiles that remove status effects that it can be annoying. Oh, okay. So, might flip the table today. Okay, good to know. Okay. Mike says, if the shipping for adventures didn't hurt so much, I'd probably pick it up. Yeah, I don't know if, is it only available directly from Roxy Games? Is that a thing? Or is this thing in retail? I remember I couldn't find it before in retail, like, when I was trying to look for it, like, last year. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Roman says, I think you just play a character you like. That's a good tip. Yeah. Okay, so if it's not fun. So there was a comment left on the last episode. Plus we were playing in the previous episode, playing regular Dice Throne, playing King of the Hill variant, trying all the different characters from season one re-rolled. If you haven't seen it, check the playlist down below in the video description. Uh, but we tried some characters out. Uh, we fell in love with some. Some we didn't get to play very much because they got killed really quickly. Uh, but someone did recommend we should try a party of the Knight, Barbarian, and Pyromancer. But if we're worried about health and healing and stuff, Maybe instead of the Pyromancer to mix in either the Ninja or the Monk or something. Um, so Kyle's going to play the Barbarian. Mel's going to play Pyromancer. I'm going to play the Knight. Is that what you're called? The Knight? A Paladin. Sorry. Oh, okay. The Paladin. Paladin. But I didn't know if you were a Ninja. The Paladin. Sorry. He's a Knight. 
He's a knight, but I, he yeah, looks I like know a knight. Your name was, so. But it's Paladin. I'm so sorry. That's what I wrote. Paladin. Yeah. But it, he is the knight. I don't know. I would just call him the knight all he the time. The okay. Um, but yeah. So this is Dice from Adventure. Here's the information. There you go. Deal with it. All right. Here's the table. We got Kyle Barbarian. We got Mel over there, Pyromancer, and myself playing the Paladin. Um, in the middle here is our randomly chosen. Whoa. Our randomly chosen uh, scenario card. There were four of them. I shuffled them, and before the stream, I just grabbed one at random, and I set it up based on what is on here. Uh, and here's the uh, invisible pits that you can fall in. Um, and, and no, I'm just joking. Those are green tiles, obviously. Um, but yeah, you just set it up the tiles, and then they'll tell you where to put treasure chests, uh, which you can get loot from, surprise. And then, or maybe get loot from. Maybe you just put them under your mat and never touch them. I don't know, it's weird, but you can sell them, I guess. Um, and then you get these... I know someone will tell me how to say it. I want to say solve. S A L V E S, Kyle. Do you know? Is it I, I think we were saying without the L before. Oh, yeah, sav? that's what I would. Yeah. Sav, is it? Yeah, yeah but the, in the video that. Oh, oh, the how to play video, right? Yeah. Sav. Okay, sav. I hope I say that properly. Um. So yeah, these savs you'll see on here. We get some to start with, but those are like heal tokens, and based on the scenario, they'll heal different amounts. So this one heals. Three plus one per portal shard collected. So what we want to do is collect these portal shards, these orange orange tokens. And that will assemble an orange die on the boss tile. And once we do that, then we can go to that boss tile and fight a level four minion. And that concludes our portal crawl. If we can beat that and all other players are not currently engaged with the minion they're fighting. So we're going to explore these tiles, flip them over. Things are going to happen. It's going to be a lot of dice rolling, I'm sure. Otherwise, you know, what else would you expect in a game called dice throne? I don't know. They really went all in on the dice rolling randomness stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll be uh, collecting loot. Exploring tiles, fighting minions, trying to get to a level four minion boss fight thing here. There are level one tiles, level two tiles, three, and there are four, but we're only playing like a level one uh, scenario or mission one or scenario one or whatever it's called. Yes, sen session one, session one uh, scenario. So this is what we got. So I have this here. Uh, so we do need to know this stuff. Uh, I guess this could be different, some of it. Um, so we are playing three players. So each player will get 13 health we start at. We distribute two starting salves uh, amongst your team. Does anyone in the chat have recommendations uh, based on the Barbarian, the Pyromancer, and the Paladin? Who should take these salves? And why I'm saying this, uh, it matters, because here's the crazy part about this game. There are moments you can spend them uh, in the Portal Crawl turn order to heal yourself with that heal, um, the heal that I was saying earlier. Um, and you can heal, but if you have one and you die you can't you can also spend them sorry you can spend them to revive a fallen hero but you can't spend it on yourself if you've fallen and if a hero's fallen and they can't be revived like no one else has a token to do it for them you lose automatically so if if you had a player like i was the paladin i had two tokens and no one else had any and i went to zero health we lose the whole thing because they don't have any to heal to revive me with so starting with them in certain places and certain people picking them up matters i think it feels like that's the game, like that is the game, is managing those SAV tokens is the difference between winning or losing. But everything else is just a crapshoot, roll dice, and good luck, you know? <laughs> it's like, you get good rolls, you get bad rolls, but these are like, you have, uh, you know, you can determine to try to stay alive by making sure everyone kind of has some. And also they can be used to heal, so like who's most likely going to get damaged and needs to heal themselves, but... Because healing yourself will prevent you from being knocked out and then having to be revived by somebody else. So, I don't know. Jane is saying Barbarian and Paladin. Travis says the Pyro. Who told you to put the salve on? <laughs> I didn't tell you to put the bomb on. Who told you to put the bomb on? <laughs> uh, cards you gain from the loot rolls can be identified to gain to, into your deck. A Matitude, I am aware of this. But the whole idea of it is way too convoluted for getting loot in a dungeon crawling game, way more than it needs to be. In a game that's so simple and so straightforward, it is move, roll dice, fight, take damage, defend. Like, so Dice Throne is the definition of a simple game, but can be fun and deep strategically and stuff like that. But 
the dungeon crawling aspect of it, this is like, I read it and it's like, okay, this is like so straightforward. But then you get to the loot system and like, why is there a full page dedicated to looting rules and like how loot cards can be saved under your board and like, can you like not look at them either? You're not yeah. allowed to look yeah, at them. Yeah. It's so silly, <laughs> so weird. It's like doesn't need to be like that, and I don't know why. It's like they did it just because they could. Um, but I guess I'll find out if it's fun to do it that way. But like to me, the most basic way and the most interesting way uh, in a in a in a more like um, how do you say this in a game that's more like beer and pretzel. You know, that's not too complex. That's like simple rule set, more mass market fun uh, targeted, like this kind of game, like Mass of Darkness 2 was. Mass of Darkness 2 kind of showed me how like loot should just kind of be done in a game of that complexity. Like the way we were just getting loot and then we'd have a little shop phase after and we'd trade them in for value mm -hmm. and spend it on village. It was like not too complex, but enough complex you know, complexity and choice there that it was fun. We're still just drawing random stuff, but I loved in that game, the loot, you get it right away, and it mattered right away. Yep. But in this game, you're just drawing cards and you're not allowed to look at them and you put them face down and maybe you'll look at them later. Like, wh who thought that was fun? <laughs> I do get the face down in case you don't win. Okay. I, so I get that part of it. Yeah, I guess. But I don't necessarily get the you have to pay to identify yeah. this. and. It just seems like it was, uh, they had a problem with it for some reason. They just came up with like duct tape, bubble gum, bandage solutions after to kind of make the, the loot work and keep it balanced. But it's just, it's like the weirdest thing in the game to think, let's put some complexity on it, some extra steps, be a little confusing, uh, make it work different if it's a boss or if it's a portal and like, I know those who played it are probably like, duh, it just makes sense, Rob. Just play it. You'll see. But it's like, when I read that, it threw me off. I was like, I did not expect to be out of all the sections in the rule book I was going back and reading and not feeling confident with. Why was it the loot system? <laughs> like, I would have thought it had been combat, boss battles, AI, like movement, the line of sight, you know, these kind of things. But like, man, I've played games that are like 4.5 complexity, you know, dungeon crawlers that have the craziest AI systems and fiddliness, but loot is just draw it and use it, stash it or equip it, store it, you know, for later. Like it's just, that's all it needs to be. You know, you get the loot, you deserve to get the loot, right? It's just weird you're like storing it for later to maybe get it. I don't know, I may be making a bigger deal of it, but just this is me here. Loot is one of the big deals in games. I love it, but it was just, I, it just threw me off. I was like, I don't know if I'm the only one. I might be crazy, but it just threw me off. I told Mel, and then she read the rules. She's like, "Yeah, you're kind of right. It was a little, little." Yeah, it's not intuitive. Yeah, it's not intuitive. Intuitive is the word. Like streamlined makes sense. It doesn't match the rest of the game. It doesn't like what I've learned from Dice Throne. It's like this didn't fit. And then you have to put them under the right sections of your board and stuff. That, yeah, it's like, like why? It's like why don't you just yeah. have a pile that's sitting off to the side? That yes, maybe it's it's face down until the end of the scenario. I understand why. Then you have the, so much yeah. money. You can flip them over. You can put them in your deck if you want or something. There could have been something a little bit simpler. But hey, yeah, we'll see. Maybe it'll, like you said, maybe it'll just work. Yeah, I don't know. Travis says, it's not so bad with loot. You can also sell unidentified loot when you're at that phase. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. But it is weird, though. Like, how much fun is it to finally earn some loot in a game from killing a minion or a boss or finding it by exploring and then just getting it, even if it doesn't fit your character, but maybe it fits the party and you can use it or you're excited. You see stuff, right? It's, Part of the discovery part of the fun like i know you're flipping tiles and it's kind of fun like oh what do we get you know but it's like that could have just added to that fun everyone loves doing that right the discovery the constant like uh dopamine hits of like just just discovery and fun new things you know instead yeah we'll see <laughs> uh, that's enough that's enough no i'm not how it's ruling anything no, we'll i need try to try the way it. it is so i'm just putting this on record and then we'll see at the end of the stream how i feel <laughs> and if i'm like starting of the stream rob's an idiot this is was actually really genius and it's really cool uh i'm sure game design and balance there's reasons for it for sure uh, but yeah just i don't know i would have made sense if i saw them like okay you roll you get loot if you can use it right now you get to put it in your deck but, then... but i get that because if you lose they don't want you putting things in your deck and then you have to remember and take them out i understand that or maybe just stash it, you know, to a yeah. common loot area. And then at the end, we just get to buy from what we found. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah. But then why do you have a system of getting gold to buy the loot you already found? Thematically, that just sounds stupid. Well, you don't want to be able to have I found this armor. 
But I have to give it to oh, the local you, retailer. You don't know it's armor yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a generic bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're finding, uh, like, catalogs and flyers yeah. of loot lying around. <laughs> it's like, oh, I found this coupon. I can yeah. go shop online at the local loot store later. And But, like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no discount code. It's I just... got this QR code. I can't scan it yet. I got to go to the computer to scan it. <laughs> it's like I'm allowed in the, in the prime yeah. sale. But, you know, like, I don't get anything. I just get a chance to buy something later. <laughs> just silly. But anyways, all right. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. So, uh, like I said, here's our portal crawl. We're doing a portal crawl today. It ends with the level four boss fight. Uh, these tiles, I guess you'll see them as we play. You kind of like, you can, here's what you can do on your turn. Uh, let's go through that, actually. That'll make more sense. Um, so, this is how a turn order works in the portal crawl. There's a whole boss battle session that we'll do later. Uh, maybe today, maybe next week, we'll see. But uh, probably next week if I keep ranting about the loose system for too long. Um, but anyways, <laughs> this is uh, move and explore uh, is how you start a turn of dice thrown. So when it gets your turn, we'll roll off, actually. So let's just roll off. Oops. Jackpot, man. Thank you so much. Sorry, he's got to go. Thank you so much for the... Got to go to bed. Enjoy the, the stream. Video. Remember to like the video. Thank you, Jackpot, man. Thank you. You're too kind. Have a You're good too night. Kind. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, so I got a 17. So whoever rolls the highest is going to be the first player. Then we go clockwise around the table. Kyle got a 9. 14. Mel got a 14. So I'm first. And it'll go Kyle and then Mel, okay? So if I'm first player, on my turn, this is what I do. If I'm not already engaged with a minion, as stated here, I would, I could spend salves uh, to heal, based on the scenario rules, which you already saw. If I don't want to, whatever, I just skip that part. Uh, then I can move. So how it works is you move any distance across these tiles until you hit one of two things. Either you hit an unexplored tile, so one that's never been flipped, and you flip it and resolve it in the explore step. If it's a minion battle, you go down to this stuff and you do the minion battle. If you move instead to somebody who's already engaged in a minion battle, if Kyle was already in a minion battle and I moved to him, and that was the, the tile I landed on, um, assuming there was no unexplored tiles between me and him, uh, depending on which direction I went, then I would get involved in his minion battle and then do a round of fighting with his minion. If you're already engaged at the start of your turn, you would then just perform one round of fighting against your minion, where you could heal up if you want. If they have first strike on the minion card, or the boss, or whatever, I guess, they get to uh, attack you first, and then the hero, but normally it's hero, then minion. And you just do one round of this, the same turn order as Dice Throne. So, if you're engaged with the minion on your turn, let's say you start your turn, or you, you move to a minion, you start a battle with a minion, and they don't have first strike, you get to hero step number six here, and now you just go to normal dice throw. You do the upkeep phase, if there's anything going on there, you do the income phase, gain your CP, draw a card, you do the main phase, you know, you can sell cards, play blue cards, whatever. Then you do your normal roll stuff. Your target is obviously the minion you're engaged with. You can never be engaged with more than one minion. Super straightforward. Then there's a defensive roll where the minion, uh, it does have defensive rolls. I, I don't know if they all do, but I know some do, uh, based on the examples in the rule book. Um, and then there's a main phase, uh, too, same thing, then you go to discard phase, and you're done. Unless, that's if the minion has first strike. If it's you're attacking first, then you go with the minion step. The minion does the same thing, except they skip upkeep, they skip income, they skip main phase, they just literally do orange stuff. And when they do the orange roll phases, you can mess with them with your cards. So it's, it's still just a roll phase, it's just like your opponent doing a roll phase. They are opponents, they are other players. Uh, you can do any kind of card effect that's in the game. We're playing with the exact same cards that you play with with your hero in regular Dice Throne. So it, you just follow the effects the same way, except for we're not going to be attacking each other. We're going to be attacking these minions. But we still could help each other out, just like you would in a team game of um, Dice Throne. So all those cards still do what they do. And if you're damaging the other players, hurting other players, hitting all the other players at the table, you could do that instead to all the minions at the table, for example. Um, that's just kind of how it's flipped. Um, but yeah, that's it. This is a turn. We're going to go through this over and over again until we've collected all three shards. Uh, we've collected all three of these shards, put them all here, and then we go here and beat this minion, out, and no one else is engaged with the minion still. So if somebody, I guess, was still engaged with the minion fight, and two of us ended up going here and defeating this minion, the other person still has to finish their minion fight. Okay, that makes sense. If that happened in that order. I'm assuming strategically it's better to make sure we take care of all the minions we want to before one of us goes and starts this fight so that everyone can join in that fight as quickly as they can because this is like a level four minion fight. 
Makes sense. I don't know. I don't think we ever decided who was getting these. I think I no, was getting okay. one, right? And then it was like a toss up. Well, it, well there uh, was the discussion of giving them the Pyromancer because she needs healing. I don't know about both of them. I know. Well, it, but are we going to get some quickly? I don't know. Like, uh, then there was the Paladin, the Barbarian should take them just so mm. we can keep you alive in that case you die. That was the other thing, right? So let's just do I, that. If I die with them, that's also not well, good. But, you can but then I could yourself. use one to heal, so it's yeah, up yeah. to you guys. There's a couple of people that said both of you guys. Okay, then just you, you take have a uh, built-in heal, right? A little bit. Um, I mean, my defense does heal. We hope if you roll hearts. <laughs> and then this one, you yeah, pour right in I a could pinch. do heal there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. But again, we only have thirteen health. I know that's so low. But maybe the minions well, we can... hit so weak, like at, at the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. level one minions. You know, there's yeah. there's di different levels to the minions too, based on the room uh, you're going to. Oh no, Janet, we didn't look. Did you Janet, Janet saying, did you look at the score sheet? There are some bonus points for achieving some objectives. Oh. Don't tell objectives. me this. Objectives. When we know there's objectives, oh, yeah. we will get yeah, them. Get Don't them. tell me this. What are you talking about? Where would they even write that? Is it these? So normally you keep your score on this this page here and you write it like based on your scenario, starting solves, those carry forward. Um, then how many you re have remaining at the end? You get plus one score. So like all I know is you add up your score and then at the very end you're done a campaign. This is just written here so you can um, compare it to the future playthroughs. Maybe Janice is talking about like the plus I think, one. I think I think that is what she's talking about. Oh, after. plus one for every unclaimed boss loot. Plus one for every five gold your team didn't spend. Uh, plus five if you explored all environment tiles, and then your scenario score is just adding up all those. So yes, you could improve your scenario score based on not using resources, but. If you're exploring more tiles, that means you're getting into more fights and more danger and more chances you're wasting resources like these to keep yourself alive and, and bring yourself back to life. And then gold, gold would help you upgrade your deck. I'm assuming as you move through this campaign, uh, you'll see more high level rooms and more high level minions and stronger bosses. So if you're not spending gold and not upgrading your deck, it's you're just gonna lose later in the campaign. So like, no offense, but this whole scoring system, uh, I care nothing about it. Like, beating your own score. Oh, like Janet just says, only if you're trying to achieve high scores. Yeah, the beating your whole score, like, like, like we're like a you know on seventies or eighties arcade machine here, uh, trying to get the higher on the leaderboard. Uh, in board gaming, with how many board games you play, like I, I don't know how many times I'm playing a full campaign of this to try to beat my score. It's cool. It's a nice addition, but like honestly, don't care about this. This is like kind of lame to me. But uh, if we do play it, though, I'm sure someone would be trying to beat our score. And that's fine. <laughs> I, I, we will keep track of it. When I do play, I'm gonna follow this. Yeah. But all these little like trying to get an extra here and there. I don't know no. that I would try for all of them, but some of them. No, I'm I'm spending everything to get set for the next <laughs> scenario. I don't want to replay scenarios. That to me is like I know you don't want to replay them because you'll lose points if you lose. Uh, you actually lose points. Um, but I would say put all your effort into making sure you win instead of trying to dance between like, oh, maybe I can get a couple extra bonus points uh, just by not upgrading another card in my deck. I don't know. I say all that you earn, spend it and, and get ready. But again, I don't know what the difficulty curve is on this campaign, so we'll see. But uh, it's okay. This does not excite me. This is kind of lame. But I mean, if Oh, you're... you can submit your score on the website. Yeah, it's a... Oh, really? Oh. It's like myscore.dicethrone. Oh, great. Yeah, the bottom. I'm just going to go put I got 9.99 and, and get at the top. No, I'm just Is joking. that good? Share your Do score. We want high or low? Share your score on an adventure on social media or join our community. Submit your campaign score to compare it to other groups. They're all lying. Everyone lied. <laughs> no one submitted a real score. They're all liars. I don't trust any of you. <laughs> you guys all fluffed and had like an extra 100 points. So I can't trust any of you. <laughs> you can trust mine though, because it'll be fully recorded on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I have evidence. I don't trust anyone else who can't attach a YouTube link or a Twitch stream link to the whole campaign. Uh, yeah, you can't trust those scores. They're invalid. No prizes for you. <laughs> no prizes. <laughs> yeah. No invisible loot that you can't tell what it is. And so yeah, it Travis doesn't use it either. Yeah, I just I don't care about it. It's like whatever. I like the idea of just playing, trying to win, leveling up my stuff, trying to crush it harder. But yes, if you can't measure it, how do you improve? Yeah, that makes sense to me, but... No, winning is enough. Yeah, winning is enough for me. Yeah. But, uh, 
yeah, winning by a little bit more points in a game that's like dice rolls and random tile draws and random enemies. And it's like, you know, I got a few more points. Why? Maybe because I just kind of got lucky and picked the right tiles to go to, or I set up a little easier of a scenario today. Like, I don't know, there's too much out of my control to worry about points uh, to get like really nitty gritty with it. So this is how I look at things. I know it's probably not as fun sounding, but uh, so young, so cynical. Damn those scored games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But don't get me wrong. Listen, I love the whole idea of the community that speed runs games, uh, video games, trying to break them and be faster and set higher scores and set world records. And those those crazy like uh, fistful of quarters, King Kong, that documentary or any of those documentaries of those people who like dedicated their last 30 years to try and get a high score and like uh, or the kill screen at the end of an arcade game playthrough. I literally sit there for like 12 hours straight playing the same arcade game. Their wife's like feeding them and stuff while they're like trying to get this high score and never stopping. Trying to get to the point where the game just breaks because it only had so much memory back when they made it in like the 70s or 80s. That stuff fascinates the hell out of me. I think that's awesome. And that motivation to sit there at, at buy a machine and every year just keep trying to like, you know, sitting in your garage just trying to get better and better at the game to get a higher score. That stuff fascinates me, but I will not do that myself. I, I'm not. No thanks. No thanks. So we're not doing a 12 hour stream where we just go from start to finish is what you're saying? No, we could do that once. <laughs> we can do that once. But then, oh, yeah, once. but then cleaning it up and going right back at it to try to beat it and keep doing oh, it no. until you get in the Guinness Book of World Records. Not happening. I don't know that there's a Guinness Book of World Records for this game. Yeah. Oh, there isn't? Okay, well then we got to do it then. Let's get <laughs> we it done. We can start it. We could be the first. <laughs> Let's set that bar high. But yeah. Anyways. All right. So we shuffled up two, um, two CP to start like normal. 13 health, like we said, on the, based on that scenario, uh, portal card, portal crawl card. Um, and we draw four cards, just like, uh, I believe, like normal dice room. Or the competitive dice room, I should say. All right, no mulligan, uh, unfortunately. Man. It's going to make it work. Doesn't matter if you guys see these cards, so... Oh, yeah, we're co-op. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hope Kyle's not holding that card. Oh, wait. I do hope he's holding that card now. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I go first. So, uh, my options... Uh, let's see if I can do such things. Um, my options are to move east to this tile, because it's unexplored. I can't go to here yet, but I do want to get this. I do want to get these. I definitely want to get some of these. Those are the very well-done artistic treasure chests. The most coolest... Graphically designed, uh, most amazingly detailed treasure chests I've ever seen. Just want to point that out. Very, very good effort on their part on that one. Um, but uh, you could go down to that one, or I can go to that west, uh, to that tile. But I basically can only move right now, and then explore. There is no minion engaged with another player to go to. So first turn, really simple. There is a starting tile that's always the same. The Crimson Scales, I think it says. Or Crimson Sands, Crimson Sands tile where it says it begins, and then the scenario always ends here, uh, the portal crawl. But everything else in between could be randomly set up based on this uh, portal crawl card over here. So, um, now going south would be cool because there's loot there, but I don't want to go to that level 3 tile. Not I have yet. no idea how, how anything escalates in this game at all. Mm -hmm. um, but going west, uh, if I'm trying to play safer, I think I want to try to get to one of these uh, salves as quick as possible so we have more of them and we can be a little more loosey-goosey and learning and failing at things and feel okay about it. Yeah, we like it'd be interesting to kind of go like this. But do we all go? Th that's the other thing, strategically. The other thing, strategically. Yes, Janet, recommend where we go. Guys, play along. I forgot to say that. I'm so sorry. I forgot to say that. Feel free to get involved. Shout things out. Say where we should go based on strategy and stuff. Well, again, our first playthrough, I'm sitting here going like, I don't know. Do we stay together? Like in every dungeon crawl, right? Where it was like, ooh, this scenario. Do we stay together? Do we separate? Do we try to get more things done? But like, there's no clock on this one that I know of, right? That's like, you only have so many rounds or something bad happens and the boss gets stronger or anything like that that I know of. So we could explore everywhere. It obviously is more risky because then more, that means more time we're getting attacked, more time we have to spend resources, um, but it could lead to more loot. Can we buy that loot? I don't know. Uh, on the left of the screen, actually, I forgot to point out, uh, Vanna, can you point out that there, uh, the loot table? So that's the portal crawl loot table. 
Um, if you want to hold it up actually to the camera, I'd love there's two sides. There's the portal crawl side, which we care about today. I didn't even mention this when I was talking about how convoluted loot is, and there's all these weird steps. When we draw a loot chest or you get it as a reward, whether it's one, two, or three, everyone at the table, just like Massive Darkness, gets some loot when you see the symbol. So if I go pick up a level two chest, all three of us roll our d20, and based on our roll, we might not even get cards. Like, what am I talking about? We might not even get cards. We get little tokens. Uh, we could get plus damage tokens. We can get CP. We can draw cards. We can heal. We can get gold, which can be used to shop at the end of the portal crawl. It's it is definitely fun. When I saw this, at first I was like, this is stupid. Just give me my damn loot. Oh, I love this. But it is it is fun. Like, I know in other games when they have a chest and on the back is the loot you draw, and they only have, like, five tokens in the whole game, you kind of know, like, you get bored after what you keep drawing, right? Yep. Um, but usually you're still drawing from a random loot deck. Um, but this, this is definitely fun. This feels like arcadey. This feels, this feels like definitely someone who loves a game is just rolling dice. This is just more, they're gone double down on the rolling dice, which I think is super fun. So you might not even get loot. Obviously, if you're, if you pull a level four chest, you're getting loot. Is it common? Is it rare? Is it, is it uh, epic? Is it legendary? That depends. Are you going to roll the d20 and hit the 20 or not? You know? Um, so we're going to see how that works, but that should be fun. Everyone gets to roll when we grab a chest. Uh, so it doesn't matter who gets it. And then the boss is on the other and side. And then the boss one is is all loot. All loot. Uh, you don't get any plus one damage, plus heals or anything. Um, so that's that's what that is over there. I forgot to point that out. We have a community gold dial, uh, which will be tracking gold. At the end of the scenario, we round this up to the nearest five. And then we each put it on our dial because we each manage our gold. We manage our loot. We manage our shop separately. Um, but this is the community gold that is going to go up during the portal crawl. We need to keep track of that. And that's that. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, west, I'm going. Uh, west, yep. Mm -hmm. Can you not move back? Uh, Adam, you can move backwards the way you came, but you have to end on a tile that's been unexplored. So you can move through tiles that have been explored, but you can't stop on one that's been, un uh, you can't stop on one that's already explored unless a minion battle is already happening there with someone else, uh, if that makes sense. So you do have options to go back the way you came, but you can't stop on a tile you've already dealt with and completely resolved and beat the minion there and it's done. You never stop there. You also can't choose to stay still on the turn. You have to keep moving. Um, so yeah. All right. You want to go west? Uh, it's recommended to play with cards face up so you can see what other players have. Helpful for playing cards for other players engaging a minion. Also stick together. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, there's backtracking. Um, yeah, I wonder where Rob will be headed. You know it. Uh, move until you hit unexplored tile so you can go back. Rolling the crit 20 to get loot is a that dopamine hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then, yeah, it's unidentified, so <laughs> you don't necessarily get it. And then the worst part is you could flip it, and then you, already, you can't put it in your deck because you already have something that is higher level, which could happen, obviously not with the 20. Um, with the legendary, but then you just have to draw a different loot card off the deck to replace it until you find something you can take. Um, so that's kind of weird. It's just all awkward. But anyways, it, I guess they did with the best they could with what they had. Um, trying to turn a competitive game into a cooperative game. Uh, yeah, I got to give them credit for that for sure. Okay, so move me to the west. And obviously I have to stop on that first unexplored tile. So it's level one tile. Oh man, these are not good for oh, over here. Sorry. <laughs> the green ones, you hold them up to there. Okay. They don't work on the, uh, the green screen one. So this is some super exciting, lavish caves. So we all get one gold to the gold meter, which I'm going to do. We're now at six. What else? Uh, the bottom says gain a parasite, which I'm sure is fabulous. You have the rule book with all the rest what? of this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I need to bring that up, actually, to show you all the crazy tokens that are included in this game. Oh, my God. This is a great start. I can tell already. I'm ready now. Damn, parasites. So oh, there's a whole page of status uh, tokens that came with this game uh, earlier today. I unboxed them on stream and we put them all in a container. There is, I should get, I'll show you, I'll get Mel to show you in a sec. I forgot to do that. To show you the amount of craziness that comes in this game. Way more than I expected, but I should have known when I saw the size of the box. It's like nuts. Um, so yeah, lots of tokens. Some of them are from Dice Run I've seen before already, um, but lots of them are like new to the game. So a parasite says, uh, it's a negative status effect during their upkeep phase if a player is infected with this token has a positive status effect 
they receive one undefendable damage. Additionally, if they spend a positive status token to successfully prevent or avoid damage, remove Parasite, then receive three undefendable damage as an isolated source of undefendable damage. Stack limit one. So you can only have one. It's not bad until you get a positive status effect on yourself. Yeah, so you need to get rid of this thing. I can get rid of it for you. Oh my god. That's so weird. I haven't looked at my cards yet, but I'm oh yeah, I can. Okay. I have a get the, I have a get that out of here. Get that out of here. Well, that's good. That's cheaper than yeah. than mine. So but like I don't know. Do I am I a character that gets lots of positive status effects? I mean I have a hundred tokens over here. <laughs> positive, 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 positive. I'll just give them to other people. Uh but anyways, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, All right. So then you gain the reward on the left, you do the bottom thing, which is super straightforward. Now we need to draw a level one minion. Okay, and I'm gonna also just show the token thing like yes. you said. So I have two trays off to the side. There's the card caddy and the token tray. Hey, Richard, um, thank you. I was flying. And so here is the amount of tokens that came with just this game that come in a tray. Like you you're not they don't come in the tray, you have to pop them all out, put them in there. But that's a lot of tokens just for this game, not to mention all the tokens each hero brings to the game. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And then this card caddy is nuts. Uh, it came with cardboard dividers. It has level one, two, three, and four minions at the front, scenario cards. It has all the loot with, again, cardboard dividers between everything, can fit sleeve cards. On the other side, it has all the boss decks for the four bosses that come in the game. Then it has all the tiles. So we're only playing with like, you know, six level one tiles or whatever, but there's like 20 or something in the game. Then there's a whole bunch of level two, level three, level four. Uh, and they're all there, just, you can pull it out, pop off a clear lid, and it's ready at the table to go. You just pull out what you need. So Mel's going to grab a level one. These were already shuffled, I right? did shuffle them, yeah. Uh, so you can just grab whatever. Oh, I can show it, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's green. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all off, off screen, just so you know what comes with the game. Um, that, that's, that's it. And plus a whole bunch Ooh. of boss stuff that we won't see till we do a boss encounter. So our first enemy is a Shadow Cat that has first strike, starts with nine health, has two CP. It can scratch you trying to roll those symbols on the enemy dice, which are called... Chaos? Chaos dice, yeah, that's right, right? Mm -hmm. Chaos dice, which I have. Um, on the bottom left is its roll objective. So when you're rolling for the enemy, like another player at the table will roll for the enemy. So in this case, we'll just have Mel do it because she has a different dice tray over there. But normally it's the player who went before you in turn order, but like, whatever, man. Um, so if you want to grab, they give you four enemy dials. So we just need one of the enemy dials. On one side is health, on the other side is CP. Um, you don't need to use a dial to manage the CP unless as an ability or something that starts managing its own CP. So we can ignore that kind of to start, I think, is what it was saying. Um, and then it has a reward here of uh, level one loot wall, uh, wall roll for the, the loot chest on the, the line one on the table sheet we just saw. And then what's its defense ability? Yeah. Uh, defense, it rolls one die, and on, the I think, the most common side, yeah, the side one, two, or three, uh, it will inflict bleed. Oh, Great. That sound good. Yeah, yeah. And it, it on here, like, three of a kind also inflict bleed. So, fun times. So, um... So, 9 health. I just put these tokens to track CP if we need them. And yeah, these are the um, chaos dice. So, they give you two sets of five, which is nice. I'm assuming so if you're sitting at a table of four people, two can have the dice between them, other two across the table or whatever can have them, uh, which is a nice convenience thing. It's better than some of those games that give you, like, not enough dice to even, you know, make a full roll sometimes. Um, but again, there is um, one... Two and three are all the same scratchy symbol. Uh, six is a die on fire. Um, four and five are this yellow spiral. So, and some enemies are looking for straights and stuff. And there's different rules for how that rolls. Okay, so uh, if we're following the turn order card here. So I didn't want to heal. That's fine. I'm full health. I moved. Uh, I explored. We do this stuff. And then now I could heal if I need to. Now first strike. So that means the enemy actually gets to go first. Mm -hmm. So, Mel, if you can roll, and again, your objective is looking for five of the one, two, or three side symbols. So, she's going to roll. Now, what she does in this case, she only keeps results uh, for the roll objective. If she hasn't achieved that roll objective, she takes everything else that was not part of it and rolls it again. And now, uh -oh. same thing. She, uh -oh. keep, she keeps what's part of the roll objective. Anything that isn't, you get just like a normal player, they get another attempt. Oh no, that's like the worst. Uh, but is there any three of a kind? 
And that's a no. no. So that's actually not as bad as it could have been. Oh, because there's no bleed, yeah. But what it does, is after you're finally done rolling three rolls, whether she achieved the full roll objective or not, then you look at the abilities and we start resolving them. We start resolving these based on top to bottom uh, to the worst, right? So obviously this is going to deal whatever that says. I can't see it. Six, six yeah. damage. Um, so six damage. So I'm going to go to my defensive roll because it's not unavoidable, right? Right. And, and then this minion has no passive ability. If there's a passive ability, there'd be a purple bar right here with passives, and it would also do that. So uh, defensive roll, I roll three dice to do my divine defense. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I didn't get any swords, so I don't deal any damage back. Uh, for each helmet, helmet, yes, I had to block one. And for every heart, I block two. So I block three of it. And then every prayer symbol, I gain a CP. Nice. Which I got one. So what did it hit me for again? Six. Six. I so I take three. Uh, and that's right here. I go down to ten. Oh, no. Guys, what's going on here? I got parasites. I'm getting killed. I don't know. It's, this game's not going good for me so far. All right. Now, because it had first strike, I actually get to go second instead of me normally going first. Uh, so I literally just going to take one round against it. So I go to upkeep phase. Uh, again, I have no positive status effects. So we don't worry about this thing. That's the only upkeep thing I know of right now. I have a passive. I may reroll one of your dice at any time for one CP per reroll. I have another passive. You may draw a card at any time for three CP per card. Now I go to my upkeep phase. So I get a CP. And I'm assuming the first player thing doesn't matter in this game. It didn't say anything about Yeah, that. right? The first player still gets to do the upkeep phase in this mode, in, I think. I think so, because you're not attacking someone, so there's no... Yeah, there's no like first player advantage, yeah. right? Pretty sure. Uh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be drawing. Holy light. Holy attack. Alright, let's see here. Now, oh, I could make my passive better. For 3 CP. So I may reroll one of your dice for one CP. I may draw a card for two CP. Ooh, things are the card draws cheaper, right? And then whenever you successfully activate an ability during your offensive roll phase that utilizes at least one prayer, I gain a CP. Wow. I should probably do this, right? Pretty good. Yeah. Or I really only have upgrades, or I can get rid of the parasite. I still can do both, actually. You have four CP. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I'm 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 loaded. But then you I also are... I also have some upgrades to get going here. So maybe some heal. I could focus on this little one down here. Uh, my holy attack could be better. Or my holy light. Mm, holy light. I don't know. I could go lots of ways right here. But... Mm, Think long term. We're going to have many... Battles. I know I'm just thinking like this passive could start paying the CP for all this like ex more expensive things. Um, but I would go down to like zero CP right now. Upgrades are best early in the run. Sell them later. Get rid of the parasite. I agree. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get rid of the parasite for sure. And I'll play that card. Parasite's gone. Pew! All right, then... Um, Guess I could just upgrade a. I'll, I'll save my passive actually, maybe, and just upgrade some other stuff. Uh, let's upgrade Holy Attack to level two for two CP, and then let's upgrade uh, Retaliate uh, for the one CP. I don't have any. I wish I had more roll phase cards. I'm a little scared of not having that stuff, but let's just do that. Let's just spread it around. <laughs> Speaking of parasites, hey Brian. <laughs> I think uh, Matt also said that. Oh Hi, no, Matthew. Hello. Hey Matthew. Said that. Speaking of parasites, hey Matthew. <laughs> How many times can I use that joke? <laughs> the Jot Beatles and Brett also came in. Hello. Speaking of parasites, hey the John, how's it going? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Hello everybody. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Thank for the most welcoming channel on the internet. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for supporting the channel, you parasites. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> this guy can, there, this shadow cat can also inflict bleed on defense. Yeah, that, that's when great. Does, when does this happen? Or what? When we kill so it. I just got rid of parasite. Bleed's probably worse. What? <laughs> when we kill it. Oh, I thought it was when you get the whole fix thing. 
No, no, no. That's the reward for yeah for totally defeating this enemy. Here we go. Uh, attack roll phase, just like normal, right? Uh, okay, so I got uh, three swords, two, 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 uh, five for a heart, and a three. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. And that's a uh, how much is health? Nine. Rolls one defense. Can't actually block anything, so. Yeah, like, I don't know, should I be going for, like, offensive stuff? I don't know, this is, this is crazy. Oh, Bob just came in. Um, Speaking of parasites, <laughs> hey, Bob, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 you're speaking about parasites. <laughs> like cockroaches, you just turn on the lights and they all come out of nowhere. No, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I'm trying to be funny. I don't know if it's working. All right. I think it's working. There's some uh, <laughs> laughing faces in the chat. <laughs> At other people's expense. Uh, okay. Uh... Uh oh, here's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of infestations of parasites. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty good timing for some of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh now now we can get started yeah, everyone's right. here now yeah, the stream is complete today this is great this is great <laughs> is <that> we summon <laughs> you <laughs> you know, i just look in the camera and say parasite 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 <laughs> and it's like boom i manifest them uh, <laughs> i think that's how that works right okay i need to be faster let's take a turn i'm gonna reroll this one and i get a helmet yeah. All right. Hey, uh, Shadow Cat. Yep. I am going to activate uh, uh, this ability. Do you want to play? Oh, never mind. It doesn't work that way. Um, I'm going to try to activate Righteous Combat. I think is the play, which deals five damage, but I also roll two dice. And maybe we can increase that. But it is defendable. Uh, so actually, I'll get to for the heart. I get to heal two. So that's good. And then for the helmet, this adds an extra damage. So I do six damage, but then you do a defense roll. Can't actually block anything, but oh, that wasn't in the thing. Should I? What happened? Uh, yeah, you got to roll in the dice tray, Mel. Come on. I okay. bought the bigger dice tray. You should be able it to hit them. It dropped out of my hand. Uh, so on that symbol, it'll inflict bleed, which doesn't sound good. There's bleed. Oh, that card only got rid of one token, yeah. right? Oh, should yeah. Say, say no, that. yeah, no. I don't know what bleed does. <laughs> Bleed's but, worse than yeah, yeah. Uh, probably is. And you did, sorry, uh, six damage. Oh yeah, here you guys can yeah, have this. Yeah. yeah, you guys can look at this and six have that. Six damage. You you did. Sorry. Uh, yeah, six damage. Six damage. So it's down to three health. It is. All right. Then I you. then I go to main phase two, uh, which I have no new CP to change anything. Then I go to discard. I'm good. And then uh, the round is done. Normally, uh, again, if they didn't have first strike, I would do my turn right now and finish. Uh, or then, sorry, then go to a minion step. But the minion already went in first strike. So that's it. That's my turn. Uh, that took longer than needed. But I'm trying to explain everything and also make fun of my audience. Uh, so next <laughs> is Kyle. So Kyle, you will now start by, you could heal if you need yeah. to. Uh, then <clears throat> you could move. Uh, which you, you need to move, I mean, you have to. Yeah. Which direction? You want to come and... Uh, you could come and get engaged in my combat, which is perfect that one happened here. So you could come, and then... But the only problem is you'll get attacked by this guy first, his first strike, which I will still too. But I already engaged them. Could I deal with him? You can... Um, you cannot pass through me, because I think you have to stop if I'm engaged with them, and you can't just like, bye, see you, and go to the next one. <laughs> but I think you can go only to here, here, these one of these two, or get in the combat with me. It's your choice. I know. But you see, think, this is the only level one yeah, yeah. we've ever seen, so this well, is kind of... But with only three health, I think it would be a waste of my my brute force. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Go, exactly, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Like, Watch you roll no damage. Yeah, yeah, and no. Like, you, <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll, I'll go Sarah. So. Okay, okay, so flip the tile. You, you so get to flip the tile. Oh, first, first, that's first. That's first, yes. So we get our first treasure, so we're all going to roll our d20 against that loot table on the top row. So I'll go first here. I roll five. What's that get me, Mel? One CP. Go ahead. Kyle. One CP. Fourteen. Fourteen. One gold. Oh. I got a fourteen as well. So two gold total. Two gold to the dial. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to. 
Oh. So see oh, that part of looting. CPU. That part of looting is fun. <laughs> I it's, do love that actually. So it, that is fun. It's the card system that in the rule book confused me and it just seemed weird for no reason. But I love the idea of just rolling against the table and getting like fun rewards. I think that is kind of neat. All right. So what did you get? Hold up to the camera. Show us what you got. What did you win today? Uh, there is no bonus on the left side. That oh. sucks. But you get to remove all status effects from the active player and draw a card. That's not bad. There's a good good places. Who's, you don't get a parasite. Who's active player. That's you. Uh, oh. So you have no bad so things I just on draw you. Draw one card in yep. advance of my. From a guy who complains about do. not having enough cards in this game, <laughs> you should be thankful you just drew. And you drew oh. the draws more cards. <laughs> okay, nice. I'm just gonna shovel this over a little bit. What's the hand limit again? Uh, uh, six. At the end of your turn, though, you only check yeah. it. Okay. And you get a, uh, money. Are you ready? What do we get for Kyle? Hopefully, it's something bigger and beefier. Oh, it is a oh. 15 health enemy. It is a boulder. He's looking for those. Oh, it's harder to get hit because this is only on two sides of the dice. The yellows. His roll objective there and his rock, rock, mm -hmm. rock avalanche, rock avalanche, and which he'll roll two dice and deal damage. You've seen that before on characters. Yeah. I think you have that kind of ability. Mm -hmm. There's our first passive on a minion in the purple bar. On a failed offensive roll, it'll just still hit you for one undefendable damage. A little ping on defense because it's made of rock. Obviously, it's rolling more dice, and for every yellow, it prevents damage. So, okay. and then if you want to grab a health dial for it and just give it its own health dial, uh, right here, just grab one and sure. set it to its health and put it beside it. And Mel's grabbed a CP. Just, yeah, that's we fine. Can track it that's fine. That's fine. Save yeah. on health dials. Yeah, if I was using that character that like stole CP and stuff, that would matter. Travis says, "Don't sleep on the boulder. It rolls two dice and you take damage equal to total." And I, yeah. we, in Marvel, who was there was a character in Marvel we were playing that and it kept hitting like I was saying like fives and sixes all the time when I played with it. And then I think this guy, does he not have that ability? Or one you played last week was doing that. Yeah, the tree. The tree. Oh, it was the tree that was doing that? Yeah, it can get disgusting. Well, no, overpowered. Roll three, oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Two. Yeah, three dice. That's even worse. Yeah, yeah those are scary in multiplayer. Uh, or in uh, cooperative, I should say. All right, so I can heal. <laughs> and I don't need to heal. There's no first strike. So now it just comes to me doing my normal hero step. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Larry, I know, right? Rob can do it. <laughs> uh, sorry, Travis was mentioning bleed. I forgot to read it, but Travis says uh, bleed is roll one during upkeep. On a one to four, you take one damage. On a five to six, you remove it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully, okay. you can remove it then before yeah. taking the damage. Perfect, perfect. So, I don't know. That is probably worse, but at least you can get rid of itself so I don't have to waste a card. So, Parasite made sense to get yeah. rid of it then. Uh, okay. Um,. What are you thinking? Upkeep phase, nothing happens for you, right? They, they did you draw? Do, they did you draw do, and take a they, CP? Yeah, I did. They don't do income phase, right? No. No, no, no. Well, I might as well just sell this for one CP. What you got? Kyle's selling this card. Inflict concussion on chosen opponent. Yeah. A oh, player, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think bosses can do income. But, Probably, but yeah. But these little guys don't do it, so it's not worth my... Yeah, that's good. Just huh. do yeah. CP. So yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, I guess. Yeah, selling cards is more important sometimes in this when the cards don't really work. Michael says, "I watch the Hoplo streams. Rob should definitely roll for the enemies, the yellow dice." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me go get them one sec. <laughs> uh, the Hoplo stream for tomorrow. I did delay it to Thursday. FYI, if you're thinking of watching that, I did push it back a day so I could play this tonight. I had to rearrange the basement for the stream. I don't really want to be doing that late tonight uh, or tomorrow morning before the stream. I still want to sit, for Hoplo, I want to sit down and reread the rules again before I play to get refreshed for that final Act 4 epic run to the boss. So I push it to Thursday so that I can kind of reset and get back into it and go at it with like a fresh brain. I don't want to go at it like tired and, and kind of like with my head still in dice thrown. So that's my, that's my rationale there. Um, so yeah, just FYI, anyone looking for that stream, I push it back today. Uh, pushed, I changed the time of it today from tomorrow to Thursday. Just push it back one day. Um, but if you set notify me, you'll still get notified uh, and, and on it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I've done a couple things. I drew two more cards with double up. Then I use getting paid. Yep. Get more CP. Get more CP. I'm gonna. Man, you're rolling too. Upgrade dash for two. Man, how do we not get these starts in the normal game ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> this feels awesome. I like when you get a good start like this in this version of the game. It says Rob's gaming field and Chinese food equals heaven. 
Uh, uh, Adam, Ralph would agree. <laughs> Adam, I don't need the Ross gaming table, uh, but uh, the Chinese food, oh my. Love Chinese food. From the right place, yes. From the right place, yes. Oh my. Oh, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you and me, buddy. You and me. Oh, good. good. We just, yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, what the, how high can you heal above your current? Uh, 10, I want to say. 10? Is that right, Rob? Uh, you can heal above your health by 10? Yeah, yeah, uh, yes. Yes? That's this game, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would assume that rule still applies. All the basic dice run rules apply, except for the ones that they change in this game. But I didn't hear it, Sarah, any mention about you couldn't heal past. But yeah, it's always 10 above your starting, whatever that was. Uh, Locator, uh, can we keep quiet about that here? Um, I shouldn't probably say this out loud because it's on the internet and the RCMP might be listening. Um, but, you know, uh, Locator is saying it is opening night for the NHL. You're watching the recordings later, right? Uh, I'm not, I haven't watched hockey in a while. Uh, if that got out, I could be deported from Canada, so... <laughs> let's just keep that let's just keep that on the DL, okay? Uh there's some heavy fines, it's possibly jail time if you're caught not watching hockey when it's on the TV. So uh yeah, we got to be careful with that here. Please yeah. nobody say anything, right? If anyone asks, I'm American, okay? If anyone asks, I'm American, right? Just we're all Americans here. <laughs> you know, well, I'm in the US streaming right now, just that's what we're going with, okay? Yeah. That's how it works. It's a serious business up here. And yes, I will be watching them later. <laughs> <laughs> we don't watch the playoffs anyways. What are we talking about? I know. I used to follow the Penguins <laughs> all the way through. I loved it. I bought the NHL packages, watched it like crazy. We went to many, many games. Yeah, drove to hockey games all over the place. Oh, man, I used to be really into it. And then it's just I got into other hobbies and just had to cut things that took time, you know, and had to choose other things. So there's not enough time to do all the things I want to do. Yeah, it's just like not enough. <laughs> Look, just says, yeah, I'm not an immigration lawyer, so I can't help with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, RC says that's how I feel when people start talking about football here in America. I can see that for sure. <laughs> it's like, what? You're not watching football on Sunday? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> it's like you can avoid church and it's like kind of okay in, in the US, you know? But like if you miss football on Sunday, holy... <laughs> Get out. Get out. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've watched more NFL in the last, I don't know, three or so years than I've watched NHL. And uh, again, don't tell anyone here that, please. <laughs> awesome. All right, sorry, Kyle. <laughs> sorry. Oh good. Um, you just did some stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, did, fine. I did stuff. Um, did you kill it yet? No. He didn't do his role phase yet. Oh, he no, just did like I'm his main phase. Offensive. Yeah. I was, I was waiting. I didn't want to do it. Oh yeah, yeah. Without, okay. Uh... Yeah, we need the excitement of everything. So Mel will be your enemy again because she has other dice tray on the other side. So use this dice tray and yeah, then. Yeah. So offensive phase. Uh, let's see what I get. Oh, hearts, hearts means healing, but oh, you're yeah. full health. So. He's I over just, full. Yeah, I'm over full. Oh, yeah, you do get to heal above. Yeah, I keep yeah, it. I couldn't remember if we That's why you're asking. Yeah. I get it, I get yeah, it, I get it. Because I had to set that free card, this one. Yeah, you might, like, as, might well, as well right? do it now, um, which I only got three from. So Yeah, especially with this game, if like, you have that chance of dying and not being healed, it's like buff your health up as much. Oh, my gosh. What is with the health? It knows. I get three rerolls, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, number six. Nope. Wow. You get some swords though that can do something. Say football instead. Actually, just don't say. Two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I can do six damage. Six damage? Is that what you're going with? Yeah, it's the only thing that I could do here. Okay, so we'll roll for the boulder. And he's trying to keep these yellow ones. He's trying to keep those. No. Nope, he got two only. I don't think he can do anything with two, so I think you just take one. Yeah? Yeah, you just take one undefendable damage. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think that guy's going to miss a lot because he needs six. 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 Yeah. 
How did you do the damage? Oh, no, it's on sorry. offensive roll. I did, it does I, okay, oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're just doing a defensive no, roll. Five dice. Just roll once. I had Re a complete brain heart. Yeah, yeah. You're sorry. just doing defensive roll right now. So on yellows, he pre prevents one, yeah. right? So every sorry. yellow on the wow. defensive roll. Yeah. So oh, what do we got? We got a super chat. Dan, thank you so much. Five bucks from a couple of parasites. Bob Chapman, you owe me 250. <laughs> 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 that is so funny. That is good, Dan. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> tree Fitty. Tree Fitty. The copper says that'd be about Tree Fitty Canadian. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so he blocked three. I'm so sorry. I had a brain fart for a second. Jack is in the post. <laughs> I can come help you with that guy because that guy's bigger than the guy that Rob has. Dan, well played. Well played, Dan. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you will pay. Oh, man. Dan, thank you. That was funny. I picture Bob going down to the local post office with like a sack full of pennies or whatever. The like Sock full of pennies. Yeah, sock full of pennies or whatever. And be like, can you ship this to this U.S. address? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the smallest denomination of metal coins are in in uh, Bob, the UK. do they have pennies in the UK? Yeah, yeah like what, pence or something. Is that what pence or is like, like the smallest like the of British cent? pounds or whatever? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I just picture just a sack of metal be like, here, send this to Dan Roberts. <laughs> sorry, do they accept pennies in the US? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. still do? I think so, yeah. Oh. If they still manufacture them, I think. If they do, they still accept them. All right. Okay. Uh, so now the enemy attacks Kyle. Uh, wait, do hearts count as like just health in general if I roll them? No. No, you got to trigger oh. an ability that gives you them. Yeah, yeah. All right. Nice try. Oh, now you want health? Uh, go, you're staying you up too much. You don't even care. Oh, yeah, yeah so now he's going to attack you back. Sorry. Targeting, we're not doing defense. Yeah. <laughs> you're good? Yeah, I guess I, there's nothing else I can do. Yep. Right, main phase and all of that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so now I'm cards. rolling for the enemy for his actual roll. Yeah, okay. I had a brain fart last time. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so we got one. So now we're going to roll again. Yeah, you're doing for the boulders. For the so boulder. she's trying to get as many yellows as possible. Two. Three. How many does he need? Oh, he needs four. four. You're good. Yep, so he does an undefendable damage. So you do take one hit because uh, yeah. of his passive ability on the purple bar there. Okay. All good. And then do you want to discard anything or main phase number two or anything? Oh no, oh, yeah. you did all that already. I did all that. I don't roll defense anyway. Uh, it's undefendable. Oh, that one's yeah. This one is the undefendable. Uh, one. But so, I'll just roll in general just because he attacked me. No, no. only if it's same defendable. as the normal oh. game. Yeah, if it's the red damage, you don't get to defend. Uh, so Mel's turn. Okay, well I think I'm gonna go help him with the 12th enemy if that's fine with you because... No, but Kyle hits so big, he's gonna, <laughs> he doesn't want to come after my weenie enemy. I didn't think I was gonna roll so many hearts. I know, that's crazy. Okay, uh, so now I'll go into my yeah. upkeep. You just turn, oh, I like, yeah, we just want oh. to see it on stream, our little Sorry. guys. Oh, now yours is better. This is the disadvantage of not having miniatures standees, you gotta like kind of, or else they just become like a thin line and nobody can see them. Um, but at least the minis are like 3D, so as much as I knock not needing miniatures on video, <laughs> it is helpful. All right, upkeep. I'm gaining my CP, drawing a okay. card. Let's go close in on Melanie as she completes her <laughs> turn and looks at her cards to determine right. what she wants to spend money on. I'm going to spend one CP on double up to draw two cards. Just get all the information before I start. Choosing to use instant actions to gain additional knowledge. Oh, wow. Okay. I could spend two CP to upgrade hot streak. But that's not usually what I try to go for. So maybe I hold. For some reason, she's sorted her cards not together in groups of color, but still inserted <laughs> cards in the line <laughs> and shuffled them in some kind of strange, organized manner. I would get... she's, she's doing it again. <laughs> I would get it. Oh, when she's I look putting down. her blues together, and her oranges are now together, so it makes sense to look at groups of cards during certain phases. Um, but originally, we don't understand. I was putting them in the order I wanted to play them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is sense. the one I wanted to 
Okay, and that first, and you can then... probably move them up a bit so we can actually see them. It's not like you're ever gonna do your ultimate, right? Uh, no, I do my ultimate every stream. No, I yes, I do. Yeah, Go back I, and check the I records. I, yeah, I prepare that's the why... whole stream by lining my dice up yeah. nicely and so that, that I will will it why happen. I have, that's why I have to get a uh, regulatory official from uh, Rocks and Games <laughs> to come and check the dice every time uh, to make sure you didn't tamper with them before we play. Um, uh, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna wait. I uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait on hot streak. I want to play this eventually. Yeah. Okay. No, we're gonna stop there. We're gonna roll. <laughs> All righty. What are we trying to do? Trying to damage both enemies. So. Oh. Yeah. One. Damage to all opponents. Oh, yeah, that one. The one that I was doing to both of you guys <laughs> that you guys hated, right? But all opponents oh. this time hits both yeah, of yeah, all yeah. the minions oh, in play. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So let's do kill one again. More. Then I can come help you guys. That's a cock die. I don't know what that is. Not what I want it to be. This would... hmm. Yeah, sports commentary is what I was going for there. Hmm. <laughs> I have Pyroblast here where I can deal six damage and roll a die. Oh, man. Or I go for this burning soul. I need one more. Do I have a way to manipulate? No, I think we're gonna go with this because I don't wanna I don't wanna get nothing. So we're gonna do pyroblast. We're gonna deal six damage and I'm gonna roll one die. Which is a six. This one inflict knockdown. So I inflict knockdown on him. So he needs to spend the two CP that he has to remove it. And then six damage. So am I rolling for the enemy in my die as well? Or my no. tray? No, Kyle will. Oh, you got it? Okay. Sure. So all the yellows block yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. This defensive roll you're doing, right? Yeah. So it only blocked two? Two? Yeah. So he takes two. four damage. Takes so, four? Yep. Mm -hmm. Reduce the style. And then you can roll. He's going to attack me, and hopefully I can just hit him back. Now you're going for so, offensive so he roll. he needs to spend these because yeah. of the knockback. Yeah. He doesn't have any more of those if I can do that again. Well, what does he even spend CP on? He doesn't, well, but he doesn't have any more. Oh, but you'll again. stop his offensive phase, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's kind of neat. But then it goes away, right? Okay. After you do it once? Um, to remove this token, a player inflicted with this must spend two CP before starting their offensive role. If the player does not, they must skip. Yeah. Oh, I got three. Okay. Oh, failed. Dang, I want him to hit me but so that I can do... But you still take one unfavorable yeah, yeah, yeah. damage. Okay. Yeah, I know you want to do your defensive roll, right? So I he's did, like yeah. trolling. Because I could, yeah. That's okay. Um, okay. Then. So on my turn, I'm already engaged with an enemy, so I'm going to continue with that enemy. It's first strike. So Mel, if you want to, oh, actually, sorry, I get upkeep phase. Upkeep phase. I don't want to heal. So one CP, one card draw. Yeah, so wild. Change the value of any one die for two CP. That's nice. Well, the the first strike only happens. The first time? Is Wait, that... did I just gain one CP? Is that right? No. Did I do it one or two? The what, what, On the, like, they oh. always start before you. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you do upkeep. I don't? Because it doesn't have first strike. Doesn't it still strike first? Oh, time? yes, yes, sorry. Yeah. Yes, you're right, you're right. I get it, I get it. I didn't know if it was one of his first reveal or if it was every time. I think but... one. I don't know what I did. All right. Yes, you're right. This is a little confusing. Uh, we're getting used to it. So I'm in this stage, right? Like, obviously, I skip all this. I could heal. Now it's first strike. Yeah. So hero step is when I would do a normal hero turn. I don't know why I'm thinking like that. Because I'll probably just watch you guys do that. But uh, so first strike. So just a minion attacks me right away. Okay. Yeah. So this is the shadow cat that is looking for these white symbols. I think all enemies uh, roll all five dice. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Okay, you only got four. Okay, so I roll defensive roll. Right now, that's going to deal five damage. Defensive roll, three dice. Hiya! And I will prevent. Okay, oh, so I hit it back with an undefendable damage for one sword there. So one point of damage. Uh, and then I prevent one. And then I also gain a CP. So it's hitting me for whatever minus five minus, five one. minus one. So four damage. Oh, I'm down to eight. Holy! Wow. 
Minion number one. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now I go to my normal turn, right? And then I will. Got to roll for bleed. Oh, bleed. Yeah. In, in roll, which? Upkeep phase? Yeah, upkeep. It just says during, so I don't know. A player affected point. with this token must roll one die during their upkeep phase. Yeah, okay, sorry. Upkeep phase right now, right? And you're hoping for a five to six. Hoping for a five to six. A two. So now I lose a health. Yeah, yep, well, undependable damage. Yeah. Oh, boy. And it stays there. <laughs> oh, what no. is the stack limit on bleed? Uh, two. It, it is two. two. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I gain a CP. I draw a card. Oh, it's so wild. Uh, okay. Now main phase. I have three CPs. Hmm. I'm going to, let's risk it. I'm going to upgrade my passive for all three CPs. So maybe I can earn some CPs with it if I'm resolving prayer symbols. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to offensive roll. Uh, what do we got here? Come on. Okay. I'm going to look around the menu, see what's good. Uh, this one is holy light uh, for two hearts I could heal one per heart rolled and then I roll two dice if I get a sword I gain a crit token um, which is spend to add four to an attack well that's pretty good if I get a helmet uh, I then gain protect which is prevent half the damage of an incoming attack well, that could be good and on another heart on that die that on the dice I roll I draw a card or on a prayer symbol I gain two CP I might as well just do that, but I could still roll to try to get, like, more hearts for heal. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll keep those and just roll these and see what happens and maybe pivot off of that. Although, did I have this? I think I did. Hmm. Gain retribution. Hold on, what was that? Spend one attack to deal half damage back. This token may be spent after being attacked as a roll of opponent's offensive roll. And then I could have dealt three undefendable damage and healed one. That's fine. I'll just do this, but... You would have killed it. I know. I think I think I did have that, but I'm not sure. But I feel like I did. But maybe I didn't have a prayer. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a prayer. Uh, all right. I didn't even look at the numbers, though, either. Anthony, yes. This is first portal crawl. Yeah, yeah. First time ever playing. No, we have not faced No the boss. Yet. Never played the game before today. <laughs> Fun times. Three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to roll. I'll just roll a three again. Okay, uh, so didn't get any more hearts. That's weird, but I guess only on one side. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, so I'm going to do Holy Light. I'll heal two. And then I roll two dice. And that will gain me Protect, which could prevent half the incoming damage off an attack. Or off incoming damage, round it up. And then I got the Prayer, which will gain me 2 CP. It will everything. Yeah, but it's like Jack of all trades, Master of none, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't do any damage to this guy, so he's not rolling defense, I guess, or anything. So. No. Um, and then we're done, right? Unless he... you want to do any main, second main phase. Oh, and... uh, yeah, second main phase. Let me check my cards. Oh, I did a, I had a whole yeah. But I just, I didn't have the money yeah, for yeah, it before, yeah. but. Uh, I could, but it doesn't matter until next turn anyway. And I think I want to keep the two just so I could change the value of a die if I need. Um, and I can do that, I think, on their enemy too, but I'll just leave that. I'm done. Good. Kyle can go. Oh. It was first strike, right? Didn't oh you, yeah, first strike. Sorry, already? sorry, he already did his attack. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. He already did his damage. Alright, so I'm engaged with this guy, the boulder. Income, yeah. One and one. What I get? Mighty blow two. Cool. Um main phase, I'm not gonna do anything. Offensive roll. 
Did you get your upkeep, your card draw, and your, and your yeah, money? Yeah, one on one. Oh, okay. Yep. It's another upgrade. I can't. Okay. Can't afford it. What would I get? Oh, two. Four, five, six. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe got to roll with your other hand. Rob yeah, was maybe. trying that. Oh thing. yeah, that was something. Somebody maybe commented on a video. It was like your dice keep missing because you're roll not rolling with the left hand. <laughs> like I don't know how to shake uh, this. Uh, <laughs> awkward. I don't know. Okay, I still got a hard. So it's is that like good that. or bad? No, is that better? No different. Oh. Okay, well, it's, yeah, four. Well, eight. that seems good. That's eight damage. What's his health? Eight. Well, he's gonna I mean, could potentially defend. Well, defend no, but... four of a kind. This attack defense undefendable. Oh, oh, I, I, oh no, not four of a kind. <laughs> four of the not, not, not four of the number and... based on the number. How many times did I roll? I uh, think right at it? least twice. I know. Did I roll three times? Numbers. Right? Yeah, it says numbers. Four of a kind by numbers. I rolled once, and then left hand. I think I still have one more roll. More. I don't know. Oh, yeah, but go one ahead. One Whatever. And it's just gonna hurt. Okay. All right. I'll just do try and deal eight damage. Uh, the 20 sided die is the loot die, Matthew. We yeah. roll this every time we get a loot chest to find out what we get on that table over there on the left, uh, top left corner of the screen. Okay, he's doing eight damage, rolling defense for the boulder. He blocks none. He's dead. Blocks he blocks none? none. No damage. No yellow. You get a yellow. No yellow. Boom. He's get dead. Him, Mel, put him in the back of the tray for the uh, behind all the greens. And a green reward. I'm going to keep it. Oh, yeah. What's his reward on him? Green, oh, green, green, green chest. So we all roll our dice against the green top little loot chart there. I got a two. Two is plus one damage token. Yay. I got a 12. 12 is one gold. And Give me health. 13 gold. is one gold. Man, I want health. It's the only way I can get health. <laughs> We're at 10 gold now as a party. Yay. Woo okay. Interesting. Now, oh, you're up. now I guess I go and help Rob again. Do you need to, though? Well, I don't want to go fight this guy by myself. So you could go here. There's an unexplored tile there. It's either come and help me or go see what's at this green one. You Where? can go do the green one. I can go do the green one, but you're not going here, are you? But he can um, come help you if you're in trouble. Yeah. Come help me. Yeah. If you somehow okay. beat your guy in one turn, he can go here if he wants. Or uh, All right, I'll if go I'm done. One. Oop, sorry. Because you could get rewards and fun stuff like parasites and things. Yeah, I could. I could. Let's see. We took in... Oh, we get another oh, gold. Okay, we get a gold. Okay, we're at 11. Uh, gain... Backstrike and Wither? Oh, those don't sound good. Are they good? Are they bad? I don't, I don't know. know. Back, Let's find back out. Backstrike has to be good. Backstrike's positive itself. Backstrike is a positive status effect in the top left there with the purple with the two swords. When a player with a backstrike receives damage as a result of an opponent's offensive roll phase, they may choose to spend this token. If spent, roll a die. Deal half the value damage rounded up to the attacking player. So it's like retaliate. Yeah. Okay. Backstrike. What a weird way to say retaliate. Yeah. Or just strike back. <laughs> or strike back? Yeah, that would yeah. make sense. Not, I thought it was they're walking backwards, striking into you with their back. Oops, uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop walking backwards, sir. You're just back. You just backstriked me. Uh, <laughs> so the other one was... Uh, wither, the very bottom. Wither. On the bottom right, wither. Negative status effect. Uh, let's see if I can zoom. Oh. Negative status effect. If a player with Wither token would be deal damage as a result of their offensive roll, reduce the damage by one per Wither token. Persistent. Yeah, that's fun. Uh huh. I can get rid of it though. I think. Nice. That's okay. fun. So let the oops the enemy. Oh, help Rob. Let Rob and Kyle tank. Oh, a lizard man. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So 15 health, 2 CP. Stomp. Oh, he's going to roll one die and deal damage equal to the value. Oh, he can knock he's you like down. down. Okay, oh, and on no. defense, he can deal two undefendable damage if he rolls that. Okay. This is not good. This is interesting. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if I can do 15 damage in one shot. Oops, what am I doing? 15. 
and two. I need to, and he doesn't have first strike, so I get my turn first. So I will gain a CP and a card. I will have to discard a card if I don't spend a card because I'm at my over my limit now. At least you get money for it. But. I could just remove, which I think I need to do. I'm going to say bye bye and remove a status effect token from a chosen player, and I'll get rid of this wither. That was one, uh, two CP going down to one. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. All right, we're attacking. Okay. Interesting. We have three. He doesn't have any of those, eh? We look at this, everyone. We rolled three so far for our um. Nice. What's it called again? Ultimate. 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 Say it. <laughs> Maybe my cover. Oh, my cards are covered. Anyone can ultimate. <laughs> I know. Okay. I always roll my ultimate. Well, I already rolled. Three, so I'm close to this and I'm close to this. We're gonna try. Let's see. No. Generating effect. What's this called again? No, I honestly was like. What am I close to? Rolling? Forget what that's. Okay. I have one more roll. Yeah. I need a. If I get at least right, one, more, one more, I can trigger this one. Could be in trouble, but. Yeah, right, because those don't do anything else. I'm also close to this. I just need one. I just need simple. one. Hmm. Well, let's actually try one more time because I do have a, a try, try again. No, nope. Brett. I don't. I don't know what you're asking, Brett. This is <laughs> he's buying from someone who is going to use pirate ship legit. Jokes are accepted as long as I get legit answers. Just want to know if I should do business with someone through BGG or Game Geek. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Sound, it does sound sketchy. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to do try, try again. You or a chosen teammate may reroll up to two dice. Hmm, but now what do I go for? I have one away from this. And one away from this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's roll this one. Oh, it's exactly the same. I'm going to end up doing no damage here. Oh, no. Well. Just re-roll everything. I can't. I can only re-roll one more. Ah. Mm. Not enough to do anything. Dang. All right, well. That's it. Nothing. Who doesn't defensive roll against me, so that's fine. Was it undefendable? I didn't do any damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. whiffed on that. Okay. Okay, so then main phase two. I think I will just sell a card for a CP. I want to have always have one because I can prevent someone from losing six damage. And then that's my turn, I guess. Yep, Lizard Man will go. So he's trying to get these yeah, yeah. two. Which seems really easy. I think one. he's only going to keep Five. two of them. Because he's already got two, yeah. so he'll re-roll one of them. Make it harder on yourself. I know, but that's how it is. And he got he it. He got it? Okay, so he's going to roll one die and deal damage equal to his body, right? Yeah, and then also inflict knockdown. Six damage! But I have this. Oh, yeah, the half thing? <gasps> when a player receives damage as a result of opponent's offensive roll, they may choose to spend this token. If spent, roll one die, then deal half as damage back. Okay, but I can still roll my offensive roll and see what happens. Defensive roll, you mean? Defensive, that's what I meant. Yeah, sorry. All right, let's see. So each of these, I gain one of these tokens. Each of these... I deal one undefendable damage. So I deal one damage to him. I take six. 
I will do this. I'll spend this to roll one die, which is a five. Then deal half the value as damage rounded up. So three damage yeah. to well, him. Three damage to him, but spend the token. So you gotta get rid of the back. Get rid of this. And then I will spend a CP. And I will say, not this time, a chosen player prevents six incoming damage. Which that's what he was saying. Whoa. Okay. Defense. Took nothing. Done. Okay. Sorry. Uh, all right. That's a long one. Sounds me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fighting my guy still. Yep. So he's first striking me. I don't need to heal. Okay. Uh, so come at me, bro. Oh, oh wow. One, two, three, four. No three of a kind, please. No three of a kind. Nope. You only got four. Okay. That's five damage. Five damage. Defensive roll. All right. So I prevent three of it. You get knocked out. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't want to take my own, I guess. No. Nope. So I prevent three of it. How much was it again? Five. Five. So I take two. Um, but I also deal one unpreventable back. Okay, so he's at one. Woo! So close. <laughs> so close. So on my upkeep phase, I roll for some bleed action. Uh, that means I take a oh my goodness damage. Bleeding over here. Uh. I guess I could change. No, that's only roll phase. Never mind. Um, all right. Now I will upkeep phase or uh, income phase. Gain one CP. Draw another card. Ooh, upgrade to my defense for three. Well, I'll think about that for phase number two. Uh, but maybe I should upgrade Holy Light already. Times that. Oh wow. No, I'll leave it. Okay. Come here, you shadow cat. All right. We got helmet, helmet, helmet. Four, 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 and a five and a one. Uh huh. Let's see. Let's roll two of these. Okay, there's something. So I get this. Uh, righteous combat. I deal five damage, but I'll roll two dice. And that will gain me uh, an extra two damage I don't need. And a helmet will get me an extra damage I don't need. I was hoping for heal and CP, but... Alright, so I did uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, defensive uh, roll of one. It does not inflict bleed, you're good. It is dead. So loot on this is level one. So I got a fifteen. Fifteen. Two gold. Woo! Six. Six. One CP. Oh, only one? Two. I get a plus one damage. Yep, take your one CP. Yes, yeah, se oh, seven. seven. <laughs> These columns are like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so take away the shadow cat. Put it at the yep, back of the yeah, um, back of the pile. Get rid of the health dial. Get rid of the CP tokens. And then main phase number two, I will upgrade my defensive ability for three CP. And I'm only at six health. That's a scary. That's a scary. Um, and then that is all. Kyle, your turn. Okay. Um, income. So you're engaged with the lizard no. man? Are you going to come help me? You have to move. Who's engaged with the lizard me? man? Oh, yeah, I got to move first. Yeah, go do yeah, that. You want to help I'll, me? I will go. I'll yeah, go I want to come help lizard. her too if she's still there. Ooh, lizard. Okay, now I'll do. No, I'll keep it like income. Mm -hmm. One. And one. Hmm. Oh, Starman says salve. Pronounced like valve, but thou, not val. A salve is a poultice or ointment. Lots of antiseptics will have salve in the description. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was pronounced differently. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the how to play guide, like they definitely. Well, they might be right. Staff, but yeah, I thought it was to pro. Yeah, I thought you pronounced the L. Oh. 
I'm just going off the how to play. But they could be wrong for sure. Sam. Yes, she should. Sam. Oh. For the land of reading. Salve. Salve? Salve. Is the L in salve silent is a question people ask a lot on Google. In some parts of the world, people pronounce salve the way it is spelled, but in the US, the Canucks pronunciation has a silent L. Okay. So this game is so made only in the where, US. Where is Roxley Games ma uh, manufactured? Because they that's how they pronounce it, obviously, or in the US. Which is why. Yeah. The, in the so it, it, it's that... a location, local thing. Uh, so Starman is not from the US. Uh, I'm not from the US either. Yeah, which is why we thought it was pronounced different. Well, no, I just thought because I heard it said certain ways and you never know. It's just a weird word. Like I didn't know anything about what it was. I just didn't know why they weren't called heal tokens. <laughs> but uh or revive tokens or like just something more yeah. obvious like i've just never seen that called anything um like that before but that makes sense if it's like ointment or that kind of thing uh, but it makes sense whatever they use in their little world here thank you star man so yeah the u.s it's it's sav sav in the u.s and salve or salve like Valve, everywhere else. That's why the English language is not confusing at all. Yeah, yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess. With hearts. Oh, you keep heavens. getting hearts. Hearts, what the heck? All right, I, can you share some heal? No. I don't think so. No. no. <laughs> Heal me, oh, barbarians. But three, maybe three, four. Yes, Adam, that is a legit excuse oh, to leave. Man. All right, you have been dismissed. He's gonna go teach his group, to introduce his group to too many bones. You mm. have fun too. Just keep healing, I guess, and be our tank that always has a ton of health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem you know, is, head first. The problem is how this game works is like, can you have just someone tank? No, oh, because but he can always like, run. Look at that. Look at that. What happens? Look at that. First strikes and oh, you got something good? Yeah, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that sounds One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. ten, what does that do? eleven, twelve, fifteen damage. <gasps> Oh, get her done. You can't even defend it. So and then it says, well, if I do, I get four damage in return, but I roll fine. enough, hearts, roll enough hearts. hearts. Okay. So he just rolled wow. one die. Reckless. He did not roll to deal any damage to you. So all good. Totally dead. Get totally him out. Dead. Let's roll our, our loot roll level our one loot. die and you do damage to yourself. Yeah. yeah. I'm too I rolled a five. Five is one CP. Yay. Seven. Two CP. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> One. Push. I got another well, another one of these one point, which have, have two, two stacking Yeah, limits, two stack so limit. That's all I can take. I want CP or health. Come on. So get rid of this guy. Put him in Wait, the back of the green. Get, get rid of his health dial, CP tokens. Thanks, Uh God. And then your main phase two, right? Anything you want to play now that you have CP like from all that loot you just got? Mm, I can remove a status effect from a player. <laughs> but I might just roll a six on it. Yeah. I could always spend two CP to like change my die to a six to get rid of it. But Oh, no, I can't. That's only roll phase. Maybe I'll just get rid of it eventually, but... No, you just do it now? You're already at six? It's Your boring. call. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Alright. Okay. Uh, gone. Please gone. So I'm using bye 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 yeah, Bleed go. token, bye bye Thank you. And a bum. Okay, Mel? Oh, okay. What are you doing? Uh, what direction? Are we going to this... Oh, now which one would you like to go to? The one with the... Do but I don't you know that do. I'm the one that should take the salve. Uh, oh, yeah. But we get to roll the loot. Uh, I don't know. And or should we go that way first? And they're level two tiles with level two enemies. Uh, just Woo! what's your health at? 12? Yeah. yeah. Just reveal it. I mean, we'll yeah, which one though? I, one. I would do this, this one. one. This, this one? one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll reveal so that. So this one. gets put. I do, I do have knockdown, so yes. main objective. On to here. Things. This goes, like, somewhere on this die, like this. Making a uh, puzzle. The one with three. Does the top have three? I can't see. No, I, I'm, not. I'm just, like, guessing. Oh, it has four. No. Yeah, the top has four. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. All right. And then, uh, then we reveal the tile. Whoa, it's upside down land. Mirage. Roll one die on a one or two. You and a chosen teammate are inflicted with collision, uh, concussion, sorry. <laughs> that <laughs> makes sense, though. <laughs> you, can, you collision your heads and get a concussion each. 
On a three to five, you spawn. Oh, there's no minion on this one. Maybe not. Oh, that's clever. So you could just get a concussion. Oh. Or on a three to five. A oh, get a six. Or a six. Yeah, just get a six, Mel. That's all you gotta oh do. Do a six. Come on. Show me a six. One. Not enemy. I think I have concussion. You and a, a chosen teammate, right? What is concussion, though? <laughs> it's right here. It's right here. Oh, you have it. Uh, it's a thing my brothers used to play hockey a lot got. Yeah, so uh, play with the foot. Oh, must skip, skip their income. Yeah, you skip income. Oh, concussion. Oh. We know this. It's just oh, one time. Yeah, that's what I said. It's right here. Okay. It's just one, one time. Who can you afford skip to skip an income for one phase? One phase. I can. I can. Okay, so concussion. Um, this one. Okay. So. Mel's just getting all the tokens. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, so you're on that tile. Doesn't go away yet. Uh, right it goes here. away in upkeep, but I don't have an upkeep yet. Okay. All right. That's the end of my turn. Sweet. So uh, this still stays because I didn't have a offensive roll phase to skip. This one I haven't skipped an income yet. Okay. Which means I'll have. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go west. I think. Then it gets us to a bunch of green rooms yeah, that's that fair. we can try to clear out. Yeah. And then I can, going this way, and, and then, then I could help if you need yeah. help. Yeah. Okay. And then because I can even right. go back that way. M this one. Move left. Give me that sa salve, salve, save. Okay. Save. So now we're rolling on a level two. Oh, here we go. go ahead. Big money, big money. <laughs> a six. A six is two CP. Whoa. Kyle. We all get to do this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I know. Sixteen. Sixteen is three gold. Oh. Whoa, cha ching. We're at sixteen. Nine. <laughs> Two health, yes. Woo. Yes, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> We're basically playing slots, right? That's what's happening here. No, yeah. gambling. We're scratching off lotto tickets. Is that what's happening right now? Are we gambling? Is that what's happening? What it feels like. The like oh. catacombs. Draw three cards and then discard them. <laughs> what? You may choose. To pay one CP per card to put these back on top of your deck in any order. Oh. That's kind of good. It helps you filter. So yeah, maybe the... maybe you're like, I don't need these, or you get to just spend a CP to pick one that you want to draw next. And I think you have to do that before I reveal the enemy, right? Yeah, you have to fully do that right now. Okay. Uh, that's me. Okay. Can you put me on the tile? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Card one. Fun around. Righteous prayer two and prosperity. Not this time. Oh yeah, I just played. That's a good one. Or bye bye. Mm, I want to spend two on those. I will spend... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'll spend two to put these on top. And I want the defense one first that could keep me alive. This one I'll discard. I'm down to zero CP. Okay. Uh, oh, enemy, enemy time. time. So we're let's going see. to level two enemy. Let's see if it has first strike. I don't know if I should heal now with the salve. I don't know. He should be okay. <laughs> Fighting a blind archer. <laughs> no. Oh, I see. He's got to get yellows. But look at undefendables. I know. I just thought it was funny. Cause and it could blind me. All right. Okay. I'll risk it, but well, keep me alive. Right? Mel has a token. Oh, awkward. I have a token? Well, you can. You have a token. You have two tokens. Yeah, but I have to heal before they but strike you me. You're only at six. Should I do it? Should I spend one for just What are you heal? at? Three? All, mean, all it does is heal for three because we don't. Oh, how many oh. portal? We have one portal shard. It heals for four. That's. It would heal for six if we had the other two portal shards. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I don't want to, like, waste it. But I do, do have, ways to, ways, to I, I have ways to prevent getting fully hit, I think. So, yeah, half the damage I can prevent. I won't die here. I'll you... can roll it anyways. Uh, I'm afraid to roll uh, it. Undefendable, I can still prevent, right? <laughs> right? Uh, I still can prevent yes. half the damage coming in. I just can't defend yeah, against exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But it should be okay. Uh, I skipped my income phase because I was concussed. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. I don't get to draw one of those cards I just saw. Uh, all right. Uh, so I get to go first against it. So maybe I'll get some heal here before it goes, right? Main phase, I have no money, so I can't play any of my cards. Hey, yeah. Uh, one, one, three, three, six. Hmm. 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 
according to rule. Uh. <laughs> 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 nice job, Brian. Nice job. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Here the same go. thing. Uh, I'll roll these again. Okay. So I can do Mighty Prayer. I think that's only one. Okay, so I'll do Mighty Prayer. Uh, whenever you successfully activate an ability or an offensive role that utilizes at least one prayer, I gain a CP. Nice. Uh, okay, this is going to let me uh, deal three undefendable damage. Then I gain crit. Yeah, which is spend to add four damage to your attack. I don't know if I could do that now because I think dealing the damage is first. Yeah, okay. So that's why they're doing it after. Mm -hmm. So I can't use it right away. An accuracy, this could make an attack undefendable. Oh, nice. So that's kind of neat for my attack. Uh, I don't know, should I spend this to get the one extra or should I wait till it's like, you know, it kind of matters, but maybe it never does. Yeah. It's that limit of two, so it's I'll, I'll spend this to do one more damage. One more? And yeah. this makes it... Uh, Undefendable, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eight. Okay. Uh, now it def uh, doesn't do defensive roll. Now it attacks me. Uh, oh, I finished my turn, right? Um, one CP. No, it does nothing. Okay, go you ahead. you want to roll this one? Or you, sure. I'm afraid to... Oh, well, you can roll it here. Oh, that's fine. You got three you of them? You use the enemy tray. The enemy tray? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my, oh, oh, my okay. God, you got the worst. <laughs> oh, my God. On three of a kind, which you do have, he inflicts blind, which is which one? This one. Don't let me roll. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, then he's also going to do six undefendable damage. So blind is the next time a player oh inflicted God, with this token six? concludes their offensive roll phase. <laughs> They must remove it and roll a die. On a one to two, their offensive roll phase fails and has no effect of any kind. Defense. I roll defense right now? Six, yeah, well, no, it's undefendable. Oh, it's undefendable. Yeah, that's what I thought. But what did your shield or your armor thing do? How much, how much is it? Six. Which Six. I die, so I have to spend this to prevent half of it rounded up. So I take three. Okay. Wow. I know, this is a thing. Like, that's why I was worried about it. That's undefendable, so uh, this is spent. Scary stuff. Maybe I should have rolled those die. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. Touch those. Yeah. Or use this tray. What are you doing? Hold <laughs> you. Right. Left hand too. I should have yeah. left hand. I know. Enemy to the left. Me yeah. to the right. Okay. right. Yeah, my bad. Come on. Sorry. You know the rules. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I'm done. Uh, this enemy's finished, right? Yep. Beating the crap out of me. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, what are you doing? Are you help, help me. Him? Help me. I think that's the problem because you've been going in first. I'm just, I haven't really been going in first. Does it matter though? It doesn't matter. That means you don't have to do any stupid things. And you just get to go right into fighting. But then you're always getting attacked first. It doesn't, but it, doesn't matter. Get, it won't matter. Uh, no, it does. Oh, it if does I get to go first and I kill it before kill, it kills yeah. me. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I know. I don't, I, I don't understand either. You think it's like, oh, we always have to resolve a full turn. So it wouldn't matter who does it first, but... But somebody could get the killing blows more often by going last. But again, you don't know if you're even going to do damage. All right, I'll go in. Yay! Okay, I'll do my upkeep. Income. One. One. Head bash. Whoa. Oh, we just had that happen. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> During the roll phase action, if you successfully dealt at least eight damage uh, to an opponent after the defense concluded, Play this card to inflict concussion. Oh, nice. Yeah, really... yeah it does because they, they spend the CP um, or then they can't do a turn, right? Mighty blow two. Isn't concussion they skip their income? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that won't be. Oh, yeah, I thought it was it, they it pay or skip a turn. That's, That's knocked down. down yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'll sell it. Um, I'll put all needed. I know there was an entry about, I think, concussion in there, but it's only for like the boss fight, how they. Or maybe it's knockdown. There's an entry like in the book somewhere. Oh. There's like a it, weird things might happen, like this kind of token in a boss fight or something. And it's like I think it was for knockdown. Yeah, I think there's two of them, but uh, I don't remember if it was boss only or minion or what. I guess I could look it. Up. Looking for, I'm looking for four. Who's four? 
Oh. Oh. What does this do? Oh. And damage. Is that eight? It can prevent four of it possibly, but we're going to say it's not going to do that. You want to try that? Mm hmm Yeah? So yeah. she's going to roll four, and she needs to get two yellows to prevent four. And she got no yellows, so she prevents nothing, so she's dead. Okay, so we're going to roll again on the level two. Oh. Give me that heal. Give me that heal. Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen. Gold. Three gold. Whoa, yeah. Can I buy some heals? Fourteen. Oh, two gold. Two. We're at twenty-one. Oh, nine. What are we trying to get to with gold? Two no health. Idea. Yes. <laughs> I just keep just joking. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, more gold. I guess it buys us more items, but it's like, here's the cost. So common items to buy from the deck you're shown cost 10. From this scenario, uh, this scenario, they present each of us with three common and one rare card to possibly buy. Or you can spend uh, to 10 gold to identify cards that are underneath your board. Oh, so yeah, none of us have even gotten any. They don't even give us an epic to buy, even though we have enough money to buy an epic? Not yet. Not yet. We have oh. to work our way through it. Just like Mass of Darkness, right? We didn't see those later decks until yeah, later, later in the campaign, right? We could possibly get an epic on the level four. Or a legendary. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, well, well, we, no, you can get an epic on well, the two. On you just have to get the 40. Hard, yeah. yeah. That's why they keep you playing, so you eventually get to the higher cards and loot and stuff. Uh, all right, you're done. Yeah, defense main. I got nothing to do with main. Yeah, I'm done. All right, I guess I can go and look at that level one. The problem I'm gonna have is I'm concussed, so I won't be able to do an income phase, and then I am knocked down, so I won't be able to do an offensive roll unless. Where are you just... going? Here. Oh, we beat the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Kyle did. Holy, crushed it. So yeah, we'll just do it, and then yeah, go you that guys way. Yeah, yeah. come that way. So uh, we get another shard, which will increase the amount these heal. Level. That's the top one, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, this is good. Plus one CP per hero. Oh, sweet. But is that? Yeah, it's all of us. It's not. You get three CP because. Oh. Of, or is it each of us get one? Oh. oh. I don't know. Good question. Good question. I forget. Does it say per hero? It says. What's it say exactly? Uh, Plus one CP hero. Yeah, hero. I'm assuming each hero gets it. Well, because the I other text so references all heroes, so I don't, I don't know. It's one, one per. per. Okay, that's what I thought too, based on reading the rules when you have minions. Okay, we each one. get one, right? That still doesn't clarify. I know that doesn't. Sorry, it's only for okay. the hero. Oh, so for so me, the, I get three. Does the active player get three, or does everyone at the table get one? That's <laughs> <laughs> Travis, we're gonna get you're being cryptic still. Yeah, we're all heroes. You must be a board game designer also, not being clear. <laughs> Where did I see It made that? sense in your head, but not everyone looks at things the same way. Uh, I don't know. It's probably in the rewards for uh, the encounter stuff, or portal crawl, right? Where you're yeah. flipping tile step, maybe? The other text is kind of... Holding the map. I can't, and here this PF sucks. Oh, explore here, okay. After moving to an unspent, uh, unexplored environment, collect. Using <laughs> rulebooks are my specialty. Place portal shard on the boss. Collect any salves. Open any loot chest. All players rolling the die. Next, you will flip over the environment tile. The tile may show multiple features. Okay, one increase your CP dial by the indicated amount. Yeah, it's just mine. Okay, which is actually huge. Well, is it only one CP though? It's no, just... I think it's three. Or, by the indicated. Or is that just calling out that heroes get plus one CP. I don't know. I think it's calling out heroes get plus one. I'm gonna try to find. Right? Because it doesn't say per, it's just like... Well, it just says in... Like, is there one that says, like, enemies get plus one? And that's, like, the little call out is just... Okay, Janet, the, the hero... hero that explored gets one CP. There you go. That's okay, so I get one, even so. But is, is there times it says CP enemy? Like, why does it say hero then? It, Maybe it's just a I'm reminder? Thinking. It probably does say that. I don't know. Oh, it's a one CP to the hero that revealed it. Okay. But why does it need to say hero? Why doesn't it say gold hero? Why, why didn't that have a thing? The gold just shows gold. But why does the CP say hero beside it? Well, there has to be ones that give it to the enemy, maybe. Yeah, this. 
Spoilers, okay. That's just okay. why it's confusing. Like, why did they need to define hero? I don't know. Okay. But then, sure. all heroes choose and discard half their cards, round it up, then draw three. Okay. Gold is only tracked at party level. That works. Oh. Yeah. So that makes sense. That's cool. So I discard one card and I get three? Mm-hmm. But C CP is only tracked at the hero level. So, like, why do they still need to divine it? It only has one place to go. That's probably enemies. Yeah. It's probably it probably said there's probably ones that say enemy. Them. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to even put that. But sure. All right. So, all heroes oh. have to discard half of their hand, hand rounded up, and then draw three cards. Awesome. So, I'm going to discard these two, I guess. What's happening? All heroes have to discard half their hands, yeah, round it up. Oh, I got a hand of two cards. Oh my gosh. Oh, then I draw three. And, and then everyone draws three cards. And then we draw three? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. yeah. I good only had one card. Had one and card. then I got three, and I didn't really care that much about that card. Which is good because I need to. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dirty blow. Dirty uh, blow. And then I get an enemy in my space here, which it is. Uh, Serpentine. Okay, so no first strike, nine health, two CP. Venom Kiss can do two different things. It's looking to try to get this. Those three can inflict poison. Okay. How many of those red? Oh, just one. Okay. Nine. So are you guys saying also that if it's said just one CP with no hero after it, is that a thing in the game? And that means everyone at the table gets it? Just like the gold doesn't say hero because it goes to the group? Is that a thing? Then that makes sense too. Because we just haven't seen enough. I know, we just haven't seen enough. Seen it's enough. like awkward to get that first. It just throws me off. Because I play so many other games, it's like number and the word hero or the symbol for player usually means multiply it by that much, you know? And that's what it, I think intuitively when I see it based on many, many other games. But I don't know if in the rule book it clarifies it. I don't remember that being a thing. It didn't but. seem to. No, yeah. it didn't seem to. No. Okay. Okay. So I have to because I'm concussed. I have to skip my oh upkeep. I have to get rid of this. I'm concussed, so I skip my income phase. Okay. Okay. Main phase. I'm going to discard or I'm going to sell two cards. One, two, going to three. Okay. Right. I'm going to spend one to equip Burning Souls level two. Okay. Then I'm knocked down. So I will remove that. I'll spend two so that I can have my offensive roll phase. All right. Oh, she got nine. There's 261 rules inquiries about this game. Holy crap. I would not expect such things. There's only 500 posts. Wow. 500 total posts and... Uh, Alright, okay. right. so doing my offensive roll phase. Oh, I almost have combustion. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! This has been counting with Mel. <laughs> <laughs> because I even put them down Thanks, in that Mel. order too. I didn't even realize. I never really trigger those because I'm always looking at these exciting symbols. But my large straight, large straight can give me two fire, then deal four plus two damage per fire mastery I have. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I put that in, well, I get, can kill her. You get two, yeah. And she can't, she can only poison me back. Okay, let's do this because she can kill me, or I can kill her. So let's do this large straight, gain two fire. Then I deal four damage plus two per fire. So I deal another four. So that's eight. I'll get rid of one of these pluses to do nine damage, which is exactly what she has. She'll roll three she, dice. Yeah, she can't block it, but she can just poison me on a red. Uh, no red. No red. Okay, so she's dead. So that is wonderful. And we roll a green. And we roll a green wow. reward die. You can go first while Rob's doing what he's doing. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Four. Four. This is level one. Four is two uh CP? plus two damage. No. Oh. Plus two damage token. 
Just one CP. I'll do mine. 19. I get a card. Do you? I get a card. I get a common common yeah. loot card. Which are they in the we, front or the back? Yeah. I assume they're in the front, yeah. So commons go in this first one. Oh, look at that, everyone. I'm sliding my first card under my board. Just don't look at it. And then Rob can roll once he's done. And she's dead. That was exciting to one shot somebody. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was very exciting. Okay, Rob, you can roll loot level one. Okay. We've already, we've loot level one. Her. Yay. Five. Five. One CP. Woo! I one shot at her. You missed it. it oh, uh, I'll watch the replay later. <laughs> and she got a card for I'll it. watch the highlight. The highlight reel. Oh, and I got a common card on that loot roll. Yeah. Whoa! I hold know. on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. You got a loot <laughs> card. <laughs> that happens. Janet, thank you so much. Thank you. Loot. I <laughs> she looked like an evil version of me. Get out of here, Matthew. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Your Halloween costume. Get so. planning. I'm not offended by it. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Rob. My turn. It's you. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll move to the next level one tile down there if you want to. Let's roll on the level two. Woo! This is so exciting. I got to say. Woo! Eight. Eight. Yeah, rolling all those low numbers. Two today. cards. Whoa. Don't need that heal. Uh, 16? 16. Three gold. Oh, does that oh, find, I got my Sorry. defense level three. Well. One more gold. <laughs> Is that how Mel looks when Rob has to sleep on the couch? <laughs> <laughs> like, I go upstairs after <laughs> turning off all the lights and cameras and cleaning up the game, and Mel's like all of a sudden got green lipstick on yeah. and like glow in the dark. <laughs> You'll be on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like what just happened that is so funny <laughs> okay here's your tile solar flare so one gold one gold we're at 26 discard one positive status effect and gain blind oh you're, double oh, blind. you're already okay. blind can you have two it's stacking two i think oh blind the remedy? Is... no stacking one. Oh, one. Oh, yeah, okay you can't yeah. be all right you no more to... blind you have to discard a positive okay let me think i could get rid of the add four damage to an attack or i could get rid of Make your attack undefendable. Oh, ooh. I will get rid of undefendable one. I don't know if that's the right choice, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay. At least at level one. I and think later that'll be really good. Your enemy is a shadow archer with 10 health, Filthy. 3 CP. How do I get these Holy, creatures that are ripping damage they do. here? Uh, it's like silence. Island. That'll be funny. I wish that was a power I had in real life. <laughs> Gosh. Shash <laughs> <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right so 10 health no first strike so go on with your i'm not rolling this one okay i uh, get an income yeah the yellows don't let kyle roll the yellow yeah. symbols one cp one card i'm now at seven card wow i don't think i've ever seen that happen in this game i got to seven all right um i am going to I'm going to upgrade my defense to Divine Defense Level 3, which uh, is 4 CP, but I previously spent 3 CP on Divine Defense 2, so I only have to pay the difference of 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... I think that's all. I got lots of roll phase stuff. Hmm... Could upgrade Mighty Prayer, but then I locked myself out of some spends on other stuff, so I won't do it. All right. 10, Ten health? health, yep. Yeah, let's see. You can possibly prevent three, so you want to get over 10 if you can. All right. Oh, I got a variety. That might be that thing. Uh, this one, right? Uh, in Retribution, which was when attack deal half damage back. That could be cool. Heals me one, and then I deal three undefendable damage, which I could add four to it, which would make it seven undefendable. It's ten. I know, I know, but it, I'm worried about the defensive roll effect. Oh, yeah. Is it worth avoiding it? Because it could block like it three can, damage. It can prevent three. Yeah, so that might take a while to kill. 
Hmm, but it's like, should I be worried about level two monsters more and save up effects for that? Should I worry about this boss fight we have at the end of this thing, you know, and save the good stuff for that? I don't know. Do you plan to just die and then come back at full health? No, you come back come at back one, one health. health. Oh god. Yeah, so I, I know. I need to <laughs> heal, like I need to heal. Uh, so I could just spend this and now I would heal for five for one of these things and go up to eight. But like I have heal. Oh, don't forget about blind, yes. Oh, blind, blind. yeah. Blind, what do you... Uh, so this is during offensive roll, uh, when I conclude, I must roll a, a one die on a one or two, my offensive roll fails and has no effect of any kind. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. Travis, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> I don't remove this after, I'm just permanently it... blind, it's just how it goes? That's usually... Holy, that's a rough one. Oh, but does it say permanent? Well... Usually they say permanent if it stays. Well, I'm gonna just play bye bye and then uh, <laughs> for two CP and get rid of it because that's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't want to lose my whole phase possibly. Okay, so let's. Uh, that can be done at any time. All right. Can you already roll? I did. You're right. And I just picked it up. Wow. I brain farted and forgot where I was. I that's can okay. fix it though. Some of this quality, but I definitely know there was a six. A sword of, I don't see the number, but we'll just say that one. And a red heart, which is only one number. And then two blues, which it was two fours, I believe. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So I could do this one right here. And when I do it, I could gain a CP. I have one. Four, four, five, six. Uh, I can reroll this. I probably should reroll this. Three. Else, I could do this, which will heal me two. But that's not really what I go for. So let's roll one of these again, and one of these. Oh wait, I have three, four, five, six, right? I just picked up, uh, I don't know what it was. I did it again. I did it again. Oh, well. I'll just reroll it. A one. I think that's what it was. All right, I'll just do a small straight. Uh, which heals one. Uh, I get a CP because it's involving resolving with a hand, prayer, whatever. And then I deal seven, uh, which I could add four to it and kill this thing. Is it defendable or undefendable? Uh, it is defendable, actually. Yeah, because I got rid of the other thing. Yeah. So, so you could. It's possible. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, attack for eleven. So yeah, it so rolls. She's gonna roll three. Oh, blank! You killed it. No yellow, so it doesn't prevent anything. Wow! You one shot it. Wasn't even worried. Look at that. Look at that. Look at us. Like we're pros. Okay, we're gonna, uh, uh, this is the fun part. We're gonna roll for level one loot. Go, go Rob. Rob. Is it only for one offensive roll phase? How do you know? Oh, I do remove it. Sorry. Remove it and roll a die. It even oh, says that. Oh, remove. I was gonna say, it doesn't So I should have probably not wasted that card on it, but whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, level one loot? Level one loot, yep. Well, you could have done that, and then that could have meant nothing. That's the problem. I, yeah, I yeah. understand. I know. Seven. Show me that heal. Show me that heal. Two CP. Ah. All right, Kyle. That's what I want. Nine or oh, ten is two. Eighteen. Eighteen. A card. A common card. Whoa, Luke. There you go. Don't look at it. Yeah. Unidentified. There we go. Uh, uh, slide one. under your first column. Yeah. Two. No peeking. I get a plus one. Alrighty. Counting one shots. Dice from Adventure Zero. Rob's gaming table two. Oh yeah. What was our team name? Oh, we don't have a team name. Oh shoot. Uh, okay, uh, we were supposed to start the stream. Uh, Mel, you were in charge of the clipboard. I oh, did man. some of it. Uh, start over now. We have to officially start the whole yeah. stream over. Everything reset because we didn't pick a team name, which <laughs> is in the setup steps, like number one. Well, I think the... So I, we didn't even set up the game no, yet. No, it's fine. It's fine. I think they had to see how <laughs> our team practice. worked together. <laughs> Give me that like, book. <laughs> I think that's what they needed to see, so see right? I, to correct this, to correct this, we need some recommendations of names in the chat because this is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. Step number two. So step number one was choose difficulty level. Step number two, your team name. Okay? 
Step yeah. number three, I don't know, for profit. Um, <laughs> that's that's what's going on. No, here. they needed to see before we they definitely made suggestions. Cheated. They it, needed to see I'm how sorry. our party worked together. I'm sorry. I can understand if you guys all want to hit the thumbs down button, leave the channel. This is this is null and void. We gotta start completely over. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting called a sham cheater. The one shotters. <laughs> one -shotters. Yeah, so you needed to see how our team worked. Yeah, I quit making excuses over there. I filled out part of it. Uh, so there's team name. Travis says Fire and Brimstone. Okay. Or the one shotters. Anyone else have any recommendations? We can take two more. <laughs> the one shotters. Mm. That's it. This feels yeah, weird. Two T's, right? The one shooters? shooters, shooters, the one shooters, maybe. I I don't know. The one shot, the one shotters. It's fine. We can do it. We'll just call it one shot. Nope, we're good. It's fine. Anyone? We get it. No, that's all. It's going to the poll. Pyro knights. I was thinking something like that. That's funny. Oh, that is kind of yeah. That's kind of cool. I'm not a knight. Redheads. <laughs> yeah, but you have red hair. <laughs> oh gosh. The pyro night. All right, that's it. It's going in. You guys can vote. I just put it in the chat, so you guys can pick the team name, uh, and we can correct Mel's mistake because she's. It obviously is her mistake because she skipped that step on the clipboard. Um, but yeah, can't be mine. That's okay. I'll take, I'm just joking. I'll take some of the blame. I did write her names on the sheet. Kyle Knight and the Pips. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The step. Yeah, uh, Matthew should be the step two skippers. Uh, that would be better. <laughs> step two skippers. Team name: Incomplete setup. <laughs> this playthrough doesn't count. Stuff like that. All right. Well, uh, so let's funny. close the poll and see what we get. I thought this might happen. It looked like it was in the lead. Fifty-three percent say the redheads. <laughs> That's the. <way. laughs> I'm like, no way, my night is. And I look down. I'm like, I didn't even notice. This I knew though. But that's Alrighty, like, we're the redheads. The redheads. <laughs> It doesn't even like hair, I don't think, right? Uh, Isn't it just like the yeah. top of the helmet thing? Yeah, but it, yeah. it works. Still funny, still funny. <laughs> still works. Thank you so yeah, much. He's for like he's like a blonde or gray hair if under there sneaking out. Oh yeah, you can see some of it on there. That, that works. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mattitude, for the recommendation. Yeah, nice you are job. the winner tonight. You are the winner. Okay, what's the turn? What's that happened in Uh you just went so I gone. killed that thing, we rolled for our oh, yeah. That's gone. That's gone. No. Are you going here? We're all just like skipping and do do do. I'll skip to this oh, one. I just want to go straight to the three. You can't. Oh, you, oh, you, you can go can that up way. around. Are you sure? We did do one. Oh, we is. haven't done a three yet. I'm scared of going to it because my health's so low. So like, yeah, I, let's let Rob heal. Maybe we'll get a little bit more. How am I gonna heal? Yeah, you first have to move. If I go to one, maybe you go work on this one, so then I can go here and grab this, and then we have more, and I just spend one. I don't know. Or just go to the one. But you need to grab this oh, one. Yeah. Oh wait, if I go to the one and I don't kill it, then you could come there. Yep. And, just and start heal, maybe kill it off. Now yep. could go to the two. Yeah. Maybe. All right, let's try. We'll it. see what happens here. Maybe you one shot it. Okay, know. take the tile, flip it over, see what you get. That's a problem. Voodoo Crater, remove all status effects from yourself. <laughs> the Void Crater? Yeah. Uh, void Crater, what did I say? Voodoo. Voodoo Crater. Man, I'm losing my mind today. <laughs> okay. I need to go to sleep. Uh, remove all status effects from yourself. You uh, may pay 2 CP to place one card from your discard pile to your hand. Oh, that's cool. I don't have 2 CP. Well, then you can't do it. These pluses are not status effects, are they? Yeah. Technically? Does it say positive or negative? It just says remove all status effects oh, from yourself. Uh, yeah, Please. they are positive status oh, effects. Okay. You gotta get rid of this. To go away. Mm. Yep. Sorry. Okay, okay, level one enemy. Level one, level one. Next level one. The satyr right. uh, has ram. Only nine health. Oh, this oh is look at the roll objective. That's tough. This thing shouldn't hit you too hard. But okay. on the defensive roll, sorry, what is it? On that, it will, could knock you down or maybe prevent some damage, but it seems like rare. Only rolling two die. Oh, but it does do entangle no matter what when it attacks, right? 
Yes. Or but no, but it has to do. It has, it has actually to do get one the, of the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's not. So. Not first strike. So okay, income. Yeah, I think this, my first strike is rare. Now that I'm. Yeah, yeah I know. I got, I well, I got lucky it, with that one on the first first pull. Yeah. Oh, I can transfer a status effect. Hmm. Yeah, not yet, but uh, upgrade my. I guess we can do rec reckless. Oh, the odds of that happening. Dirty, dirty blow. Matthew's rooting for all the gingers. <laughs> Is Matthew a ginger? I don't know. Matthew, are you a ginger? Okay, that's it for main phase. I'll do my offensive roll. And hearts. All the hearts. Whoa! All the hearts. Do you need heal though? As long as they're in order. I mean, you can go up to 23 health, so for the boss, that might be good. I know, I'm already up three, you guys. That's good. Good. What was I just saying about not... <laughs> I should have upgraded Reckless. <laughs> oh. oh, that's annoying. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, it's 15 damage. Does it Whoa. stop doing damage to you if you up? Oh, no, it's no, it's, it's more it's actually. 20 and then 5, yeah. 15 damage. Okay, so we're That's rolling two of these. Oh, you're going to crush it unless it rolls a whole bunch of, like, fives or whatever. Uh, This yellow will inflict knockdown on you. Ooh. And then this Save your CP. does nothing. So it doesn't prevent any damage, and it's just dead. Damage. One shot. All right, loot. loot level one. Level one. So I lose four. Yep. Ten. So this is why you need to keep healing because you two can... heal. Two heal. Two heal. Yes. Wow, there's two heal in that treasure chest. Do -do -do -do. All right, Kyle, what do you got? I'm at six health, guys. Oh. Woo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like just 17. seventeen. Three gold. Oh. Whoa, twenty-nine. Ching. Seventeen again. Three more gold. Thirty-two. Whose turn now? Oh, we got a score update. We got another one shot added to our. Dice from Adventures zero redheads now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because as soon as I saw RGT, I was like, "Wait, that's, is that our team name? Did we come up with that? I forgot. <laughs> and I forgot what our funny team name is. That's what I need. Thank you, Janet. I meant to ask at the beginning too. Yeah, I forgot too. That's good. <laughs> <We're> good. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, sure, that won't happen. When we start getting to the blue and purple tiles as much, but. You know, right? Do you have anything to sell or discard or whatever? Main phase number two. Um, you probably should, you maybe you should sell so you have. Oh, but you can do it next time, right? I'm thinking like if I don't do the offensive role, then they don't do defense, which could potentially hurt me. Oh, but then I won't be able to heal. Yeah, we'll see what I get next time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good. Um, yep, Mel. All right, I'm gonna try this level three, right? Do you, or do you want me to no. go to that one? We're going around this way. Okay. Because you want these salve tokens, right? Uh, or salve, whatever. Mm -hmm. a thorn Road. Roll a die on a one or two, discard two positive status effects on a three or four, gain a barbed vine, and entangled on a five or six, gain two. Okay. I don't like all this, that this status second. effect. You basically in this game are supposed to spend all your status effects like as soon as you get them, otherwise you're going to lose them, it seems. Well, I think that is yeah. what, they were, what we were Yeah, don't told. pile them up for the boss two. fight. It doesn't work. Discard two positive status effects. I'll get rid of these. Uh, I'll Where get rid of down? one. Five. Start of the third period. Yeah, and then two fire. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and then we're going to get a level two enemy. Oop. Uh, the Entropy Mage. Chaotic 13, Sorcery. 13 L, 2 CP. All right. Okay. What bad things can this this do? Lots of things. Yeah. Whatever this snowflake look at thing is, chaos and hex, yeah. it can do. Chaos is these tokens are gained by and spent by various minions and bosses to power certain abilities. The specific minion or boss ability indicates how the tokens are used. Oh, okay. These tokens may not be used by heroes. And what was the other one? Hex. Hex. It, oh, the big six. Yep. Unique status effect. Whenever a player afflicted with this token rolls a six, it's as if their die had been altered to a blank die face and has no value. Oh. At the conclusion of their turn, remove this token. This token may not be transferred by any means, but can be removed. Stack limit one. Okay, so... Wow. 
Upkeep, I have nothing. Main phase, gain some, or income, sorry, income phase. Draw a card. Red hot. Oh, redheads are red hot. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do anything in the main phase. So offensive roll phase. Hmm. Oh, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? Do a pyroblast, which is six damage. Let's roll this just to see what this becomes, because I could also do. Oh, no. No, I think I just do this. Yeah, let's just do this. I don't want to roll into nothing. So I'm going to deal six damage. Wouldn't, oh, yeah, I see. But couldn't you roll into the what's the top one in your top left? This one? The yeah. fireball? Does it do more if you turn that last one into a fireball? It could if I, I it could. This does four damage. If this went in, it would also do six damage. But if I roll a fire on this, I can do three more damage, making this nine. Oh, uh, I don't know. Ten, you do whatever. I can't. I really could see. just try and go all Wait in on the fireball. Eight. Nine, ten. I still can't one. Oh, I shot. see. I'm sorry. I see. Never mind. You carry on. I didn't see that one symbol die. I thought they were all were yellow. That's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. S well, let's roll this, and we'll see what happens. Maybe if this turns to a, one of these fires, then I'll change my mind. Oh, sugar! It did. So now this also does six. So six and six. You're so close to your ultimate now. No ultimate is this. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. One Not even close. Yeah. No. But well, I probably should do. Common. Let's do this one, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah let's would, go would, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this does six damage. I'm going to roll a die. We'll see what the outcome is. Yes, it adds three more. So I do nine damage uh, to the boss, which is defendable. So you can add your plus ones in. Nine, ten, eleven. Or if you. Uh, it's up no, to I'm going to wait. Uh, do I add one in case I get one? Nine. Sure. I'll add one. So I'll make it ten. Hey, okay. left hand. Oops. Did it get any yeah, yellows? It got its two and one. So it's going to get a chaos. Where is that snowflake token? So gain one times that. So you get it's two eight. chaos. Two chaos. And okay. then, then deal one undefendable times chaos damage. So, so two. Does it spend them or they just pile up? They said they can be gained and spent by various minions. I think he spends them in... So you're getting it in there. Yeah. Like maybe he builds know, up. I don't know if that disappears, yeah. Yeah, maybe he builds times. them up. I think he builds them up, yeah. Okay, that's but you fine. could probably remove them like, by removing status effects and stuff, but like, I don't know why you would. You just need to kill him. That's fine. So but it seems two. like his attack could be very bad based on that. So it still goes through. Would you do nine? <sighs> Ten. Ten, and I'm spending this. Ten total. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew says, hey, Kate, you just missed it. Mel Custon said, oh, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, did I really cuss? I didn't. And Brian says, Kate, you, you missed the skeeting, cheating scandal? Shh. <laughs> Mel cursing? I missed a lot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't remember. That's so funny. Okay, so do you want to roll for the enemy? Oh, yeah. They're striking you. Yeah, so he's looking for the... Uh... Don't roll those. All five. Don't roll those. Yeah. So he's gonna keep the. Oh, oh, sorry, Rob. Can you switch to? Yeah, I guess. So I need to keep these yep. two. Oh, he got oh, it. Sorry. So he'll stop there. Okay, so now he's gonna roll a die, roll one die, and then we'll see what happens. Uh. Eric, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so on this, he's gonna inflict the hex. On me. Deal seven plus one. So nine damage. To nine me. damage to me. Holy smokes. You're at 14. So then I roll. Maybe I can kill him though. Yep, I do. So first I gain a fire for this. And then these three do uh, one damage per undefendable. So he's dead. And how much does he deal to you? I already. Uh, oh, sorry. It was nine. Uh, nine. Yeah, we're all low. Oh my. Okay. Oh my. Take these, take that. Yeah, that's a level two thing. 
Level two loot. Oh, level two loot. I need some heal. I need some heal. That's rare. Nine, nine or ten. CP. I got a twelve. Twelve. Gold. One gold. gold. CP. Come on. Six. Six. Two CP. Yes. All right. I'm looking for a nine or I ten. Four to get rid of this thing. Five. One CP. Sure. I wish I could heal with CP. Get rid of my knockdown. No, I can't. Okay. Hit. I mean, we're not doing too bad. Yeah, but like one enemy shows up that hits for a big amount, and I'm out, you're out, you're out. Like you just get one shot, you're dead. But he's not holding a token to help revive someone else. Like I can make sure you guys don't die. I know. I think he needs to go and get one of these. Yeah, but uh, or maybe or we I'd... go do this one. We go do this. That's one. what I was maybe saying. Maybe we get some heal there. Is it my turn? Well, I could just focus on heal. Yeah. Those. All right. So just put me here. Okay. I'm going here. Uh, but I don't really want that. Oh. Well, this is awkward. It's three or one. You choose. Well, I think... I know. I should not go to the three. <laughs> yeah. I guess I go here and take this. I agree. I'm going to spend one to heal, I think. You can spend it on me. Yeah, I'm going to... No. No, because you get heal. You have your own heal. Uh-oh. Troll, Troll bridge. bridge. So we're going to spawn a level two. Wait. Are... Or you can spend... Oh, no. Or we can spend... Alternatively, pay three CP and spawn a level one. If oh, desired, you cards. may sell cards at this time. You have three CP? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, but... Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's rough. I have to say, this game is really fun. Yeah, but it's, yeah. like, stressing me out. It's like, <laughs> wait, it's only the intro scenario. We're already getting, like, our butts kicked. Yeah. I don't know if we're playing right, but... Okay. All right, show me what I get. Please not for strike. Chaos, Chaos elf. elf. Ten health. Roll object. Oh, it's going oh, for it's straight. Oh, it's going for straight. So we have to do okay, straight cool. Stuff. That's cool. Uh, okay. So Could prevent health. half damage on, on this defense roll. Okay, so income phase. Ten health. Draw a card. It was under. Yeah, it was under. Okay. Righteous combat two. Mm. Oh, Eric, our latest subscriber says, "Happy to be here. I found uh, my way to your channel because of Clicks Madness." Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, hopefully we'll play that eventually on the channel. I just don't know how soon, but at some point I want to do it. We are playing cooperative. Yeah. We have PvP videos on the channel. Yeah, check the playlist. There's a playlist link down in the video description. You can find our Marvel Dice Throne playthroughs and our Dice Throne Season 1 rerolled competitive playthroughs. And then this is the cooperative expansion Dice Throne Adventures um, put in to change it from a competitive game to a cooperative dungeon crawl game. Uh, Larry says Robbie should heal. I know. Hey, thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to be smart. I have to keep one CP available so I can use not this time, which prevents six incoming damage. I need to do that. Uh, okay, these I like to keep for later. Uh, I think... Man... Like, that's a, uh, uh, yeah, I'll heal. I'll spend one and I'm gonna heal. Uh, and there's two tokens here, so I heal for five up to 11. Okay, go. Feel bad spending one of these already, but I feel like I may have to as well because I only have five health. Okay, so I'm going to roll my offensive roll phase against this Joker. Oh, yeah. Okay, what kind of damage can this do? Mm. I don't have one of those basic kind of offensive abilities for rolling all my commons. But... This doesn't really do anything. So... Hmm... I don't know. Okay. This is weird. I'm one away from that. Oh, 
Awkward, awkward, awkward. Uh, okay, I think I'm going here and here. Open for a helmet, which is two sides. Okay, I did got a helmet. Actually, two, three, no, didn't get a straight of any kind. Um, but I did get this, uh, which will gain the um, deal half damage back positive token uh, after I'm attacked. And then I get to heal one. And I gain a CP because it involved this thing on, on the ability. And then uh, three undefendable damage. Oh, well, it doesn't defense. Uh, and then it goes against me. Okay. So we're going for the straight this time instead of the symbol. So we have... Uh, so it keeps two, three... Four and five, right? And it'll keep one if it's part of a straight. Would it keep a one if there's a two? Mm. No, right, Rob? Uh, like it, keep, it keeps two, three, four, and five. It keeps one of a two, three, four, and five it gets. It'll reroll any duplicates. It but, only keeps a one or a six if it's already part of a large or small straight so it has going on right so now. So it would keep that, right? Because one, two? N no. no? There, it doesn't make a large or small straight right now. Okay. You're putting a oh, one on that? Only, yeah. I just didn't know if it, like, if it no. connects to one. No. Okay. Got it. Uh, three ones. That's Pretty okay. sure. Daniel, did you get your copy of Explore it? Uh, Domain of Mirrors and Octus yet? I, I haven't had anything show up or no notifications, but I know that, that system's all messed. Nope, you got one, two, three. So... Oh, I can go micro straight. Yeah, what is a micro What's straight? A micro straight? Three oh, one, two, three. That's this. Okay. Uh, deal four damage. Okay, so defensive roll. We didn't even realize they have like even smaller. Yeah, yeah, a micro straight. Who knew about that? Oh, these are not their. <laughs> that's their dice. All right, so I will prevent two because of the two helmets. I also deal two undependable damage back, and I have some new thing, but I didn't get it. Uh, so you, take, you prevented two. Yeah. So you but take two. Take two. Mm -hmm. Okay, done. Uh, oh wait, I could main phase it up. Um, no, I'll hold and I have six cards, so I'm good. I'll hold you. What are you doing, Kyle? Are you coming to him or are you going to the purple? No, I have to go here. I have to try to heal, so it's good he didn't kill him. Oh yeah, true. Um, okay, so I've moved. Income. Oh, 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 and... Okay, your guy when did you get yours, Kate? Like how long ago? I thought I would get it like today after the long weekend, I assumed. Like sometimes that happens, like you know, uh, um uh, Oh, you got it a while ago? Yeah, I, I don't know when I'm getting mine. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know. I should probably like log in and see if it like has tracking or anything, but I don't know if it does. Oh well. Two an offensive roll. Not that I need another Explorer game right now. Now that That's you're like looking for thing. hearts, you're not going to oh, get no, them, right? Oh, no, I'm not going to get it. Rob's copy is specially handled by the Canadian Post Office. They decided to hand walk the game to his home. <laughs> yeah, walk is the key word there. Very slowly, walk it to me from the other side of the country. I have to do it. Oh, oh wow! Really? Was that nothing? That was no heart. Th but you yeah. did get that at least. That'll kill it. I know, but I wanted hearts. I know. Maybe you'll get the heal on the loot roll. All right, six. Six. Undefendable damage. Yeah, so he can't roll that, so that's good. So he just dies. So we're gonna do a level one loot roll. Two. Two is a two to plus two token. And then I'll do mine while Rob's doing his thing. Give me health, 17. It, oh, seven, it flipped. Two CP. The status of my Explored order is ready for shipping in Game Found. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, Eric got his Saturday. Okay, so they're still rolling so, out, yeah, right? Still working. Okay, out. okay. Um, Rob, whenever you're ready, you'll do a loot roll on level one. <laughs> And it says RCMP is holding the game after being notified of non-opening night viewing of hockey. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to you. We know what you've done. 
<laughs> if you want your game, you will watch all of the games that you missed tonight later on repeat. <laughs> loot roll for you, Rob. Loot roll. Level one. Yeah! You need a nine, Whoosh. right? Eight. Eight. One card. Okay. Not a heal. All, all right. right. Where am I going? Guys, are we, we're not going to the level, the boss fight. Oh, we got to go here. Oh, we, we have, have to go, go to the three. So do we want to do the two first? Just for one more in case sure. we get a... I think I need to heal as well. Actually, maybe I should heal first. Are you okay with that? Just do it. Can I spend this? Yeah. I, again, we might not be playing a full campaign, so we could be a little loosey-goosey, but part of me does not... I feel bad on the first... Just I've been trained in so many games we play. If you start throwing away your like rare heals on the first scenario of a long campaign you're in a rough rough trouble later i'm sure but maybe the game looks a little more generous with them as you go too i don't know that's true okay we're well, going. Uh, man this does not seem as easy mode as i thought that at least the first scenario would be but oh sit down i don't want to spend any of those two gold ivory thicket. thicket two gold you and a chosen teammate each gain backstrike and wither oh we had these earlier okay Wither was bad, right? Wither was bad. Backstrike was good. So I don't know who wants to be. Uh, you can give. Yeah, I don't know. Kyle right. a backstrike. I already have what thing that does. I think like, they get both like, together. Right? Oh. They get both of them. So the wither was if a player but with wither, wither took wither token do? of deal damage. Wither. Uh, if a player with wither token would deal damage as a result of an offensive phase, reduce it just by one per wither token. Yeah, so, so it's the like, worst. So oh, okay, I don't know who. You're the biggest damage dealer, so it like okay. doesn't impact as much. And you cancel it out with this. Level two. Axe Knights. 13 health. Oh, level two reward. Got cleave. Looking for small straights, large straight on a passive oh. on a failed offensive roll. Gain a damage boost token of three. He can heal as well, so that's not fun, but that's okay. 13. And one. All right. Let's. Do Kate, my upkeep. Uh, Kate, I got a, I got an email about it just saying like uh, from whatever the company was that does the shipping, but it was the usual email that says like, you're getting this email to let you know we have your order uh, in our system. Doesn't mean we have your product yet though. And that was like a month ago, it feels like, or so. But I've had that happen before and it's taken a while and then it just shows up. And I know they had an update for Explore it saying the whole notification system was down for one of the... the vendors and like Jonathan was like sending out emails manually about it or something. I'm pretty sure that was that game. Roman says our group lost on the first mission, but after that it went smoother. <laughs> I went down the wrong hole. <laughs> Kyle's dying over there. <laughs> Cough it out, my friends. <laughs> I've done that on stream many a time. Okay. <laughs> we need a medic. Uh, our group lost on the first mission. After that, it went smoother. The new cards helped, and we understood the mission flow better. Yeah, that makes sense, right? As you play, yeah, yeah. you get some knowledge. Yeah. All right, I upgraded meteorite. Okay. I'm gonna do this. It may be bad, but I want to get rid of all these other tokens. But I'm going to spend two to remove all status effect tokens from a chosen player to get rid of all these bad things. That gets rid of all the good too. I know, but like one damage and. Oh my god! Wait till you get bleed, and you'll regret you wasted that. Oops. Or a parasite. That was two. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, this game is pretty cool, actually. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm liking it so that. far. It's kind of fun, silly. Alright, I'm doing offensive roll. Is there anything that can get 13 damage? Hopefully. Oh, oh, there's no other enemies. Oh, man. I just want to play with, like, four. The downtime is too much, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the only. That's what I wasn't at best one and two. That's why I was making one, the joke, two. right? Yeah. Well, community said one to three, though. I thought. Oh, okay, okay. Or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, I thought it was the other way around. Actually, they recommended one, uh, to two, one to three. Yeah, it's one to four players. Community says one to three. Yeah. But the, the most is... people say it's best with one or two. Yeah. And like Seriously. very few say it's best. Like only two people voted best with four, and but a lot recommended at four. Like fine. Eighteen though, not right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, and not more than four. It's definitely like one hundred percent thing. No that more than sense. four. Oh, I don't know. That's not what I wanted. Brett says I have no idea what y'all pl are playing. Just enjoying the company. Aww. Uh 
Brett, if you do want to know how the game works, I know it's very late in the stream for this, but uh, there is a how to play video that was only like 20 something minutes, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 26 yeah. minutes, I think. But I don't know yeah. if I linked it down below, but if you look up like how to play, I think this one was like a man versus meeple video that they put together just walking through how the game works. Um, it's not that complicated, even though this mess on the board looks complicated. It's just very like overproduced and flashy um, with lots of components. That's the whole deal with this thing. Um, but the basics of the game, like the game is super simple. We're just playing Yahtzee. Mm -hmm. It's like King of Tokyo with a dungeon, basically fighting enemies. Um, just trying to match up sets of dice face, hoping to get a little lucky here and there, spend tokens at the right time to mitigate. Lots of dice mitigation, which I like. Um, just it's fun. You just gotta like go. Uh, this is like I don't come in this expecting to be like in control, come up with the best strategy. Because it's like literally just have fun rolling dice and try to try to get the best roll. It's like more of more on the lighter, funner, uh, funner, more funner side of uh, these kind of games. I think. Uh, okay, I'm going to do only four damage. Unfortunately, I got some bad rolls. I maybe picked also, the wrong ones. We're, sorry, Mel, we are having oh, yeah. more downtime uh, because it's like we're chatting with the stream. I'm interrupting you guys. No, we're not okay. we're not flowing because we don't know the game. We can tell we're all not that comfortable with the flow. It definitely throws off the regular dice thrown th flow that we got used to. Yeah, it does a little because it inputs it's... all these other phases and stuff. But do you whiff or... no? I do. I do four. Oh, okay. but it's dependable. Did you, did you roll four? Four dice? Yeah, yeah. four. So uh, on the white. White ones, they deal one undefendable damage back to me and oh, prevent. Oh, straight, so so. Okay, so two two damage back. Uh, what do I keep? You keep all of it because it's just the defense. All oh, right. One, two. Remember. So those two white ones are done, <clears throat> and then deal one damage. Okay, prevent two times these, so he prevents two and one time this prevents three, and I did four, so he takes one damage, and I gain a fire. But also, Brett, if you want to be prepared for next week's stream, we are going to get together again and play this game again, most likely next week, if not the week after. But we are going to play. There's a boss battle phase of this that happens in a separate session. So you rotate in the campaign between portal crawl sessions, like little dungeon crawl ones like we're doing. And then the next phase, uh, the next time you get together, you play a full boss fight where it's like you're playing competitive dice throne, but working together, fighting against one common enemy. Um, and that will take a couple hours, I'm assuming. So we'll do that next time. But they're meant to be played in separate sessions. Unless we fail this, then we have to repeat this. We're not allowed to play the boss yet. So we may play again and play the same scenario again. Or uh, we'll pull a different one, I think, right? Um, Jan like Janet, it. somebody, do you guys know in the chat, if we do fail this, do we just draw another card the next time we set up? Or are you supposed to play the same one that you failed? I don't know. I think it's probably redraw, right? That would make it more interesting. Uh, massive pup. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you can go ahead and roll. You? Yep, you're attacking me now. Oh, a different card? Okay. So he's looking for straight. Draw another card. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, okay that works. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I would do a different one anyway to make it more interesting. Two. No, the best buddy would keep. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so keep him three, four. Yep, and then he would only keep yeah, the other two up there. Uh, so keep the three. Oh, no, he already has a three. three. Nope, we're good, we're good. One more. Two. Two, he'll add. And the one. Ah, oh, sugar. Yep. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna got a small straight. Yeah, he's gonna heal too. Can he go above? I would assume so. Okay, so but I don't know. He's going to four. You got the rule If he can, I'll check in a second, and, and then, then he's gonna deal damage. six, nine, six. Oh, he didn't yeah. get the large. I see. Which is good because I only have eight damage, eight health. Huh? All right, what am I doing here? I'm dealing one, two, three, undefendable damage back. And Three then defender. can you gain a fire. Why? Oh, no. oh I can't actually. Yeah, yeah, you, you just hitting back. Just hitting back. So he is going to do take three back. One, two, three. And he's going to hit me for six, going to two. Oh, three. how are we ready? We're going to go fight a level four minion in a bit <laughs> and we're ready for this. No. I don't have any other way to heal. Uh, I did. I use my. You can't token. roll a heal. I don't have any way to roll a heal. Oh, man. That's what people were saying that this one might be yeah, scary like, to yeah, take because there's cannon. no heal at all. But glass cannon. Oh. Okay. okay. Who's turn? My turn. Uh, yeah. yeah. What are my options right now? Or is... Can you come to that guy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be in there. 
He has 11 health so remaining. So income phase, right? I don't want to heal. Go to one, draw a card. Blessed. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to try the blessed. Uh, roll a die. On a four, or the helmet, I heal three. Oh, uh, that's gone. Okay. Whoops, 13. Okay. Back to full health, guys. I got there. Does anyone have heals in their deck that they can heal me? I don't know. I was going to take my deck and just look through it to see if it was impossible, mm -hmm. but I can only draw. I'm not, like, I'm passing on drawing. I don't have a way to heal you, though. But I have, okay. I have lots of offensive roll phase cards. I might have to sell some because I have way too many cards in hand, but maybe I can play some. Uh, actually, let me play some of these upgrades. Righteous combat. If we kill him, we roll a level two, which maybe is a heal. Matthew, thank you. <laughs> Matthew says, this is for Kyle's gas money home after the game. I know Rob Mel will make sure he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awkward. Uh, <laughs> you assume we have cash in the house? <laughs> I'll e-transfer it to Kyle again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Matthew, no thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. All right. Uh... Lady Prayer, Righteous Combat. Mm. Oh, Roman has a very important tip for us. Tip against level four minion. Roll well, and most importantly, <laughs> don't roll bad. Oh. All right. Oh, get out of here, Roman. Get out. The door is that way. <laughs> <laughs> click that big uh, X there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, click the X, get out, close the browser. You're gone, get out. Yeah, That's man. amazing. I love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, an upgrade righteous combat. Okay, and then let's roll. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm do this stupid thing again, but you keep getting that, eh? I know, but it's like it's not what I really want, and I wouldn't even have it if I didn't upgrade. I don't think. Yeah, it's like crazy. We're just getting tanked, but could roll. Could I roll into? Hmm. I could play a CP and mess with my dice, but I'm trying to hold it to mess with the fourth the level four minion to like really mess up his rolls against us, so we don't get hit and stuff. But I don't know if that'll work. Uh, but yeah, sure, I'll do this. Get retribution. Am I even allowed to have one more? No, I'm not. So this is kind of dumb. Then I heal one three undefendable damage. That's not really good. No, oh, it's risky business. Oh, I should probably kept that one yeah, yep. prayer. Yep. Yep, yep. Let me keep that one prayer. Okay. All right. What was I? Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I got this one. But I was thinking that one to go for heavy for it. But uh, okay. Three undefendable damage uh, to that guy. And then I'll green crit and accuracy. Okay. Then he doesn't defend. Uh, oh yeah, that was part of it. Yes, yes, yes. One CP, that makes sense. Uh, okay, <clears throat> then uh, he attacks me. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I could play... No. Uh... I should have played this one because it would have been upgraded. That's okay. Go ahead. Good? Yep. He's going for straight, so he's going to keep two, oh, three, four. So he'll keep this one. Now he has a small straight. Three, five. Oh man, he got the large, which is heal two. Hold on one sec. What else is there? Oh, do? sorry. Heal two and then nine damage. Whoa. Sorry. Okay. Oh yeah. Can I, I use have... this? Can I, I have... on anyone? 
Yeah, but so I, like, should we save that stuff? Like I don't neither know. Neither opponents. I know, but I can do it. Now. I can prevent six right now, but I'm like trying to save that from Melga's attack by like her next thing. I could just mess up the large straight. I deb I have stuff to do that too. How much CPU you're sitting on? Only two. I'm sitting on two. Okay. I can say you are choosing teammate. Nope, that doesn't work. Change the value of any one die. Yeah, if you change this middle one, but then on a failed roll, gain a damage boost times a plus three. Yeah. So yeah, but if next, we kill, but we, it, if we kill him, yeah. That's too... Yeah, change something in the middle. I think the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So wild. Spend two CP. So if you did like that, now he's yeah. I just mess it up. So then he's gonna get a plus three. Like okay. I want to do my defensive roll, but then it's like nine damage. I'm not gonna prevent all of it. Okay. So it's like it doesn't I make sense. Need to do eight damage. Hopefully. But then I could have hit him back. I could have. Yeah, but it's like whatever. Okay. Hopefully I'm just not the one that reveals the tile and loses all my good tokens, and then we can use them for like this or that. Well, oh. if Kyle's able to take him out, I can go in, which would let me gain this. And he Kyle, your turn. That's what I do. Just roll yeah. in and take him out. Yeah, that's your job. Finish him. <laughs> you are a scary man. Three. I take one. Hopefully it's something good. Fast effect tokens from a chosen player. Oh, you also. Have... Oh, yeah. What did the the stubble see? So this um, that one it, it, thing. It does the whole strike back for like. Uh, it's good, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah, just, you, you roll one die. Just on you this get one, one last damage. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I don't care that much about those. The um, back strike is when a player with back strike receives damage as a result of an opponent's offensive roll. They may choose to spend the token. If spent, you roll a die, and you deal half the value of damage back, rounded up to the attacking player. Yeah. So it could hit them for. Anywhere from, I think, one to three, right? Yeah. Ooh, hearts. Yeah, Keith, I was thinking the same thing. Keith says, try to save some of six it and similar cards for the level four if you can. You want to wipe them out quickly. Yeah. Yeah, like change to like big attacks, you know, like switch quickly. Do I try and heal? If you heal, he'll then attack I'm not back. Attacking. But yeah, I mean, calm. he might miss. It's a straight. It, there's. But then he gets to heal when he attacks, yeah. so like, it will Unless be here all day. Totally and and he gets extra damage as he builds know, up those attacks. Rolling is my only way to heal. That's my problem. Can you do it? no damage with this yet, right? No. Maybe you'll stun him. Can you stun him so you can attack twice or whatever you used to do? Man, you need to do that on this boss. <laughs> you, that I, whole, mean, like, what, I don't even know how I used to do Oh, that was an upgrade to... A defense, I thought. Are you sure? Oh, it was only an upgrade. It had to have been. I know it's here on your rage. You yeah. were doing. You had. Oh, right here. Yeah. This one. Crit bash two. Yeah, no, I would. Toss <laughs> it. I mean, I could change one to a six. But I would say that for like the boss, right? No. Like, if it's less the boss, he flips. It's like heal. can't be stunned. But then he would die on seven. Well, no, he wouldn't die. <laughs> oh, he would if you spent this with it. Oh, yeah, he would. Because that would cancel out the minus one from there. He, he would die right away, and then I won't be able to do the second roll. Is it defendable? No. Oh, Keith, Keith. you're a new member. Welcome, Keith. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> Clicking that join button. It was like a surprise because it said member, but it didn't say who it was for a second. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> thank Keith, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sorry, was it defendable damage? I haven't done anything. No, but if you did the... Undef undefendable. Oh, okay, so it would just straight up kill him. Yeah, he wouldn't even roll. I know, but I need to... I, need I would to kill him roll. if I was you. But I'm only at seven. Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to enjoy it quietly, Keith. That's okay. You don't, <laughs> you don't need to join the hooligans in the chat if you don't want to. It's okay. Thank you, Keith. I appreciate it. Heal me six. You are gonna you're gonna take a heal six or nine or whatever, and then he's gonna hit you back for know, exactly I, I or more. What do you heal? What do you heal for? And it's gonna be all for naught. I, well, I'm trying to get. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. I know oh it. My God. I'm trying to get a three. What are my odds of getting a three? <laughs> I'm rolling two. One in six. <laughs> well, one in six times. Oh, seven, I guess if you're rolling more six. than one die, yeah. That's all I need, and then I could hit him with eight undefendable damage. 
if I get a three. That's my, what I'm trying to go for. Okay, go for it. Do you have, have a it. card to change it if you have CP or does Mel? Change it no. I have no CP to help you, I but I have no cards that card. could have changed you. Or uh, change it for you, but it costs three you CP. You got it. You just need a three? Yeah. There it is. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, and I got, but I got the two as well. Wait, so you got a straight? Oh, yeah, a large I got a, one. Large, a large. For that. I don't want to do large. Because it'll hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> the point is I got it. Look at that. We never had any doubt. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. of course you get it. Why, why, why? Okay, so. You were doubting it? Well, it's eight. I have to throw this in. This because this subtracts one. Oh, yeah. So I, it's technically nine. Okay, and it's undefendable? Undefendable. So he's dead. And then I lose this token, right? Because this is a one-time thing. Uh, I think so. The wither one, I think, is... No, it's persistent. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, Matthew with the $10 super chat says, The Canadian police just contacted me and told me I need to keep it relatively even with Robin Bell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Matthew, thank you so much. <laughs> Man. I mean, they're on to you. You gotta, you gotta be nice to everybody. That's how it works up here. Thank you so much, Matthew. Matthew, thank you so much. Level 2. 17. 17. Relatively even. 3 gold. <laughs> Come on, the gold. Three gold for 17. Rob, you want to roll a loot? Oh, yeah. Um, Nine or ten is heal. Four. Four. Four is a plus two token. Oh, plus two token. Okay, please, I need a nine or a ten. Please, please. Eighteen. Gold. Eighteen is, no, it's another common card. Oh. Yeah, building up my commons here. Okay. That's not what I wanted, but... Okay. This guy's gone. I'm just gonna do my last main phase. I'll get rid of this token. Should I save this? Mm, actually, that's the, I can do it later. Good. Yep. All right, I'm going in. Yes, you have to. You have to get the shards use, there. I have to use this too. Okay. And you also get the heal. There's salve or sand. You. That's for me. I'm moving here. Is Please give me some heal cheese? or something. The last piece of cheese on the die. It's complete. Castle. Okay, you get plus three CP. Sweet. All heroes choose and discard half their cards rounded up, then draw a card. What oh, a dirt bag I of a tile. I May because... Okay, so first I'm going to gain three. Mm. Half their cards rounded up three. is what's said. Yeah. So I need to get three out of five out I of my hand. I only have one card, so oh, that sucks. discard one, draw one. Mm. Oh, it's better defense. I guess that's maybe good. Yeah. And then draw three? Draw, draw one. one. Draw one. Yeah, this is not as good. Yeah, uh, wrecked. Oh, transfer one status oh. effect token from a chosen player to another. Got the best card, the better D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All about that better D. All right, then we're going to feed our enemy. The Basilisk. 14, 14 health. Okay. 2 CP. Venomous Bite is super common, so he's going to hit all the time. At least that, because that's like the most common base. Um, and how many is the reds? Two side. No, one, one side. Oh, yeah. only one side. Okay, so that's rare to get those. A defensive roll for every six it rolls, it, it inflicts a poison? Oh, what the man. hell's a poison? I don't know, but it sounds bad. Is that the same as bleed, or is this game it's different, or what? Uh, poison, negative suspect. A player affected with this token is dealt one undefendable damage per poison token during the upkeep phase. It's a stack limit three and is persistent. Okay, well, I'm going to do as much damage as I can. Are you guys cool if I use this? This will let me heal for... Three, four, five, six. six. Yeah, six. go ahead. Yeah, so you I'll do what you go, gotta do. I'll go to eight. The second one. <laughs> uh, Brian says, "Don't forget the ointment." <laughs> Brian, that <laughs> actually made me like cry laughing. That was so good. <laughs> I, <didn't want> <laughs> I just used the ointment. What was it if like a pig uses a salve? Is it considered an ointment or something <laughs> yeah. like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my! Now he doesn't have. Well, he's a good, good one to transfer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna gain my income. Give me a good card, please. Oh, twice as wild. Okay. Uh, main phase. Might as well put this out for some better defense. Better D. Yep. All right. Come on, give me something good here. <laughs> Such children. <laughs> All right. Oh, I wish we had more enemies because I did get the, I did get the burning soul. Hmm. Don't put the oinkman on your better deal. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's do... I guess do we roll with this? I get it. Roll with it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I need... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, roll with it, Mel. Yeah, let's... Oh, wait. I don't know. I just picked them up anyway. I know. I do that, too. It's like, you pick it up, and you're like, wait, what was it? No. Oh, don't forget to lose a fire mastery during oh, yeah. upkeep. Thank you, thank you. Forgot. Uh, all right, well, I guess let's try again, and then maybe we'll thank use you, this to do it. Oh, thanks, yeah. Oh, I got the exact same thing again. Son of a gun. Okay. Let's use this one. Two, three. One, two, three. Uh, change the value of any, any two die. So let's do that. And that. Okay. So on, so on three of them, I inflict burn. So burn is receive two undefendable damage during the upkeep phase. A player affected with this token receives two damage during their upkeep phase. Persistent. Then on four, I increase fire mastery stacking limit by one. Uh, okay, so it's six. And Sweet. then gain, oh, because I have now gain two times fire mastery. So two, four, six, eight, but I can only take up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then deal one undefendable damage times these as collateral damage. Then I deal four undefendable damage. Not the best, but hopefully I can do something with all these tokens next if it comes around to me. Or on the boss or when you get the there, boss. right? Yeah. So now it's attacking you? Uh, yes. Okay. Hopefully I'm still alive. He's looking for, so do you have any whites or blacks? Three of the whites. Are my whites or reds? And then rolls the others. Looking for now just reds. So he keeps a red and rolls again. Looking for a red. But it's a red, of course. Oh, Way to man. go, Kyle. You're going to wipe me. So it actually is like the worst attack there, yeah. which is yeah, what? Yeah. Nine damage and inflicts poison. So let me do my thing first. So poison first. Follow it in order. Inflict poison. Just one token. Put a poison on you. And then roll. Or uh, deal with the damage. Don't kill me. Oh, man. All right. Well, this oh, yeah, gives me a fire mastery. You kill it back before it kills you. On this, I inflict burn again. What's this stack limit on burn is only one, so I can't do that. Oh, wait, we missed the. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I shouldn't have. A... So you attacked it, and then it was like, it has its own like upkeep phase. Right? Yeah, so it would have taken it's two down. damage. Yeah, it's yeah, down yeah. Two. to eight. Sorry, yeah, because then, so then, sorry, then I did inflict burn. And then on each fire, I deal a damage. That's so two more. One, two, it's down to six. And that's it. But I take nine and I'm out. Oh. So I don't know if somebody wants Yeah, to I got to spend one. So you're back yeah. to one. Wow. But then I think we got him. You suck. But that's I, two gone. Here, take it. Like... Put it away. I know. I, know. I, I didn't know what to tell you. <sighs> I know the pyromancer is going to be the end of us. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I'll switch before if, if no, you invite me to a campaign with you. Yeah, I don't know now. I don't no, know. I'll you've play not, you've shown me your reckless, and uh, <laughs> you just spend salves or salves. I asked like they're, before. Like they're, you're going to get tons of them. I, I can't. How many more do we have? You're not a hoarder like I None? need in my party. One left. One we have left. one left? Yep. One left. For the boss fight? Yeah. I just got to go in the boss fight last. Oh man. That's not how the game works. It's like turn order just well, happens. Yeah, you, I know it should you work. Will now. Be last. Yeah, you will be yeah, last. Yeah, if we just leave her with the boss for sure, but what if we go in there and I get stuck in there, I don't kill it, then you go in there, you get stuck in there, you kill it, then she's free, she has to go start the boss fight. You get it? Like well, so should wait, I just what do we start? have to kill when we get in there? A level four, A level four. and whatever oh, I don't know what this level... tile does when you flip it. Oh I'm assuming but I might it does be some okay. shenanigans. I might be okay with this guy. Because all I have to do is four damage, and then it'll burn itself. So if you guys want to go start the boss, I'm fine with it. All right. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm fine with. I think I can do four damage. All right. So uh, the I have all the these special. Uh, oh, we got the key and the special oh, wait. lock. What is this gonna do? Is this gonna kill me again? What? It does get one damage. Oh yeah. Uh, so I unless think. someone can get rid of this. You do one in your upkeep phase. You're losing one undefendable damage. Yeah, this will kill me again. Oh, unless. Uh, oh, I can transfer one sec. Uh, oh, but I won't have. Oh, yeah. Well, one sec. One sec. Right, I got yeah. this. Like, thanks, thanks. watch this. There's I think. Yeah, uh, from a chosen player to another chosen player. Watch this. 
What does this do? Can you hold that up there? You have to do that first. No, as long as it's before my turn. Oh, before your turn. Oh, you get 2 CP. 2 CP, and we get 3 gold. So we're going to 41 on the gold dial. And it gets rounded up to the nearest 5, so that's kind of good, actually. Then we're going to spawn a level... How much? 2 CP? Excuse me, sorry. 2 CP, 3 gold. we spawn Cthulhu, and then it begins with 1 additional King's Hand token. All right. We'll slide your guy over, Mel, and we'll yep. put this enemy here or something. It's going to start with one king's hand and possibly more. So uh, it does get an extra one off the to tile. Yeah, got that one in my hand, and then... Oh, oh and one because it shows one on, on the thing, so right. it gets two. Two. So mm -hmm. Goblin Horde, 25! Six CP. So give it a CP dial just so we can uh, just flip over one of those health dials. Yep. So then we have both dials. 25, sorry. Or tokens, whatever you want to do, but I have a feeling it might spend it since that's so high. But... 25 and then 6. Okay. What does the king's thing do? Okay, uh, so the king's hand uh, tokens, it will spend them when one of two things happen. It either fails on its offensive roll phase to do anything, it will spend that token after clearing any effects on it that affected its roll phase that expire at the end of a roll phase, then it will spend that token and perform an extra roll phase. Okay, uh, so it's more likely to hit you. Or if one of us gets our ultimate against it, it will spend that to force us to re-roll one of our dice in our ultimate before we try to do it again or affect it or whatever. Um, but that's what it does. I think. That's the only two things. Um, okay. So we're trying to get... Oh man, it's going to hit all the time. Yep. All the time. But look at this. Level 4 reward. Uh, it has a swarm, so if it does get all five, which you know it's going to do every single time, it deals damage equal to half your health. Round it up. If the damage is less than or equal to 5, this attack becomes undefendable. Passive, on a failed offensive roll, heal 3. And remove all passive status effects from the active player. What a bugger. Wow. And it has a unique defense, which I think... Does that mean it only... Uh, I don't know. Unique defense. All damage received as a result of opponent's attack is reduced to a maximum of six. Oh, oh no. Wow. Uh, so but that's, oh. Only, that's only if we're doing undef uh, defendable damage, right? It'll always reduce down to six. Yeah, which is what my 15 is. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Did you have a way to turn it? My highest is eight undefendable. Hmm. So we just, it's going to take a bunch of turns. Oh, the oh. ultimate is activated against all damage type apart from ultimate abilities unless otherwise. <gasps> so yeah. So even undefendable yeah. goes down to six? Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. He's tough. He's a level four Oh bot. my. He doesn't want you to one shot him like we've been trying to do. Yeah, yeah. What? Level four enemies are harder than level one? Yeah. What kind of game is this? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So it's not going first. Not no going first strike. Nope. Okay. I get a CP and upkeep. I draw a card. Well, I could draw two more, but is that where I want to spend my CP? Or let's. Mm, I should probably see my cards first, but I probably will still do this anyway. Hmm. I'll spend a CP, and I, I play double up to draw two cards. Triple up, what the hell? And tip it, increase or decrease any die by the value of one. That's a great That's card. A great card. Uh, okay, so I will spend this two CP, and I'll play triple up to draw three cards. Oh, please. oh my god. Mighty, well no, I need to sell some I to know, pay I for know. other ones or else they're all dead cards, right? Uh, what's the status effect? Remove all status effect tokens from a chosen player. That's 2 CP. Same Z's. Change the value of one of your dice to be identical value of another one of your dice for 1 CP. That's good. And Mighty. A chosen player gains crit, which is the one that adds 4 damage to the attack. That's not great against this guy. Uh, so I'm going to spend that one for a CP. Or sell it or whatever. Okay. I will... Gonna get rid of this one, I think. Yep, I'm gonna sell it. It's a cost three. I'll probably never play it. Two CP. Then I'm gonna play uh, this transference for two CP down to zero, and I'll move uh, transfer one status effect token from a chosen player to another, and I'll move the poison to the boss guy. 
Okay, that should yeah, work. That's persistent, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in his upkeep phase, he'll just hurt himself for one. Nice. Okay. I don't know. Thank you. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, then probably like I don't want to. What's the status? Does he have a status effect he does to us? No, right? Mm, no. Oh, that's interesting. So I don't have to worry about that actually. Anyone have any bad status effects that really matter? No, you don't. Okay, I'm gonna sell this one for one CP. Um, and then I'll just hold these, and hopefully one of them will help me. Let's get them. Mm hmm. Two white, one blue, and a double two, two two four six six. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really want to mess up his attacks. I can increase the value of a die. I can change the value of one of your dice that doesn't work on him or prevent six. Yeah, I got rid of that other one. So I could just increase or decrease the value of any die by one. So if he rolls all whites, yeah, you could flip them. I could change one up to whatever the next, like a yellow is, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. and mess up his whole attack. Yep. But then he'll spend those tokens and try to go again, which I mean, that's fine. He uses them up, whatever. Uh, so maybe saving tip it for that. I just don't know what ability I'm going for. This knight is like annoying. With that kind of stuff. Uh, let's go. I don't know. Could go many ways here. Uh, if you do make his thing fail, yes, he will use these, but he does have on a field heal three and then remove all positive effects from a player. Yeah, I'm going to use up all oh, mine, okay. as many as I can here, but uh, I need to actually get something to happen. Okay, what does this do? Another yellow. I could just tip this down to no. I would tip one of these. No, that wouldn't work either. They're fours. Uh, this is awkward. Yeah, I'm gonna roll this. I guess. Damn, not a yellow. Okay, I will. Hmm. Did I just bomb the whole thing? I could change the value of one of your dice to be identical to the value of another. I gotta do it. So unfortunately, this is lame, but uh, spend a CP, changes to uh, sword. Right? That's the better one. Okay. Uh, that's righteous combat 2. Oh, go for straight says key. Uh, oh, but I don't think oh, you could have. I did have a 5. Hold on. I had a 5. I could have. No, I couldn't. Yeah, I, I was thinking of going for that, but I thought it would have been harder to do, so we'll just say I did this. It's fine. Um, deal five damage and roll three dice. Okay, so this will heal me too. Uh, heal two. This will add a damage. This will add two more damage. So I'm actually doing eight damage. Which reduces six. Only if it deals... Oh, yeah, because he doesn't roll defense dice. He just reduces it, no matter what. I see. Um, but, let me see. Yeah, adding damage doesn't matter. Adding this damage doesn't matter. Making it undefendable doesn't matter. That's crazy. Yeah. He, he even does it the undefendable damage. Yeah. And then he just doesn't so All my roll. tokens are, like, useless, pretty much. Yeah. I, I, unless I roll, like, a low attack. Uh, okay. So then, main phase number two. Gosh, crap. Get a CP. That sucks. Okay, I'm done. done? I'm gonna finish there. He's gonna attack me. But I can maybe hit him back with this one at least. I give him half damage back. So hopefully he hits me actually. Okay, so he only got two of them so far. I forgot he takes half my health away. That's disgusting. Three. Mm -hmm. Last roll. Oh, Whoa. don't forget to poison him. He got poisoned Four. at the start of his turn. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so it's a poison. Poison. So he only got four of them. Which is nothing. Which is not enough. 
One, two, three, four. Because knee five. So he heals or so something. So he's gonna Whoa. try this, right? <laughs> yes. First. So he rolls one die on a four. <laughs> so what is that one? Sorry. Uh on a four or five? I can't see. It doesn't say it on here. I just uh I have to Oh, oh it's on the reference card. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, here, that's these right. these are looking for. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh he may spend this anytime and a king hand token is spent, roll a loot die. Oh, a loot die. Wait, no, this is not right, is it? Well, it is. No, the what king's is hand. this? This maybe is just a reference to something stupid. No, this is this is not what I was thinking it was. No, there is something usually on the card. I thought, mm, but he's no, doing the king's the hand room. ability. The king's hand, page nine. Yeah, but I thought they have their own king's hand, like supposed to be on the card that they're looking for. Oh, maybe it's on here. Sorry, it's on here. It's oh, on here. I okay. knew it's somewhere. I knew he has a roll four. Starting tokens, shown on minions. Max tokens used per turn is one. Successful roll. He's looking for a four or six. Okay. Uh, we got there. I, I was like, where is it? I know it's oh, somewhere. He got a six. So then he's going to do a whole new offensive roll phase and start again. Uh, Eric says, I'll see y'all later. Just clocked into work and need to get all my tools together. Glad to have found your channel. Eric, sure. thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Enjoy your shift. Welcome. Thank you again. Okay, so he he did get the six. So he's doing a whole another offensive, offensive roll phase. Okay, Rob? Yeah, he does half. Oh, he does half his health and damage, not my health. I thought he took away my half my health. Damage I think equal it's to your. Half your. Yeah, I think it's mine. Deal damage equal to half your health rounded up. Yeah, that's how I took it. That's how I took it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's my health is what he's doing. Yeah. If it was his health, uh, he'd be like one shotting all of us on the first attack. Even if we got a little damage in. Yeah, it's definitely our health. It's definitely our health. Uh, your on these cards means the minion. That doesn't make sense. Oh, you might be right, actually. Oh, wow. That is going to be crazy if that's the case. Is that right? It's been clarified oh, enough for okay, us. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't No, I think it's in the rule book. I think it even does well, say yeah, that. Yeah, I guess because it refers to you as the active player. So it would say active player up there, right? Because that's how it generally refers to you. Wow. Yeah, the attack is his. So it's well, he's your he's and a, his he, health. Oh, so he's okay. 18. Yeah, so you did it for nine. Oh, because the horde it gets weaker the more you kill. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. That makes sense. Well, so it was more important that we did lots of damage to it, but you can't even. So right, that's right, kind of crazy. Well, so far his first attack whiffed. He used his king's yeah, hand. Right, it was right. successful. So we're getting another offensive roll phase. Uh, oh, one, man. two. Hold on. He. Oh, does anyone have a. Uh, you can. If. Gosh. What? Should have had a CP. Hand? Yeah, even the oh, king's hand six, with reds. Uh, I can't. I don't have a CP and it would have oh, just okay. tipped it down to a five. So it still would have passed. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just didn't know what it was. Nope. Maybe it'll work again. And it's max one per turn, right? Like they. Yeah, he met, he whiffed again, and you can only use one of yep. the king's hand. Yep, yep. So yeah. that whiffs. So on a failed, he's going to heal three. Do we, do we already take one for poison, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, yeah. two, three. So he's at 21. And then remove all positive effects from the active player. Okay, so that's good to know that he's not actually going to hit that as often, hopefully. And then it's on to Kyle. You can go and help. Um, you can go help here because it's going to take multiple attacks. Clearly, yeah, to get, rid get of in that there. Guy. And then hopefully. Sure. Yeah, if you can there. weaken his health down a lot, then we can. Uh, you know, but obviously, you can only take six, which is so weird. So if you have like an ultimate ability, a way to make your ultimate, that's the only way you'll get through his stupid defense ability. If I roll it. Well, no, but you have to have like cards. Like you have to save up CP and cards to try to make your ultimate work. Well, I, I, can, like. I can do one to six and I can change the value of anyone. Oh, but, okay. But he can, he'll, he can uh, roll this to see. Yeah, so you have to have like another card for it, but. Yeah. Okay, so. That probably. Oh man. I keep trying for this. <laughs> <laughs> Brian S says, ah, I love the smell of dungeon crawler fiddliness in the evening. Mm. <laughs> okay, thank you for clarify clarifying that, guys. I did read that in the rule book, though. I our our rule book too, does yeah. have the you and your on the enemies or the boss and stuff that counts as them. Oh, you want it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to do overpower. That's good. Yeah. So, so I roll three and then I deal damage equal to the total value I roll. 
You did you nine did damage, more than I can but it's do. reduced to six, so it takes six damage. And, but it wasn't 14, so you don't get to inflict concussion. Okay, main phase two. Oh, wait, that was one last because of this thing. Oh, yeah, but still, it was so still, still over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like eight, over. Then. Um, this is when it attacks me. Yeah. yeah. Which is good, because that's a separate instance. I'll probably remove that token from you soon. Yeah, I'm done. He's going to go? Yes, we have that. Yeah, any main Maybe. phase or anything you want to do? Nope. No? Nope. Getting three at the start. So annoying. Well, that makes sense. There's on three sides of the die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. He failed. So he's going to try this. Yeah. Well, they're both gone. Four. Oh, that's the number, right? Yeah, four, four to six? No one wants can you, it. I can can't. You, I have no can CP. Wait, or I what, could what am I that. trying to do? If, if you can change that to a one, two, or three somehow. Sure. Sure. But is this during his roll phase? Well, isn't it still? Yeah, it's still. It still, is, right? Yeah, it's yeah. still. It's still a. Yeah, I just don't remember. Yeah, this is his roll phase. So, so the turn. worst that's going to happen is going to heal three, and he's going to remove all your status effects. Positive status. But effects. you can stop him from even attempting to attack you again. Yeah, yeah I can just change that to whatever. Okay. Right? But yeah. unless you want to unless risk want it, to and it. maybe he doesn't even attack you. But what would his attack be? Uh, Why don't? What is oh, but then I can 15. I can potentially heal it's if round, he attacks me. Rounded up. So he he would attack you for eight if if you let him Which go. Which would kill you. No. Unless he rolls oh, heals. No. I can do heals, and then I can also do another defensive roll phase. Oh, poison! Thank like, you, thank you. I forgot poison phase. again. Yes, another character. So he's at fourteen. So he's going to deal seven damage. Yeah, he would attack you for seven if he wait, gets wait. a fire. So oh, hold on. Better D is so I, I'm rolling a defense and resolving that defense, but then I roll another completely different. Oh, you're not rolling. Uh... No, it's just a re, uh, roll attempt. So you know the way defense roll, you normally don't get any re rolls. You get another attempt at it, so you can pick up whatever dice you want and re roll them. Like you do roll attempts on the offensive oh, right, phase. Right, right, right. So if you rolled like a heart and you're like, oh, I want to keep a heart, but I missed on two of them, you could re roll those other two trying to hit hearts. That's all that does, but it's free. Gonna hit me potentially if he maxes out with seven. Seven, yeah. Which you're dead. If he hits, so what will happen is he'll go through the whole roll phase again. He may whiff. If he whiffs, he just heals three. It's your call, but man. Your call. Oh, I'm just it... so now. If you just yeah, because I got rid of the. I don't know. But then you also could just change the value of one of his dice and you mess him up too. Yeah. So you could let. If it you want to wait and see, yeah, you could do that. Because you may not need to spend it if you don't yeah. need to. Maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, just wait. I would just wait actually. Yeah. I just don't know if he had something cheap that just did it cheaper now than later, but well I can flip it to a six for one, but then I but no, that no, still that, hits. That still hits. Oh yeah. So I think you wait and yeah, see. Yeah, just roll, just go. Yeah, six yeah, that's would six would whiff it if you can do that later. Oh, I got four this time. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's gonna try it twice to get a, a white on it. It's gonna hit for sure. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So now if you use that and flip one to a six, it whiffs. If you care, or it's gonna hit you for seven right now. And then I get a chance to defense. You defense roll. With your better D. But if you don't roll any hearts, you're done, son. And we lose well, the whole I can thing. Still change the value. No, you have one to bring him back. Oh, I have one to bring you back. No, yeah. no, no. I, either way, I'm getting a heart. But I just want more hearts. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I'm changing the value. Can afford all that? I have it, four. Oh, okay. Hold on. Is it better yeah. to take none? None what? No damage? Yeah, I know. I know, but I could potentially heal and be higher. You're still going to take... No. You're still going to take seven it's two times damage, one heart. Which yeah, puts but you the most zero. You can heal a six then. And he's going to hit you for seven. So you'd be down one health. And that's if you... And you spent all the CP and all yeah, the cards that on that. Yeah, I on it. No, I would just cancel the whole attack. That's like healing for seven. Yeah. And, you're spending, and then you'd still have that for next time. No, I could... If I got all hearts... But you only roll that, three dice. Oh, yeah. Want to cancel it? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's cheaper change this it. way. Yeah, cheaper. Change it to any So then he heals for three. No, One, two. two, three. And you remove all positive status effects, which is. Oh, but this. then, uh, wouldn't I. Oh, he attacks me. Wouldn't I attack him back, too? But it's only a roll and it's half rounded oh, up right. of what it is. So it's a one to three damage yeah, back. No, it's not like the biggest thing. Okay. Already? Oh, away. Oops, sorry. Away. That goes away. And then you, you're done? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's see if I can kill this thing. You die over there, and we did all that stuff over here. <laughs> Come on, guys, I got it. 
So I don't know, but I'm going to do my best. I have lots of... this happen? That is going to happen on their turn. So I just need to do four damage, which my basic here can do four. Let's see what this first roll is. Oh, yeah. I don't think we did poison. I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 Because uh, oh, I saw... But you don't get the poison again. It's only during the upkeep phase. So. Okay. Well, I think this right here will kill it. Uh, oh, that's only two damage. Okay. Hold on. Oh, this will kill it. This will kill it. One, two, three, four. All of those. This does gain fire mastery. Oh, I got to lose one at the start. Then remove up to four fire mastery tokens. Deal th uh, three undefendable damage per token removed. So I'll just remove two, deal six, and it's dead. Yeah. I would spend less, so then can't you have it so it just dies to fire at the start of its turn so you can have more three, tokens for the next boss? Four, five. No, I'd have to spend two. Oh, I see. Okay. I, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, dead. Loot. Reward Roar. level three. three. Level, level three. three. Level three. Show me the loot. Your health on two? Uh, that's a cock die. Nine, Let's roll it again. Nine and ten. Ten. Yeah, health. Four health. Boom! Nineteen. Yes. Epic roll. That's awesome. All right, Kyle, what are you getting? What are you looking for? A nine or ten. <laughs> You're looking for as well? Twenty! Uh, uh, Twenty! That's a legendary! Loot for ten gold Don't leaders! Look at it. I Don't, need help. Don't look I need at help. It. No, Wait till you see this card, Kyle. Don't even look at it. Oh my god. I need to live to see it. I need to live legendary to see it. loot? Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all get any more of those loots? Nine! I got nine! I got three health! Yes! Oh. Yeah. I want. Can we trade? One. Can we trade? I'll trade you a legendary loot for some healing. I'm at, I'm at four health. Yes. Okay, that was the best. Yes. I'll get a legendary on the first scenario. Yes. Now we got to play the whole campaign. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Y'all got any more of those legendaries? Okay. My turn is done. Back to Rob. Yeah. I'm just going to put this guy more. Uh, so. Upkeep, one sape. Okay. One card. You have no way to do like a double attack. Yeah? Ooh, change the value of one of your dice to a six. Yeah, if I could roll more than one or two sixes a turn. But now he doesn't yeah. have any king's hand, so. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to worry about him hitting back. Yeah. Uh, as much, but he still. I tried. I gotta just try to get his, 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 a hit in. That's that's aim low. Yeah. I don't know any of those positive effects to increase it, but. Yeah, the most we can drop is damage, so that you hit less is better. Okay, I got the variety roll again. <laughs> Isn't it a straight though? That's the problem. Uh, two, three, five, six, six. Mm. Now, hold on. Can you get a four in there. Hold on. Do I go hard for the blessing? What's this do? Prevent being defeated. Okay, that might be a thing. Okay, let's see. I could tip this, I could change this. I just need to roll like a real six, but I don't have the CP for all that, so that doesn't work anyway. All right, I'm. I gonna... think because he lowers it all. I know it's stupid. Even, yeah. So I could just go with this. This would just do the gain retribution, which will just get rid of anyway. Heal one to twenty. Yeah, that's still legit, right? You got twenty health. Yeah, and then I could deal three undefendable damage to him. Okay. I don't know. And then I get a CP because of... Oh, that's not... That's not a dumb. No, I wish. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I know it's not the greatest. I'm just playing it safe. But, yeah, this guy doesn't really, like, hammer hard unless I'm lucky. But I definitely could have gone for a straight of some kind and tried, actually. Maybe I'd try still. Two, three, five, six. I've seen a four in there, right? Okay, you want to try Hold on, I'm just gonna try. Just leave it where it is, because if I if I just whiff, I might as well try. This will still resolve this. No, and I could tip that though. One. No, I'll, I'll just go with what I did. It's fine. I know I could have done stuff there with cards, but I'm saving these cards for tipping and changing to mess up his attack. Yeah, I think that's where we need to use them. I, I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Um, all right, uh, then he goes. He so goes. I'm so he's not... gonna take a poison. 13. Yeah. He's gonna roll all these fun. Drink that poison. All right, we only got two this time. That's good. Good start. Oh, we got kind of wanted to hit me because I have so much health and then I can hit him oh. back for half the damage. It's oh, like... he got it. Yes, bring it. Okay. Bring it. So he's gonna hit you for seven. Seven? Uh, defensive roll, right? Yes. Yeah. Come at me, bro. I could mess up the attack. I'm not going to, because I have shenanigans. Yeah, do your shenanigans. Get some more damage done. 
Okay, how does this work though? Uh, this token may be spent when being attacked as a result of an opponent's offensive roll. You'll have the incoming damage rounded up back to the attacker. Incoming damage? Is that before I mess with it? Uh, probably, right? Or after, I mean? Okay, so... I mean, incoming. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Uh, is it after I block some of it, and then it's incoming damage? Well, I think incoming is all that's incoming to you, and then you block, and it's what you uh, think is I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just making that up. I don't really want to look it up, because like I... Does that sound right, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the ammo was already launched, it's in the air. Yeah, incoming yeah. is not the same as... <laughs> you don't have the Del role player rule book. It's Del probably in the original role player if you go, but like, the steps, you know, that one... Yeah. It's upstairs. I don't, I don't have it, where it breaks down the steps of how... I think before you block... Is yeah, it before it Roman? Sense. Yeah. Before. Okay. Before? Okay, thank you. I knew someone in the chat would be like on that. I just had to wait for the ch the stream delay to catch <laughs> up. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so it's before. So I will spend it then. Incoming was seven. Yep. Yep. So It'll I deal do. half, round it up back. So four? Four damage back to him. Right. Finally got that token of fire. Okay, then nine. Okay. Then I rolled something. I feel <laughs> like it was these, but then I started getting distracted. <laughs> I think it was these. I don't think this one was involved. Oh, um, but... I do one damage back, per yeah. unpreventable or whatever. I then prevent uh, two, three, four damage coming at me. It was seven. Yep, so you take three. So I take three down to 17. And then. Share some of that health? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's it. Wow, that was an amazing turn. That's how I roll. I play the long game. I see what you did. There. I'm a house martel. I have a long, long game plan here. I eventually look like I'm going to die the whole game, and then at the end I gain more health than I need, <laughs> and I wreck the opponent and just uh, mess with them. You're just waiting for that final, yeah. final It's just a long, this guy's such a slow build, that's why I thought it'd be fun during uh, the longer portal crawls and stuff, like to build him up and stuff, yeah, but that's neat though. I don't know, I don't think he's that great, but... <laughs> Alright, Kyle. Kyle, what are you doing? Can you... Oh, we can I have CP him. to help. I don't want to finish him. No, let me finish him. No, I'm just kidding. You can why? Finish. Why don't you want him? I need help. I need to focus on a health. Don't board. we heal up at the I end don't of the theory, though? That you were just you got the rule book. Go check. I don't remember that. Clean up. Read the clean up stuff after chopping this, and all that. This crap. is the last guy, right? Or like, so you're saying before the boss fight? Before the boss fight, you think we heal? I don't know. Mel's oh, got to okay. check. I don't know. I'm not sure. To be honest, some of those rules probably didn't sink in because I wasn't sure we'd win. I feel like it doesn't even say. So do your well, it's important for my role though. Oh, new subscriber! Yeah. I don't know what that says, but there's something there. I feel like the word Diablo's in there. DH Diablo or something. Um. Welcome, welcome to welcome. the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Much Diablo. appreciated. Yes, you start full. Thank you, Janet. I. He says, "Yeah, you get a fresh health pool when you get to the boss battle. It's oh. that ointment, Kate." <laughs> <laughs> boss fight is the whole new scenario okay, okay perfect. perfect so it's like refreshing setting up everything it's probably in the setup you just follow the setup and it tells yeah. you like put your dials to this uh oh yes we all do share health in that mode actually in the boss yes we have our own one health dial and he has a health dial oh i don't remember reading it yeah i read the boss up not today i read it like two days ago and I was like, I'll read it before we play it, but I didn't know if we'd get to it today. And I was right, we're not going to get to it today, but um, yeah, we'll do it next week, I think. Yeah, it's 10, but... Uh, 10, but was M6? Uh, yes, because this, this brings it down to 9. All so. right, so he's at 2. So he's, if he hits you, he's going to hit you for 1, so don't be scared. Woo! Okay. That's all I got. Boss has both CP and health That's dials. He yeah. says boss fights are really fun. I'm looking forward to I'm it. That's so why I really don't want to lose today. I just want to try the boss fight like so bad. And you can just play boss battle mode where one player like controls the boss against many players and stuff. Mm. And you can even, there's a boss versus boss variant. There's like four bosses in the game. They're like hero boards and everything. They have their own pamphlets and stuff. They just have like slightly different rules to it because they have like have boss decks of activations and things. Mm -hmm. I think, but. All right. Two. Yeah, quite a bit of game in this in this expansion actually one i want him to hit you so that he doesn't heal too. ah he missed okay so he's gonna <laughs> heal for three there's still real defense he didn't hit you uh one two three and then you're gonna remove any positive status effects if you have any um, nope right, my turn <laughs> no Upkeep, problem there i remove this gain a cp so you can hit him for five i can hit him for five yeah, yeah. oh i got better d 
All right. Oh, oh did you get the poison? No, I was just going to say that. Woo! Literally just going to say Darius that. is on. I... Yeah. <laughs> Remember the poison. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Darius. So much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, keep it over there. Okay, when I pick it up. Oh, look at this. Okay. Hmm. I can do four damage. Well, oh, oh, no, we can do six damage. Okay, and then I roll this, and it does three more, so I do nine damage, which goes down to six. It's dead. Nice. So we get loot, loot level four. Ooh, level four. four. Show me the money. What do we want? Oops. Well, it's all cards. So we want. Yeah, we want uh, cards or gold. Sixteen plus. Yeah, sixteen plus. Twenty. Oh, Whoa. legendary. Legendary for you. Show me the legendary. Don't look at it. I'm, oh, I'm definitely buying that one. Eighteen. Epic. Epic. Whoa. Epic. Don't look at it. No, big, big roll, big roll, big money. Two. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> common. Oh. I'm just gonna oh. add it to my common pile here. I have three commons under here. <laughs> that was amazing. GG Reddit. Uh, Brian S has a question. I so want to know. I so want to do it myself and experiment. But Brian S is asking, how would the Marvel heroes fare in Dice Throne Adventures? Thoughts? If you guys have any comments on what Brian's asking. Leave them in the chat. I want to read them. I'm curious. That's something I want to mess with. It feels wrong to play with like superheroes in a fantasy kind yeah. of world, but I mean, hey, whatever. That's still cool. Uh, but I do want to try that one time and mess with that. But uh, what, do we, what do we do now, uh, oh. Mel, if you want to find the rule book uh, that we actually won? There is some steps to this, uh, which we'll, we'll go through. I'll see if I can find them in here too, maybe. All right. End of the turn. Okay. Scenario conclusion. Here, I can bring it up. I found it. I found it quicker than I. Th I found it quicker than I thought I would. Okay, so uh, it. so you basically do after completing a game session of either portal crawl or boss in the middle there, you must perform the three conclusion steps below, which are also described on your scenario card. Oh. Oh. If that would have yeah okay, uh, we can do that. So on the scenario card right here it says upon defeat. <laughs> no. Yeah right. That'll never happen. I'm just kidding. I thought it was going to for sure today. Uh, shop. So uh, each player gets to, uh, you're basically Mel going to deal out three commons to each of us from the loot deck and one uh, rare. And that's kind of like, uh, oh, we need to reset our board. Sorry, reset your play area. Put all your cards back in your deck. Don't touch your loot cards tucked under your board. Yeah, that's you, Rob. Which is probably the reason why they have you tuck them under so you don't mess with them. And then these cards are going to be like a presented shop to you. So put your cards all back so you don't mix them up. You'll need to go through your deck to determine like what you're upgrading so you can reference cards. But we need to keep these like very you. clearly separate. Okay. Yep. Got it. Me. Separate. Uh, oh, I saw it. So three common and one rare. And then you have three common, one rare. So keep these like here. It's obvious they're loot because they yeah, have yeah. the. The, the crystals on the bottom. Uh, so we look at Kyle's, for example. So he's presented with this little shop of common. They are even, they say a C on the bottom for like colorblind stuff, awesome. But they also have the color to match that you know they're common. And when you click through your deck, you see that they're loot. Uh, and that's how you know it's a loot version of a card. Sometimes they can upgrade cards that are like already in your deck, or they can be a higher level of loot cards that are in the loot deck. So this health potion too, if you bought this and put it in your deck, if you already had health potion one in there, you need to upgrade it. If you already have a level three health potion in your deck, you would, if you wanted to buy this, you could discard it and then draw a new loot card to replace it. So you have an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing with the other loot you pull from underneath. Um, these uh, costs, they all have a cost right here. So common cards to buy and put in your deck. That's why you need to keep your deck nearby so yeah. you can like reference it. Mm -hmm. Some of these are just brand new cards, brand new loot. There's also equipment cards. There's none in here. But uh, you could buy equipment cards that sit beside your board and they have an ongoing effect when you get them in the game, I think. I don't know if you start with them or you just draw them and you can play them for money, I think. Uh, but we'll see. It'll make sense when we see one. Um, but common, 10 gold, 15 to buy the rare. Yeah, we, if we have an epic or legendary to buy here, it's 20 and 25. We don't have to worry about that until later. But the, uh, you can sell these face down ones without looking at them for 5 or 10 to reveal one. If it's one you can't take in your deck because it's like a lower than something you already have that's higher later in the campaign, right. you can just toss it and draw a replacement and then choose with that one what you do with it. But uh, that's how it works. That's the shop there, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, kind of reminds me of the little shop board, like a little bit of Massive Darkness too, kind of like at the end, but 
Just weird, the whole tucking cards. But I see why now. Yeah. Because they don't want to give it to you right away in the middle of a game. What are you doing? You're sorting through your deck and exactly. figuring out managing cards. And then if you lose, or if you lose, yeah. But it'd be cooler if it just like you got yeah. them, they went to a shared pool at the end of the game, you spread them on the table and you buy what you want kind of thing would be a more clean. But I don't know. This is fine, I guess. Um, so you shop. So you permanently upgrade your deck by doing the loot cards. And then we'll record our score. And then there is, uh, what's the last step? uh is advance or repeat the next scenario okay so we're gonna do this whole little shopping phase and there is a whole rules thing on shopping so uh this total loot gets rounded up uh here let me do this whoops uh this total loot uh, that we have gets rounded up to the nearest five so 41 goes to 45. nice then all of us now have 45 gold to spend. So take your health dial. Oh, all of us do? Yeah, yeah. Take, this is weird. It's very weird. Uh, you take your health dial and ma make it to match. So we each have 45 gold per player, okay? Oh. Um, and it says, yeah, tip, use your own health dial, track how much gold you spend. Example, if the gold dial shows 27, increase it to 30, and all heroes have 30 gold to spend. So we each have 45. So deal shop cards, we just did that. Uh, important, players may look at these loot cards uh, but not at any unidentified ones tucked under your board. Then you gain cards, perform any of the actions below in any number of times. So it's basically all those purchases, all these actions I just talked about, buying cards, selling cards, any way you want to do it. But we literally could all do it just like at the same time, so we don't have to wait. But because it's on stream and maybe we can discuss a little bit, maybe we take a minute to do this. Unless you need to... Are you good? Okay. okay. Um, so uh, if we go here, I'll just go first. Uh, so I blood packed. You and a chosen teammate each roll one uh, die, the, and this costs zero CP in a main phase. Oh, and the other thing is, uh, you have a maximum deck size in this game of fifty. So you can keep adding cards to your deck, um, but you could use like sleeves to keep track. What are we at now? I don't even know. Oh man! But it's not close. I think it's like thirty something, but I'm not sure. One, two, three, four. I only have 32 I can find in here, but um, maybe each hero is kind of different too. I don't know. Do you have 32? I started to count, but... Around there? Uh, whatever. Yeah. Who cares? We're not near 50, yeah. but eventually throughout the campaign, obviously, you can yeah. keep adding cards to your deck. Maybe some not replaced. Uh, but this is Blood Pack. I have 33. Uh, yeah, maybe I misplaced one or something. Maybe I could have counted. I counted really fast, so I, I might have just zoomed by one, but... Uh, you and a chosen teammate each roll one. The player with the highest value draws two cards, while the other player receives two damage. On a tie, both players draw two cards. Yeah, we know that's not happening. Uh, so that card would cost me 10 to buy it. Is it that good? No, I don't think so. Um, I only have 32. Oh, okay. So Mel miscounted. Unless we're not all equal. I don't know. This game is kind of asymmetric, right? Uh, not this time, level two. So I could, I think, I have a not this time in my deck, which I could upgrade. Yeah, because that was the one that did six, right? <laughs> yeah, yours was six before, and that's... That was it? Yeah. Yeah, not this yeah. time. Prevent six. It, is it cheaper? Uh, no, no, they're the same. They cost one CP, but I could prevent mm -hmm. seven incoming damage. Is that worth ten to upgrade that card to prevent one more damage? Maybe. Uh, it's oh. ten to reveal one of these, right? Yes. And then you keep it? Yes. Yeah, and if it doesn't work in your deck because you it's yeah, blocked yeah. for some reason, you just get to draw a replacement. Yeah. Wait till you see it, though. I'm going to do mine. I'll show you. Um, twice as wild too. Change the values of any two dice for two CP. If I look through my deck and find twice as wild, what is that doing? So twice as wild in my deck, change the value of any two dice. What am I misreading here? Cheaper. Oh, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, that's good because I literally held this almost the whole game and then eventually just sold it because I was like, I'll never save up two, uh, three CP for that, but that would be amazing. Okay, I'll think about that one. And then, the rare level one, which obviously I should be looking at a little harder, because maybe it's better, and this costs 15 gold to buy, uh, but for 2 CP, instant action, gain 2 flight tokens, which... Oh, that's all the way in. Uh, flight, oh, I have it right here. Flight token is a positive status effect. The players may choose to spend these tokens at any time during the roll phase. Once spent, roll 2 dice. If a six was rolled, activate the token. When activated during an offensive 
roll phase, the player's attack becomes undefendable. If activated during defensive roll phase, ignore all incoming damage. You can stack three of these. That's cool. You gotta roll a six on two dice. I don't trust that to happen, but it's like kind of fun, but like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, what I'm gonna do first, for sure, is I only have one loot card under my deck, under my, my player board here, and I can identify it for 10 gold. So I'm gonna spend 10 gold going out of 35, and then we're gonna reveal you want to hold this up to the camera. This doesn't deserve to go oh, on the... Uh, oh, man. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Legendary loot. It's the shiny. Oh, it's shiny. It's rainbow foiled. Oh. Tome of Knowledge, level 3. Zero TP, instant action. A chosen hero may search their deck for an ability upgrade card. Put it into play for 1 CP instead of its original cost. So I can go grab, like, a level 3 and just Isn't upgrade. Like the same as this one? Oh, oh. Look at the card I got. The golden rule? The chosen hero may put an oh, ability upgrade. No, from your yeah. hand. Oh, but he got. He I could go dig out like a level three that costs like four oh. CP and jam it in for yeah. one. Like your favorite card. Man, that feels legendary, that ability. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder zero, why. For zero, for zero CP all day, every day. Wow. In the deck. No questions asked. Done. Yeah, that works. It's Tome oh. of Knowledge 3. I'm assuming I don't have a Tome of Knowledge lower than that. I'm assuming it's just the highest level of a new loot card from yeah. the game. But I don't know the names of all the cards in Dice Throne to know. But I'm sure we'll get to know them after we play a while. So okay. That cost 10? That cost me 10. So I have 35 left to spend. I'm a, do we carry gold? Oh no, you just get points for not spending gold, right? right? That's right. so lame. But then again, you don't want to like gunk up your deck with stuff. But I might as well, right? Can you? Is there a point where you can toss stuff in your deck? No. no. Oh, so if you do... Wow. No, you can... Uh, I think you can sell treasures from your deck. Oh, another thing, Kyle, with treasures, if you didn't remember or know, uh, is when you draw them in the game, if you don't want to use them, you can discard them to draw a new card from your deck instead of discarding them for one CP. Huh. So it can help you, like, dig for stuff if you're, like, holding it. You're like, this doesn't really work for me now. Um, or these ones that maybe aren't that great. I might as well upgrade these two because these are, like, great cards. If I make them cheaper or stronger, that's fine. Uh, like, roll phase stuff. So I will spend 20 going down to 15 to upgrade these two. So what you do is I take out twice as wild and I take out, not this time, and these go into my player caddy container, whatever it's called, uh, and you just put them in like upside down or under your, under in the other part of the tray or underneath your like reference card, somewhere to keep them separate so they don't go back in your deck during the rest of the campaign. They're like eliminated forever. Um, so that will be out. I'll put these two in and then these two, I could spend the last 15. Do you have 15. any more tuck? No. no. I only have one card and it was legendary. It's so perfect. Oh, one sad. Card. So perfect. Um, I mean, that makes it better. I will try the... F I don't know. This is kind of dumb. Or the chosen teammate thing. No. I'll, I don't want to damage another player. This seems like a problem. Uh, Michael with the super chat uh, says, I've been watching your channel for a while and I love your campaign playthroughs. I appreciate how you differentiate. I'm so sorry if I'm not saying that right. I can't say that word ever. Yourself from other content creators. Keep up the great content. Thank you. And we will continue doing that. Thanks to your support. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank That's you. That's very sweet. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much for helping us keep on rocking. I appreciate it. Thank you. And the kind words, too. Matthew says, Holy sugar, Michael, you're awesome. <laughs> Yes, Matthew, yes. Matthew, if you could not swear in the chat, please, that yeah, would be great. keep the cursing to a minimum. This is a family channel, right? Wow. Um, <laughs> Janet, thank you for the tip here. Let's see. Oh. There's a tip on the cards here. Oh, is there? Oh, the arrow thing, right? Uh, one sec. I can probably find it. Yes. On the bottom of this card, there. I know you can't see it that well, but there is a little uh, cycling arrow symbol. So this tells oh. you if, if you're looking for one in your deck to swap out. I see it. Oh. Janet, thank you so much. Man, that is tiny. I think somebody else yeah, said yeah. something. It was an R on the card. But yes, I see what you guys I, are saying. I do thank remember you. reading that, Janet, uh, actually. And a, a brain fart. The R was just for the time. Yeah, yeah they couldn't rare. remember exactly, but yeah. Wow. Oh, that's clever. Okay. And then, yeah, I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just spend 15 to take Angelic Boots, level 2, into my deck. I'm done. Makes sense. 
Michael also says this community is awesome as well. Thanks for being welcoming. Can you put this to the bottom? Any discarded ones go to the bottom of the respective loot decks, which is kind of neat because that means you'll draw into like newer loot and like, you know, yeah, not see the, same. see the same. Thing. Yeah, yeah, sometimes that's annoying when you keep drawing the same loot after you shuffle every time. Yeah. Uh, Michael, I do agree. This community is amazing and thank you for being yeah. part of it. I, I can't say like the community is awesome. The hosts, uh, <laughs> questionable. Uh, the leaders in charge around here, I don't know, but yes. The community itself is awesome. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Make sure you take gold for the sold yeah, card. Sold. I didn't sell any cards. You can't get gold for the ones that are in the shop. Oh, which you yeah. just said. Yeah. Never mind. Yep. Yeah, but you can sell the unidentified loot ones that are underneath your um, player board you can sell. Uh, Doug says, just got here. What did I miss? Be detailed, please. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, that's You are awesome. horrible, Doug. You are horrible. <laughs> Oh, the guest players are fantastic, yep. says Janet. Oh, uh, yeah. Janet, oh, 100% agreed. Janet's one of them. She's definitely trying to pat herself on the back here. But yeah, <laughs> I agree. Anyone who's played any game with us on the channel, including digital ones, definitely a step above, for yeah. sure. Top notch. Top notch is this. That's a good way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you going to reveal that I legendary to, first, yeah, just I so you know? I already dropped it down by 10. Okay. Of course I have to. Okay. Just so I know. You gotta do it up here yeah, though, yeah. so it's Oh another shiny cards. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is a level four? Oh. Recall scroll level four. One instant action. Choose uh one card from a chosen hero's discard pile, put it back into their hand. You could put back my legendary in my hand. I can go back, dig my deck, get another uh, OP oh, yeah, card out. Wow. Funny. That's nuts. That's wow. cool. So that's going in your deck. Are you doing the same thing for your epic? You I can get back, to, like, which is also 10. 10. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Do we have heal on our deck? Because that could be a play. Right? I don't. So, if we find some. Yeah. Like, I have this one right oh, here. Oh, the potion. Yeah. Got... Buy that. Well, so, on. you could play that and then get it back and we use it again. <laughs> oh, he's going to do his epic. I'm doing though. 10 for the epic. <gasps> which is oh. Nice. <laughs> oh. That's nice, shiny. Throw it away. Point oh, purse, too. Oh, equipment. equipment. So, in your main phase, you spend one for it on the left there. And then you put it beside your board. And then during your upkeep phase, you get an extra CP. Whoa. Yeah, the coin purse. Can we trade? No. Is there tradesies in this game? You can't have my purse. Is there a trade? <laughs> it's European. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so these cost what again? Uh, 10 for the common and 15 for Ooh. the rare. Really? Yeah. 15? Really. Have you met? Have you oh, met our yeah. shop owner friend here? Yeah. Well, I need to do. She says. I have to do this one. Ooh, what are you buying? What are you selling? This is. Uh, she got a name tag on. Hi, my name is Rosella. She so, got stuff on the back. The, Did you the health, stuff on the back? Health potion. Oh, get the hell out of here! Instructions? What the hell is, is going on here? Is this lore? On the back. This is our shop owner. We got some lore. Long ago, my sister and I traveled freely from place to place, in and out of time. We did not ask for this gift, but we used it to spread joy, to uplift hearts, and enliven the downtrodden. We were an immortal sisterhood who held the keys to infinite travel, but not all creatures respect what we are. One deceived us, breaking the unity of our bond. No longer could we open portals. And my sister, Ziora, was consumed by a mad king. Jorindel, the ashen elf, our cousin, used magic... Uh, unknown to us to harness the portals of, of for his own plan sorry uh it warms my heart to meet travelers here on the outskirts of the crimson sands this land is filled with portals like those we created millennia ago you must traverse them carefully i may not control time and space uh any longer but i have some tricks up my sleeve and my shop is always open to you for a price there you go see? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I can sell this for this one here for ten. Yeah. Uh, Let me put yeah. this back here for you. You can sell it for five. Five, five for those. Come on, they or made this cool instructional it. poster. You've got to use it. And let's sell one of these. Like no, two. no sell. These oh. are the shop offered to you. Yeah. You can't go in the shop, steal merchandise, and sell it back to her. She <laughs> she has the little uh, tag on it. It beeps when you leave with it. Yeah. You so come it, back and she knows where right, it came so from. So I can't. I, so what happens to this card if I don't sell it? Uh, it's just this card. You might as well you sell, might it. sell it because you'll get points. Right. But it just goes to the bottom of the loot deck. You get nothing. So it might be. Yeah, but if you don't have enough, it might be something I want later. What did you do? You bought your epics and yeah. Or your... Do you have no gold left? No. 
So, so then sell it that, for five. We get five we'll gold. Get, we we'll get, get extra points point at the on, end. on our campaign journal. For every, uh, for every uh, five unspent gold, you get an extra point on unspent gold score. Yeah. I don't know. Five bucks. Okay. Mel will mark that off these, uh, later. These go back somewhere. Suddenly lore, I know. He's, he's there is lore to the game. I just didn't, yeah. yeah, I didn't read any of it. And it's all good. Okay. Okay, so for myself, I have three tucked cards here, which I'm tempted. They're all common. They're all common. So That's much. fine. So you have known common in front of you in the shop, but you have some unknown common. I am going to buy this known common for 10, getting paid. Ooh, yeah. Getting, getting paid three. level two. So it replaces the getting paid in your deck. Yep. So it's going to take 10 away. I do like this upgrading card thing. I'm a sucker getting for this paid. stuff. Especially when so some of them are shiny. Take out getting yep. paid. Put in getting paid level two. The other one I think I'm going to do is upgrade. Bye bye. Bye bye. Level to two. Remove. It's cheaper yep. to remove. So I'm going to spend 10 on this one. Remove the other. And then yeah, I do want to do at least one of these. Okay. Um, I have Generous, which can distribute two CP <laughs> among <carry> heroes. <laughs> I don't want to do this one, I don't think. Brian says your purse matches your eyes. <laughs> Travis knows the references. It's a carry-all. It's European. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want those. I have 25. I want to do one of these because I love this. I love one? Yeah. So I want to buy one of these for 10. These unidentified ones. But which one? Are they all under the first column? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we roll a die? Do we have the chat vote? Like, what do, what do you want to do here? You want to just pick random and see what happens? I mean, if somebody wants to say one, two, or three in the first one, I will pick that one and put that in my deck, and you will be a, a part of building my deck. And we'll see how the delay is on the chat, on the uh, stream. Um, so first one to say one, two, one, or three. One, two, or three. That's the card she picks. Brian one. with the one. We'll see what we bought. Did you get a winner? What What's status that? effect two? Remove. Oh, this is good, Brian. This is good. So it's just a cheaper version, I yeah. think, of the other one, right? Yeah, I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and I still have fifteen. Oh, Roman was on the same same train one. What would a jam oh we're not allowed to look, right? Uh, but I can still do one more. I look at mine. Uh, what oh, status man. effects? So if you pick another one, it has to be three. Janet was second with three. Okay. Let me just remove that so that I don't. There's get only lost. two now. Okay, so removing this. Uh, spend 10. So and you have picking. five? Yeah. So you could sell the other one. Yeah. Oh, I could sell, spend... Well, I spent 10. I'm, I'm looking yeah, at yeah. this one. I could spend that one and buy one okay. if I want. Okay, so we're looking at number three. Janet's pick. Cool. She take my money <laughs> while well, I'm in need. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't upgrade. This is just a gain three. If played during a boss battle, gain two CP and draw a card. That is good. Uh, I think. Yeah. And this doesn't get upgraded, so we'll put that in. I'll sell this one for five. Going to ten. And then I'll just actually spend it all, and I'll get one of these cards. I think I'm going to go for the one that'll help the team here, uh, which is a generous distribute two CP among heroes. So if we need some CP, I think. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. And then I'm not taking I had like the one. craziest effects in my hand this game. If I had just a little more CP, I could have really done some right, damage. Right, I spent all of it. You so. had so much of the beginning. You did. You yeah. had tons of you the had beginning. Excess, but then you were low on but, health. But had all of the and then it, then it flipped. Yeah, I, had, I know. It was just weird how it all happened. <laughs> okay, so our remaining... I have five. Our remaining solves was one, right? Oh, Rob yeah, has one? Just one. Uh, yep. Unspent Someone gold. Uh, there was plus one, one for every five, so yeah, you get one. one. Yep. Unclaimed boss loot. None, right? We didn't have to fight a boss. Oh, right. So yeah. it doesn't count. Okay, so that's in here. Uh, explore all tiles. We get yes. five. We did it. Scenario score. Uh, value was, uh, shown in scenario 20, score at the top. Difficulty card there. Oh, so we put 20 in there? I think it goes in the actual the top right. See in the top right, there's scenario score yeah. in the very top right of the page. I think you're supposed to write that 20. Because we're on normal difficulty, it'd be obviously higher if you played on a harder difficulty. So I think you write in that scenario score. What does it say exactly under it? Might be hard to see on this photocopy, but... Uh, value shown in scenario score at the top of the sheet. Yeah. Oh, okay. One. So we get 20 there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, because so... obviously like, if it's a higher difficulty, you'd be ending up with a bigger score in the end of the game because you get all these extras. Can you but... change difficulty? These don't count I don't for... know. Is that why you write it? Like... I think it's stuck. Yeah, I think oh. it's stuck. 
So we have it changes like the health values we start at and okay. stuff. Um, there's another card for it. So I think our score is 27. 20, plus we got five for all, uh, exploring all tiles, five, one for his gold, and one for the tile that we have remaining. 27. So 27 score after the first scenario. Uh, if you won your first scenario, is that a good thing? Good score? Bad score? I don't think okay. I'm adding these, right? Because I'm just starting here. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Okay. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 27. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know. But again. What's with the arrows? Oh, yeah. Oh, because it's just saying write your remaining solves to start your oh, next game. Like, write them there. Okay. So it's just it's a, kind of like a save. Did you, you oh, there? sorry. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, Keith. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Keith says boss battle is going to be tough. To oh, here I see. Uh, Keith says boss battle is going to be tough with one solve. Uh, but you get got legendary loot. So maybe... Yeah, we've got to draw that legendary loot. Yeah, this yeah. game, like, man, sometimes you just don't see the cards you're looking for because the deck, I know we added cards to it too, so it made it even thicker. But I mean, some of the draw effects, if you get them, could help. Hopefully. I'm, I'm but there was it. lots of extra draw from loots and stuff to, like, get into our deck more and free heals and CP. So, like, it feels like you're getting more done in this one than you would in a normal Dice Throne game where you're, like, relying on your, your like, abilities to fire properly. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Kyle, thoughts on Dice Throne adventures, like the cooperative version of Dice Throne? Anything comes to your mind, uh, lay it on us. I enjoyed it, but like we already discussed, just the, the downtime. The downtime. <laughs> this is awkward. Stays on the entire time. I know, right when you need to talk <laughs> yeah. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just just the downtime. That's all. But like this. But There's even the damn game is fun. Now, if, if right. I said, Kyle, you're coming over and we're playing Dice Throne, and you have three options. We play Marvel only, no mixing heroes from universes. We don't cross the streams here right yet. Uh, we can play Marvel Dice Throne. You pick any character you want. We just battle each other. We play two player, three player, whatever, battling each other. That mode that you've seen before. Or you can play Season 1 Rerolled. We get to pick some of those fantasy characters and mess around with that. Or. Do we play adventures with these fantasy characters? What do you prefer out of all those three different streams you came over for and all the three things we did? What do you like the best? What would you want to do again? So uh, far. Again, we only yeah, played yeah. the portal crawl. So You've not far, seen the Yeah, so far, probably adventures. Just because it's, yeah. I figure because you like like cooperative. Yeah, adventures, more. yeah, and then the yeah. fantasy, and then probably Marvel would be the third. Yeah, okay. So is this a campaign you would want to continue? If given the choice. Like playing these portal crawls at least eight times and fails replaying. We haven't seen boss battles yet, but I'm assuming that's pretty fun because it's just like playing dice throne, rolling dice, fighting against someone else, but we're all fighting against them. I mean, I guess we should talk about this more after the next yeah, probably. episode yeah. makes sense. But I just yeah. want to know after just playing this, seeing how we turn last week's game into now a cooperative game, I was curious like your thoughts on it. Do you like, like this? It's cool game? how that happens. Yeah, it's like, yeah. like crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's like two games and yeah. Uh, Mel, thoughts so far on portal crawl mode or anything with adventures you like, dislike? What are your thoughts? Anything surprise you? Uh, I'm actually surprised I love it more than I even thought I would. Ooh. I we got a winner. really, really like this game. And then I was funny because yesterday Rob had said, I think I'm going to probably, this may be a game I play solo, right? And like go through the campaign. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, can you please make I know, it's like, I really want to play it with you. In the schedule, can I please play? And now I'm even more so. Like I will probably be mad if he plays it with me. <laughs> because I really like this very much. Well, canceling next week's streams. I had planned. Never mind. No, you all can't. That. I'm just kidding. But I. Really, it doesn't mean really... we can't still play a co-op or a three-player full campaign in the future. Yeah. yeah. I just was saying if we can try it now, it probably can't continue this three-player campaign unless we save it all up, write everything down, and I don't touch these heroes' boxes. And we just leave the cards separated and everything. Anything we upgraded. Um. But for people who are watching are like, we want to see you play a full campaign. The fastest way it would get played is if I just say, I'm scheduling it solo. I'm playing in the day. I'll jam a whole bunch of scenarios in the day, play some six hour streams or something um, to get through a whole bunch in a sitting, have some fun, and then just continue it the next day, you know, like, and just play a whole bunch in like a, a handful of streams or less. Yeah. That's the best way because Mel works, and, you know, uh, her job, she only has so much spare time. 
and we're already in the oh. middle of other campaigns. Some we had to pause, some we're still working on. It's like some of them got to be finished first, but I figured this would work trying it on the nights with Kyle. It's just we probably can't continue with Kyle until we like play some other games that are, are more priority um, over this for now. But I'm thinking of just playing it solo because I want to see how the campaign looks after getting further in it. Everyone says it's really cool. Seeing the leveled up cards, seeing how your hero looks different at the end than they did at the start, having a cooler deck. Um, seeing all the different bosses fights, the minions in higher decks, um, some of the other tiles and things. This whole legacy stuff you're opening. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but yeah. No, you can you can for sure. But you could also like but if I saved it for like when you're on holidays. That is we exactly could what I was gonna say. There's very few games where I get super excited when I'm on holidays and I'm like we need to play this game. And for me, I feel like this could be one of them because I really like this from what we. Well, we still so haven't seen the boss battle. I know we haven't seen the boss battle yet. But we still haven't seen like but... half of the game what it has to it. So, but hopefully it's just as interesting and fun. But like, will rolling for loot become a little boring? Will no. flipping tiles and just getting smacked with stupid mm -hmm. abilities making you lose your tokens over and over again get get annoying? I don't yeah. think so. Not will, for me. Anyways. Will we not be able to one shot enemies and be dying all over the place? Will we? Will we have to replay the same scenario again and again and go forward? Fail, pl replay, fail, replay. Like yeah, that could uh, change things for me if that yeah. happens. Yeah, because those the whole thing campaigns can kill campaigns for me if like. Literally, their answer is like, you failed, do it again. And I know they let you keep your loot and, the, and you're a little better off on the next attempt and you learn and whatever. But that whole idea of just, you fail, do it again. It's like, okay, that's cool. I know there's no like story to this. So you're literally just playing another game of Dice Throne, uh, Adventures, or Protocol Calling, or Boss Fighting, which is not the worst thing. And maybe if we just do it in the next stream, it's not as big a deal because we'll take like a week break, we'll come back. But like, if I'm sitting there on a six hour stream solo, and I'm literally banging my head. Yeah, that would be playing the same scenario. I just want to get to the boss fight, and I'm like, fail, I fail, and then boss fight. I finally get the boss fight, I lose. Now I replay that boss fight, and maybe I lose again. Ugh. Now I got to replay that boss fight. Like, I want to enjoy the campaign, get and see what the end of the campaign is. If it takes literally like 20 scenarios to get there, it's like, I don't know if I really want to binge that, but I would definitely spread that out, take some time like a normal sane person probably would, um, and play it casually. You know, once a week kind of thing would be fine. Yeah. But that could kill it for me is the, you fail, do it again. Same thing, fail, do it again. At least you draw a new card and it shuffles up what's going on in the portal crawl mode. And the boss, you just replay the same boss, but they could draw different cards from their deck, roll different, I don't know. But... No, yeah, you can, you can definitely, if you wanted to play the solo, you can. I'm just joking. I know. I won't really be mad. I, I would like I to just, wait for you, but... I do really, really enjoy it. Then I see well, then Janice. we just got to hurry and get through some of our other campaigns. I see Janice even saying, when is your next vacation? I do have <laughs> multiple weeks still that I have that I have not used. But... But I don't know when I'm using We have it. trips that we yeah. might be taking later in the year to certain board game convention that maybe happen in Philadelphia area that might be unplugged. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll see yeah uh, we did get approved for press badges so that's covered mm -hmm. we just got to check out hotels and things but uh and see if it works for getting our daughter taken care of and uh oh brian who uh i know, who, brian, I, know brian. I don't want to say it like fully because it might still not happen we're still in the early planning stages we will let you know though if it's a for sure but they did reach out to us and said, you're invited, and we got our press badges, so... Yeah, mine as well. Uh, Mel's so. covered for a badge, which is, like, Gen Con doesn't even do that for yeah. us, so... Um, and it's roughly the same drive as Gen Con, so that's, like, not an issue. Uh, it's just check out hotel prices, and the problem is, it's, like, I don't know if if we can, like, where we can stay. I don't, I don't know Philadelphia at all. I don't think I've ever gone there for anything, actually. Stage. Yeah, I, I've... I've was supposed to go there for Thrones tournaments before and Game of Thrones LCG in the day. Um, but I've been to Pennsylvania many times for things, just never been up in the Philadelphia area. Um, I don't think I've ever been ever. So I don't know like our hotel prices like okay in the outskirts, like how is parking? I gotta like do a lot of research to figure all this costs out and all that kind of stuff. Um, and but we still have to see if we can even have that week if you can take off yeah. a day or two and if uh, our daughter has coverage for that time. Because if she, we can't get her, you know, babysat or whatever, or have her covered um, for a day or two, then, like, we probably shouldn't go, but um, I'm not dragging her there, that's for sure. No. I want to, but that would be torture she for her, it. maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not going to do that, but 
But yeah, so once we have that stuff figured out, I do have other weeks, Janet, that I'm still kind of thinking about when to put them in. Yeah. Uh, worst case, this campaign gets played in a couple months. We play through a whole campaign cooperatively or whatever, and we'll see. But yeah. No, I know. That's not how they do it. I Janet. know. They don't do it like that, yeah. unfortunately. And it's like any outlet, they're just like, nope, one person gets a badge. Yeah. That's Which it. is fine. Yep, that's just how they work. Um, all right. That was a lot of fun. That was crazy. I really enjoyed that. There was more to that than I expected, longer than I expected. It was fun. Definitely cool. Yep. Definitely beer and pretzels fun. Definitely yeah. more challenging than I expected. Which I is good. I, yeah, it's usually first scenarios of campaign games, no matter how complex or how hardcore they are. Or, you know, usually they're just like, here's the first scenario. It's a, like a freebie. You just kind of go through the motions, kind of teach you the game. You get a bunch of stuff. And then we'll start kicking your butt later. But... This one right from the beginning is like, yeah, you just might get a little like wrecked out of nowhere. That's why we give you these tokens in case things go bad. We only, I only did die once, right? That was it? No one else we died? We still only have one salve token. Yeah. We and got I, a, I was hoping maybe we spent one if I like something bad happened. Twice we had time. five, right? Because Rob used one and you used two? And I think there's three I on the board. Yeah. Three on the board I think we picked up. We started with two, so yeah, there's five. We must and none of four. No enemies gave us any, and flipping tiles never gave us any. I don't know if that's even a thing in the game. I thought we would get a few more hidden in the game, maybe. But maybe the only way to get them is lying on the back of uh, tiles. Good to know. Uh-oh. And then in a boss fight, I'm assuming he's not just handing them out. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're on cards. I don't know. I forget. I think in the rulebook it does talk about there's somewhere else in the game. But I can't remember. But we'll we'll read the boss battle rules for next week. I haven't scheduled the stream yet, so just stay tuned to the channel. Uh, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, check the playlist down below. When I do schedule the episode two of this playthrough, um, we'll do the boss battle. Stay tuned for that, of course. Uh, again, I moved the Hoplomaka stream that was supposed to happen tomorrow. I moved it back one day. It'll be happening Thursday, same time, 11 a.m. Eastern. We'll try to finish off that campaign. Uh, I mean, it will finish off. Either we I burn out in a blaze of glory, or we win. And we'll see. But uh, that, that campaign has been epic. Um, so yeah, we'll be playing on Thursday. Sunday, I'll schedule something. There'll be something in there. Um, probably continuing like Jurassic Park. Maybe. Maybe Old Sworn. I think probably just Jurassic Park we'll put in there. Um, just to kind of have something to like, after the weekend, end of the weekend, just something more like casual a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll put that in. Maybe we'll play two scenarios that day. We'll see. Um, the faster we get through that, maybe we work in dice thrown in there, cool. you know, uh, we'll see. Okay, uh, 12 hour streams then everyone? 12 no, hour stream to finish <laughs> off Jurassic Park in one sitting? Kidding, no, let's not do that. Uh, unless Mel wants to do it by herself. Uh, <laughs> RC says Kraken Lance is going all the way for sure. I think so too. I hope so, because like this went later than I expected. I wouldn't be able to like 12 hours from now start that stream. Uh, and I haven't played it since last week. So like, yeah, I definitely need tomorrow to kind of like just take a day, recover, and then go through the Hoplomachus rules again, like nice and slow, get myself back into that, and then go, we're going, we're going hardcore into that one, and we're going to crush it. Um, so yeah, that'll be all, all day, all day Thursday, I'm sure, if we make it to the boss fight. Yeah, those uh, are epic streams for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that should be good. Um, and yeah, anyways, that's what's coming up so far. Uh, stay tuned, lots more games coming. Uh, definitely more dice thrown in the future in one way or another. Uh, boss fight for sure. Uh, campaigns possibly with adventures. More uh, competitive I wanted to play. I want to mix some Marvel with some uh, mix some Marvel with some fantasy guys or whatever and see like just how how messy can we get. Um, and we'll see. But yeah, definitely going to mess with dice thrown way more deeper than what you've seen so far. Um, as we usually do with games. I love it. It's great. Uh, but we're just dipping our toes right now. Kind of testing out all the different things in the game. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to do a campaign of this thing for sure. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thanks again to the support. Thanks for all the super chats. Uh, thanks for Kyle's gas money. I'll get him that after the stream. And uh, thank you all for, for being here. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.